place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. It's no surprise that his disappearance has rocked the political world. Whether it's due to illness, an accident, or something worse, all we know so far is that rumors are spreading fast. If I may ask, how much longer do you think you can keep a handle on this? I was assured I'd be fine, but the flies have already started buzzing around me. Oh, there's nothing for you to worry about. This will all be over soon enough. He'd have to defy us to stop us, and we both know that won't happen. <laughs> That's certainly true. With that off my mind, I trust matters on your own end are proceeding smoothly. Indeed. The agreement's going exactly as arranged. All our dreams will be within our reach soon enough. We merely need to hold out for a bit longer. Yes, it will truly be a dream when that day comes. <laughs> <laughs> We're back! Oof, cold. Ah, welcome back. Still that bad out? He's fixing some coffee for you. Oh, I'm saved. I was worried we weren't gonna make it for a bit there. I mean, just look at Mona. Oh, he's all curled up in a ball. Don't you just love how cats do that? Quit poking me. And I'm not a cat. Phew! I feel my HP coming back. Sure, top me off. You've really got this gig down. In fact, you're working like you own the place. You planning to force Sojiro to retire or something? Hey, got anything for me? Rest assured we do. One of LeBlanc's finest offerings, straight from the source and heated to perfection. Enjoy. Nothing but hot water. Is this straight from the tap? Mona-chan, I have some hot milk ready for you here. Aw, oh, thanks, Haru. You know what I like. I'll let it cool a little first, though. This tongue of mine is pretty sensitive. Oh, when it's this cold out, everybody wants to stay inside, not just the shut-ins. Sojiro spent half the morning grumbling that he won't get any customers today. At first, I was happy we had the place to ourselves, but now I feel kind of bad. Well, we should enjoy what time we have together while we can. All too soon, the third years will graduate. And you'll be returning to your hometown, correct? With that in mind, even our most mundane moments together feel precious in a way. Right! And it's not like we're bad at keeping in touch. We might end up a little farther away, but we'll still visit each other. Of 
course. Even when we're in college, I'll still find time to come see you all. Yeah, we'll make plenty of plans. Oh, like going to the beach. You know I'm down. I'm gonna wow the babes for sure this time. Ugh, you never learn, Ryuji. Perhaps that's the opportunity I've been waiting for. I believe I've designed the perfect swimsuit. It's eco-friendly, allowing me to enjoy the beach with the minimum amount of fabric needed. Please stop making me picture that. Oh, sorry if I set that conversation off track. You're fine. We've just got an awful lot to look forward to after graduation. Sure do. And why not enjoy the time we have now, too? Hit me with another soda. Oh, oh brother. You're the one who could use some self-restraint. And now, our report on Toshiro Kasakabe. The authorities' investigation into the Diet member's apparent disappearance continues. Considered by many to be a strong candidate for Prime Minister, where could he have gone with the election so close? A fair contingent of voters look to him as the fresh new face of national politics, so his absence is concerning. Yes, ever since Kasakabe entered the Diet, his support from the public has only grown. It's no surprise that his disappearance has rocked the political world. Whether it's due to illness, an accident, or something worse, all we know so far is that rumors are spreading fast. Man, the Nets going crazy about him too. There are at least half a dozen conspiracies at this point. They've been covering him quite a bit on television lately. Lots of future Prime Minister speculation. Someone like that suddenly disappearing. I really hope there isn't more trouble brewing. Haven't we been through enough? Do we seriously have to go through some DLC too? I don't know anything about the guy, but maybe he's just dealing with some family stuff. As the investigation continues... with the TV. Six 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 Huh? Six, six, what the hell? What happened to the TV? Hmm. The remote stopped working. Hmm? It's floating. No, it's frozen in place. Hey, uh, why is it so quiet outside? I'm not sure, but it's completely dark at us well. This eerie sensation. I hesitate to say it, but could we have entered the metaverse? It can't be. I mean, there's no way. It was... Yeah. And the metanav should be gone entirely. Not only that, I still look the same. And so do you. And what the hell's going on? <laughs> Hang on, Futaba, that's not coffee! <laughs> Why was there curry in that mug? Hey, look. The door. It's glowing! This is just Sochiro pulling our leg! Oh, please tell me I'm right! Well, I, I guess all we can do is... Not like there's another exit here. Okay, try the door, but be careful. We'll be right behind you. Where the hell are we? We were just in LeBlanc, right? This has to be bad. Oh, we're in our family. 
Phantom Thief outfit. Not exactly shadows. I don't know. Same goes for where we are now. We found the rebels! Punish all traitors! Punish all traitors! Uh, where are these guys born out from? Joker, use your persona. Take them out. Oh, 
know. Do you really think that was wise? After all, if I just wave my hand, your friend's squashed like a fly. Screw you, lady! Just try squashing me! Oh, my. These mannerless little brats. Everything to make me sick. In that case, I've got just the thing for you. <laughs> Damn it! What are you? <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. I'll show you soon enough. And then you'll never dare to give me a lip again! Damn it! Get your mitts off me! <sighs> you may be crude, but you have quite an interesting power, don't you? Yeah! Quite a mouth on you. Care to see what I can do with mine? Is 
this torture for you. Maybe if you lick my heel, I'll consider easing up a bit. The audacity! You've lost your comrades, been dragged to bits, and yet you still have this gleam in your eye. chosen the most painful route. Perhaps with enough torture, you'll learn to serve me. <sighs> you can't even pick yourself up, huh? That's what happens when you defy me. <laughs> Joker, run! Can't have that happening, can we? I'm going to especially enjoy breaking this one. Oh, where to even begin? Joker! You. Care to introduce yourself, party crasher? The name's Arena. And I am the one who will see you overthrown! Arena? Just who is this? He fits the description. It's her! She's the leader of the filthy rebels making a mockery of our great lady Marie! We know you've been scoping around the shadows. So, you finally reveal yourself! Hm. Listen quickly, young man in catfish face. What the? You call me a cat? Whatever you want, we have to retreat. Get us away from here, but I know how you feel, but we can't help them right now. We'll discuss it elsewhere. It's time to go. You'd better listen to me. You've got no chance unless we regroup. In that case, I'll lead. We have to punch through their forces. Follow me. Right. Well, do or die time. Really? You're bolting after such a grand entrance! Don't let the rebels escape! Stop! In the name of Lady Morie! Lady Morie's wish is our command! We'll be back to rescue you, everyone! I think we've managed to shake them. I've sealed off the secret passage, so they won't be following us. Yeah, we can't thank you enough. We'd be in serious trouble without you. Don't mention it. We appear to share a common enemy. After all, it didn't look like either of you were going to back down without my intervening. Marie is immensely powerful. Not only that, her forces are great. We'd never be able to defeat her head on. I see. Sounds like you have a history with her. Please, don't take this the wrong way, but... Who are you? And what is this place? I'm Arena, the Rebel Corps leader. And who are you two? I must admit, I still can't believe you took down those Legionnaires. Hmm. Hey, your name's Joker, right? Why didn't you ever surrender? You took a serious beating back there. But no matter how much Marie hurt you, you never seem to actually fear her. Uh, all the time? Well, it certainly sounds like you're no stranger to dire circumstances. I need to ask you one last question. Are you two really standing up to Marie? 
Or are you actually just her pawns trying to entrap me? If it's the latter, then speak up now so I can wrap this up quickly. What? When did this become an interrogation? Take it easy there. You saw what happened back there. She took our friends and made them her slaves. At the very least, we've got some people to rescue and some payback to dish out. <sighs> I see. Apologies for that. Marie is very crafty. She's able to brainwash people into doing anything. This even includes behaving the way that you two have been. So? Do you believe we're not brainwashed now? Yes. I believe you two are being sincere. Marie has no tolerance for opposition. She'll hunt you to the end of the world if she has to. If you're looking to lay low, why not come to the Rebel Corps hideout with me? I'll explain everything when we arrive. We're actually almost there. I imagine it's safer for us there than out here in the street. Joker, let's go with Arena and see what her hideout's like. Considering how we have no idea what's going on, I think we just have to trust her. Plus, anyone who'd put their life on the line to rescue us must be pretty decent, right? Thank you. You won't regret it. Shall we go, Joker? And you, uh... My name's Morgana. Call me Mona when we're out in the open. Got it, Mona. Allow me to show you the way. Th that's Welcome to the Rebel Hideout! <laughs> that may have made it sound a bit too grand. It's really just a regular restaurant. Yeah, it sure looks like it. What's the chief shop doing here? Hmm? You two notice something strange? Say, Arena, how long has that building been there? Uh, how long it's been? As far as I know, the cafe's always been here. We've always used it as our hideout. This is just getting weird. They look way too similar to be a coincidence. When we first crossed over into the metaverse, we were originally inside LeBlanc. Maybe this is our own cognitive version of LeBlanc? No, couldn't be. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but we can discuss it inside. Come on, you two stick out like sore thumbs around here. Let's go. Yeah, we need to see this place for ourselves. Let's go, Joker. Whoa, look at this. I can't believe it. Even the interior is a perfect copy of LeBlanc. Isn't it kind of funky? That's what I like about this place, though. But let me grab you some drinks. It'll just be a sec. Wait, what? Wh when did you get changed? And your mask is gone, too. But I didn't transform when we came in. At least since your outfit reverted back, that means this place really is safe for us. What on earth? You two certainly talk strangely. I've lived here for as long as I can remember, but I've never met people like you before. Well, people. Oh, come on! You're really gonna get hung up on that now? <laughs> so, the two of you are in trouble? Depending on your situation, I might be able to lend you a hand. That's awfully generous, considering how much you've already helped. And we definitely need to know more about this place. The arena, was it? For starters, could you tell us more about yourself and this world? I see. Please have a seat. So you and your friends are from another world? I have to admit, that's rather hard to grasp. This world's the only one I've ever known. On top of that, you're also telling me you're thieves who steal hearts, and you just stumbled into this world? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Believe me, we're in the same boat here. All of a sudden, we were surrounded by Marie's forces, and you had to rescue us. We really have no idea what's going on. Well, we can try to hash it out later. Uh, Morgana, and you. I suppose it's my turn to answer questions. Feel free to ask away. 
She is a ruthless tyrant who fancies herself the ruler of these parts. This used to be a peaceful place, free of any sort of conflict. Then, Marie appeared, and everything changed. She declared that the entire city and all its citizens were now her property. With her invincible soldiers leading the way, she quickly seized full control. Invincible soldiers? You mean, those guys who attacked us? Yes. We've taken to calling them Legionnaires. I'm sure you saw for yourselves. Not only are they incredibly strong, but all we can do is knock them out. They're always back on their feet all too soon. No matter the tactics we try, they're seemingly invincible. Maybe they're shadows of some kind. Only personas can put down a shadow. No wonder you didn't stand a chance. Shadows? Personas? Whatever those may be, I knew you had solid intel on the enemy. Anyway, after Marie showed up and declared that this was her kingdom, now she brainwashes anyone she can find, then uses them up until they're nothing. Anything else you'd like to ask? Yeah, she said this was the Rebel Corps' hideout, didn't she? Marie is strong enough that it'll take everyone in the city to stop her. That's why I founded the Rebel Corps. I've served as leader ever since. As the one who inspired the citizens here to fight, it's my job to see that Marie no longer enslaves them. Well, you certainly have a good reason to be considered a criminal, huh? Pretty impressive, Arena. <laughs> well, our current win record certainly isn't impressive. There are so few of us left now. We're basically an army in name only. Yeah, when your enemies get right back up, there's only so much you can do. Right. The best we can do now is lay low here and look for gaps in their defense. So, was there anything else? Why? You two were in trouble, so I had to help. Even if it meant getting caught? Those guys already had it out for you. True. And I admit I was already considering recruiting you to our cause. I'd never seen anyone go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marie's forces before. Not that well, anyway. We'll certainly take the compliment. But you were the real star back there. Thanks again, Arena. It was a pretty big gamble on my part, but I'm definitely glad it paid off. So, anything else? So, I understand that Marie is doing whatever she pleases in this world. But, do you know if she has a goal? If she's going through the effort of enslaving everyone, it has to be for some reason. <sighs> the perfect wedding. The perfect wedding? She wants to get married? Yes, Marie is in a perpetual state of preparing her wedding. It's become her single obsession by this point. It always needs to be more, no matter the pain it may cost. Can't say I expected that. Her own legionnaires, the citizens she captured, even your own friends are all forced to prepare her wedding. She was even able to command them to build her that tank with the premature message on the grill. Marie sounds like a real threat. She's self-centered enough to sacrifice everyone around her for her own desires. And if she's as powerful as she seems, then everyone's in real trouble. Oh, we need to act fast. Well, now that we've got a grasp on things, let's figure out our next course of action. Yeah, that's our top priority. But given how strong their brainwashing is, this isn't gonna be easy. About that, I have a suggestion. You two want to free your friends from Marie and escape this metaverse. And I want to take Marie down so nobody has to live under a tyrant anymore. With that in mind, I think we should join forces. Would you be willing to join the Rebel Corps if I were to help you on your rescue mission? <laughs> I see. In other words, you want to make a deal, right? How about it? Yeah. You don't get through situations as bizarre as these without making a few new accomplices. Not only do we need to rescue our friends, but we need to figure out how to get back home, too. I'd say the more of us, the better. And she seems pretty capable, too. We talked it over, 
And it's unanimous. You've got a deal, Arena. Excellent. Then it's a deal. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. First things first. I officially deem you two members of the Rebel Corps. So, with that said... Welcome to the Resistance, comrades! The comrades? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go with that for now. whether or not these are your friends unless we see for ourselves. Right, time for me to start upholding my end of the deal. If we really did find your friends, they could give our forces a solid boost when we spring them. All right, we'll head out once you've rested up. I'll draw up a plan of attack. It won't take very long. Man, I didn't expect us to get beat as badly as we did. Bush, but we really ate it back there. I want to hammer out a plan of attack, but we don't have enough intel. Well, it's no use thinking about it now. Plus, we've got Arena helping us out with that now. Hopefully, she comes up with a strategy that... Hey, was that... somehow. Let's go through it. She might be able to tell us what's going on. At the very least, she'll have our backs. Whoa! It looks totally different in here now. There are a bunch of machines all over the place. What happened? It's been a while. <laughs> well... A very short while, I suppose. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This realm exists between dream and reality, between mind and matter. It appears you've suffered quite the ordeal. Miss Lavenza! This place has been affected by the same guidance of fate as that which has claimed yourselves. And this guiding hand must be wielded by a being with significant power. However, I do not know which being is responsible, nor their intentions. All I can say for certain is that our current situation deviates greatly from the natural course of events. I admit that my carelessness led to being caught in this aberration and pulled from my master's side. Whoa, oh, it got you too, Miss Lavenza? Whoever this being may be, they are also responsible for the chaotic state of this room. It's as if some force of negation has infected this place. This force has unfortunately affected you all as well, Deepening the issue you currently face. I see. So that's why we couldn't summon our personas like usual. This woman named Marie called the place a kingdom or something. Whatever it is, it sure is weird. Then I will henceforth refer to that realm as a kingdom. This kingdom is a world disparate from Mementos and the other palaces. Unfortunately, returning will be no easy feat. 
We would each be stuck here for eternity were we to simply wait. Right. We've never given up before. We're not starting now. We're gonna rescue the others and get us all the hell out of here. <laughs> I expected as much from you. This realm, sealed off from all other realities. There is still much to learn. However, so long as you have the will to overcome this ordeal, I will spare no effort to aid you. I am the one who rules over power. To draw out the potential lying dormant within you, I shall reprise my role for you in this place. As I had previously explained, this room has suffered from a grave disturbance. Apologies, but would you mind taking your leave? I vow to tidy up the place before your next return. Indeed, I wholly believe that you can do this, Trickster. Morgana? I leave him in your care. And I'll be sure not to let you down, Miss Lavenza. By the way, that outfit, is that also the mysterious being's fault? No, I merely thought under the circumstance, I could perhaps dress more fittingly to theme. What do you think? Does it suit me? Uh, uh... Does it suit me? <laughs> yeah, uh, looking cool. It pleases me to hear that. Well then, please visit me anytime you need, through the door in the hideout. We shall meet again soon. Alright, let's go over the current plan. Take a look at this map. I see. The whole city's surrounded by the castle's outer walls, huh? Yes, the hideout's marked here. We're in part of the city that's a fair distance from the castle. And here is the prison where they're holding your friends. How do you plan for us to get there? Well, we certainly can't just travel the streets. Security is tighter than ever now. They've been after me for quite a while, but now they're looking for you two as well. So, I think the safest course of action is to make our way there along the top of the castle's outer wall. We're definitely less likely to get surrounded that way. But this is so reckless! Just imagine what would happen were you to fall! Don't you worry about that. We're used to this sort of stunt. We don't call ourselves phantom thieves for nothing, right? Oh, good. Sounds like this strategy will play to your strengths. Hopefully we can find our friends and get them out of there before it's too late. Everyone, hang on just a bit longer. those rats for me? Not yet, ma'am. But we have every last man hunting them now. I see. Then, every last man is absolutely pathetic. I want those three at my feet now! Yes, ma'am! I swear, how can they all be so useless? Just as the ceremony was falling into place, the vermin start crawling in through the walls. All I need is the perfect wedding, then everything I've ever wanted will finally be within my grasp. Until that moment comes, anyone in my way is sure to regret it. Oh, playthings! I think I'm in the mood now to try out my new little toys. That defiant little brat who escaped. Joker, was it? You are to find him and bring him to me. I want him alive. Got it? Your wish is our command, great Lady Marie. Soon, I'll have that arrogant brat within my grip once more. And this time, I'll crush him right in front of his friends! <laughs> Should do it here. I've got to know. Just what the hell are those things? Plus, your powers aren't working like usual either, are they? 
Miss Lavenza didn't know what was going on either. That means we must have reached a really strange place. It seems you two are still feeling held back. I must say, you're certainly holding your own regardless. That persona of yours. How'd you get that, if you don't mind my asking? Personas are the power of the heart made manifest. You should be able to summon one too, if you try. Uh, really? Would you mind if I tried now? Hmm. Before they catch us. We made it? That went surprisingly well. Huh? Oh, got it. Shh! Legionnaires incoming! Hide! Phew! like we're in the clear. Security's a lot tighter around here. You Phantom Thieves are in a whole different league. I could learn a thing or two from you. We try to find every advantage we can. Never take your opponent's head on unless you have to. And consider that your first lesson in Phantom Thievery. But it looks like you're getting the hang of it pretty quickly. Right, Joker? Oh, great idea! Want to become my next apprentice, Arena? <laughs> I'm honored, but I'm already struggling to keep up. More incoming! Only a few of them this time. Let's start the next lesson. It appears this area is free of guards. Let's keep moving. Hmm. What's wrong? Everything seems to be going well enough, considering. It's just... This place is guarded pretty well. So why haven't we heard any alarms yet? You mean, this could be a trap? Yeah, something's off here. Our work might get a lot tougher real soon. No use worrying over it now. All we can do is keep going. There can't be much further to go. It's so quiet in here, it's creepy. Uh. Hmm? Uh. In there! <laughs> We've come to save you! You've come to what? Wait, that's not... <laughs> hmm? Who are you? Well, that's what I was gonna ask! So you're telling me this man isn't a phantom thief? Joker, do you even recognize him? Huh? <sighs> well, in that case... Just who did we free? Hmm? I thought the others were being held here. But where have I seen this guy before? On TV? Oh, right! The politician that went missing! It's Kasukabe or something, right? Um, yes. I'm Toshiro Kasukabe. I'd like for someone to tell me that as well. <sighs> I don't get it. Just what is happening here? Finding myself in this bizarre world with all those terrible monsters? Then I get rescued by a magician-looking team with a bizarre cat mascot. Is something wrong with me? When did I even get here? He's muttering to himself like a loon. But at least he doesn't seem brainwashed by Marie. And let's see if we can help him. Maybe he has some useful intel for us. Well, we certainly can't just leave him here to rot. That settles it. We're 
we're gonna help you escape this prison. I don't know who you people are, but I would definitely like to get out of here. I suggest we make our way out before those terrible girls come back. Terrible girls? Yes. They had been guarding this prison until very recently. I promise you, they are not to be trifled with. I suggest avoiding them at any cost. Especially the girl with the whip and the brazen leather outfit. She's the scariest one, by far. Hmm. I have a feeling we know just who he's talking about. Oh my! Just where do you four think you're going? How many times do I have to remind you? You belong right here. It's her! Leather suit whip girl! Listen, you must not provoke her! If you do, she won't hold back! I'll just keep quiet. They're both far too dangerous to fight! Don't speak to them, just figure out how to get out of here and take me with you! Oh, quit babbling, you pathetic coward. Did you really not get the whining whipped out of you last time? The way she's talking. They must still be brainwashed by Maria. Brainwashed? How dare you equate my handiwork to something so common as cleaning! This is domination! From every corner of their minds to every sense in their bodies, I am the one in control! Relishing something as terrible as that? You're one rotten lady! Amusing words, coming from some low-life thieves who snuck into my secure facility. I'm glad you did. Now I can snatch up the rest of you, all in one fell swoop. What is going on? You already know them? No, don't bother answering that. Let's just get away, fast. How do I not get a say here? Get ready. We're going to make them come to their senses. Ready. These attacks of yours would barely hurt a fly. Was all that bravado just for show? Or maybe you're pulling your punches so you don't hurt your friends. Look, I'm wide open now. Why not strike me down? <laughs> How stupid are you? You're wasting your breath! My domination is far too strong to break under some mere encouragement. Damn her! Running her mouth like that! That's enough fun and games. Now, get down on the floor and grovel for me! Sure you can go on? There must be some way to escape. Sorry to say, I don't think that's on the table. We have no other choice. Lay down your arms and surrender. We may be confined here, but at least we'll have our lives. If they take us to Marie, she'll put us under her control. But even if that's true, how do you expect this skirmish to play out? I don't care if it's brainwashing or domination. It's better than dying. It's Toshiro, right? I definitely agree that things are looking bad. But it's not over for us yet. As long as we have hope, then we fight. Even if we have to crawl our way to the end, we fight. When you refuse to stand up to injustice, you become complicit. Uh, uh, are you? What? Huh? <laughs> what? This is... What the...? Uh, uh. Mm. Joker, let's move! Oh no, you don't! What?
Thank you. You made this possible. Hmm. Bear witness! This banner shall drive our rebellion! It's time for action! The revolution is here! Whoa! Where'd that flag come from? Wait, we'll come back to that. Panther! Oracle! Uh, uh. Ugh, my head is pounding. Oh, good. Looks like that brought him back. We'll start guessing later. Right now, we have to focus on escaping. Right, I have no idea what's going on here, but I have to agree with the catfishy thing. Listen real well, all right? I am not a catfish! Oh, my, my apologies. I didn't realize I was mistaken. Hmm. An eel? I'm not an eel either! What's wrong with your eyes? Just oh, pull it together and give us a hand with them. Ah, yes. Uh, allow me. All right. Let's move out. I'll look after these two while they recover. Would you mind leading us back to the hideout? Yes, let's get out of here. You lead the way. Hey, okay, I get it. Follow me. Lady On and Futaba are resting upstairs. They'll be awake soon enough. Next on our plate, we've got a lot of catching up to do. First, let's start off with you. All right, Toshiro. And for your own sake, I hope you don't turn out to be our enemy. Well, hang on now. I understand you may be suspicious of me, but imagine how I feel. Firstly, what is this place? And who are you people? No, wait, why is there a cafe in a place like this? And why did you suddenly change appearances when you stepped inside? Uh, maybe try just going with the flow here? This is far beyond the flow. In the past half hour alone, I've witnessed 10 incidents where the laws of physics were outright defied. Actually, it's 11 if you count it. Oh, then there was... Uh, sounds like a no. Guess we should start from the top. Hmm, let's see. This world is somehow separate from my own and controlled by a woman named Marie. So you phantom thieves have teamed up with the rebel corps here to end her tyranny. Yeah, you got it. Make sense now? How the hell could I get that? I know. This has to be a dream. Or perhaps some dystopian organization is experimenting on constructing worlds directly in people's brains. We're not stuck in a dream or experiment. Okay, it's time for you to answer our questions. Why did Marie have you locked up in her prison? Well, I was. I actually have no idea. Hmm. Huh. Give me that look. Okay, I know what you're all thinking. But I'm telling the truth. I just woke up in this world, then those monsters locked me up. But you remember your name and everything, right? Yes. Well, my name, I mean... Other things I should remember seem to have escaped me. I know I'm a diet member, and a few other details here and there. But there are these huge sections of my memory that are gone. It's rather unsettling, to say the least. You heard him. What's your take? You read my mind. These politicians always have some angle going. Although, I guess there's no proof he's with Marie. We can't just toss him out on the street. That's right! So just get me out of here as soon as possible. I'm not so stupid as to ask the phantom thieves to place their trust in someone like myself. Hang on. You know we're the Phantom Thieves? After the mess you've made over the last year, how could I not? Especially your most recent fiasco. I remember that all too well. Wow, even Toshiro knows who you are? Maybe the Phantom Thieves really are a big deal. For better or worse, I'd have to agree. Breaking more laws than one can count. Sowing discord through all of society. You may have your contingent of fans fawning over you, but I have nothing but distaste for your style of mayhem. I 
I can't believe you've been a gang of children this whole time. No! But regardless of the circumstances, I cannot condone children engaging in illegal activities to rail against what they perceive as unjust authority figures. You sound like the exact kind of politician we go after. <laughs> uh, apologies. Now is probably not the best time for this. I'm not sure how you'll react to this, but I'd like to make a proposition. You phantom thieves are cooperating with the Rebel Corps to find a way back to the real world, correct? That means we share the same goal. How about you let me join you in exchange for my aid? I don't really feel like arguing against it. What do you think, Arena? We've heard everything we need to hear. Now we just have to decide whether or not we believe him. Hmm. And I think I'm going to believe him. Oh, thank you. I, I greatly appreciate it. And if you wind up double-crossing us, then we'll just deal with you the same way we'd handle any other traitor. Quite the clever rebel, aren't you? Let's make it official. Welcome to the Rebel Corps, Toshiro. Happy to be aboard. My housekeeping skills should come in handy here. Oh, you were planning to just stick around here. Come on. I hope we can pull it off at least. Yeah, I know the two of us are definitely capable. I won't let it stress me. Hey, you two. Feeling any better yet? Ugh. I feel like my brain's still rebooting, but other than that, I'm fine. Mm, sorry to put you through all that. That being said, um, does anyone have any idea what's going on? Hey, is it still safe to be here? It could get really nasty again. Hey, what's with that guy whispering to Joker over there? Yeah, we should catch them up. So, this guy is... Alrighty, yet another mess we've stumbled into. Huh. I suppose I'd feel the same if I were you. Although, I'd really appreciate it if you were willing to join our cause. <laughs> you bet we're willing. Since you helped to free us from Marie, we've got to return the favor. But really? You two will be a huge boost to our forces. Thank you. Uh, the one problem is... I've been filled in on the situation. It sounds like you've had a rough time here. Not worse than my own, though. Are we supposed to trust this guy? I don't know if I can picture him having our backs. He seems like a pretty big Phantom Thieves hater. Do you really need another politician throwing you under the bus? <laughs> Good point. But he doesn't seem all that bad to me. I can't believe that woman would do that. There must be no limit to her depravity. Mind controlling teenagers, making them wear absurd clothing. Good grief. I think of what she put on you in particular. Hey, I'm allowed to slug him, right? Just this once. You're a real rowdy bunch, aren't you? Uh, no fighting in the hideout, though. Please. Oh, maybe we should just move on. At this point, we really ought to figure out our next steps. The Rebel Corps' primary objective is overthrowing Marie's oppressive regime. As for the Phantom Thieves, you're trying to rescue your friends and find a way back to your own world, right? Right. Unfortunately, we have no idea where the exit could be. We don't have a single solid lead either. Our only option so far is to search Marie's castle. So, my memory of it's pretty fuzzy, but when I was under Marie's control, I think I saw a weird-looking door somewhere in the back of her throne room. I mean, it might not end up being the door we're looking for, but... No, a lead like that is way better than having nothing to go on. For now, let's try to find that door. There's a chance it'll take us back home. Sounds like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marie is an inevitability at this point. Fiddling with our heads and making us follow orders. Hope she's ready for some sweet revenge. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna make that jerk pay. Wait, if reaching the door is our only goal, then surely there's no need for full-scale combat. If we merely need to cross the threshold, perhaps uh, just a uh, 
flying cross chop or something. Great. Glad that settles things. Hey, don't just blow off my concerns with a grin. So, I was thinking for our next move. Our top priority should probably still be rescuing the remaining Phantom Thieves from Mario. We'll need as many allies as possible to take her down. We appreciate it. Now, if only we had some sort of clue as to where they might be. I've got some Rebel Scouts poking around town right now. We can hammer out our next course of action once they've reported back. Oh, great work there, Captain. Make it happen. Nice. The rest of us will start prepping for combat. We should be ready to roll out in a moment's notice. your phone ringing? You can't get calls in the metaverse. What's going on? Hello. Thank you for answering. This is Lavenza calling. Miss Lavenza? You must be surprised, but considering the unusual situation we're in, I have made use of your smart telephone so that we may speak. For the wait. Preparations are finally complete on this end. what that's about. I have been awaiting you. You look like you have something you wish to say. What seems to be the matter? All who disregard instructions must be punished, no matter the transgressor. Does anyone take issue with that? Now, there is but one reason for your being summoned here. I have completed the arrangements necessary for your persona needs. Since the power of the wild card has been hampered somehow, you will have to make do with this process. Perhaps a demonstration would be simplest. I shall guide you through the process to ensure your comprehension. Before that, though, one small question. Have you cited anything resembling this during your battles? Well then, this shall be easier to explain than I anticipated. Within these lies some sort of power that only exists in this world. I will now show you how to use this power to create new personas. Personas. This new power is available not only to yourself, but to your compatriots as well. What do you think of that? <laughs> it is an honor to receive high praise from one such as yourself, Trickster. So long as the flame of your resolve continues to burn, I will be by your side. Please return should you ever find yourself in need of more power. With that being said... Ready to take your leave? Then I have a final gift 
before you do. There is no doubt that you will face many battles in this kingdom where you found yourself. While I may have been roped into the situation as well, it is an unfortunate fact that I am unable to provide you my usual services. Therefore, I am providing you with something in an attempt to make up for this failure. Please take a look at your smart telephone. Whenever you have need for my assistance, please make use of that application. It will bring you right to me immediately. With this, even in the midst of battle, even if the enemy is right before your eyes, my aid is available to you. <laughs> Do you think so? I had never created something of that nature before, but I believe it will work without issue. I hope as much, at least. And now, I shall wish you the best of luck. I will be here as always, should you need my assistance. Until then, take care. I see. A sub-persona, huh? In other words, while you can't switch between personas at will like before, you can choose one persona to equip in addition to Arsene. And you're not the only one. The rest of us can equip a sub-persona in this world too! Which means that all of us can borrow the powers of other personas! This ability is amazing! If we use it wisely, we can more than double our firepower! Seems like I can't use the sub-persona ability since I don't have a persona in the first place. That's a shame. It would have been so cool to use it. Don't feel too bad. You're more than on par with us when it comes to fighting. We'll be counting on you as usual, Arena. Yes, I promise to fulfill my end of the deal. Anyway, now that we have Miss Lavenza's support, we can rest easy. We should go see her if we ever need help with our new power. Say... work and stay safe out there. Yes, Captain. And good luck to you as well, man. Everyone, we've got some new intel. We've spotted two people wearing outfits similar to yours in the vicinity of Marie's armory. They were described as a loud, rowdy blonde boy and a terrifying axe-wielding woman. Sound like people you know? Mm, yeah, that's ringing a bell. <laughs> They're two of our friends. Yuji and Haru. We should come up with a way to rescue them. Odds are, Marie still got them both under her control. We probably won't get away with charging the armory head on. It is, in fact, a very important stronghold for the enemy, and much more heavily guarded. That isn't all, either. There's also a rather complex system of security gates throughout the armory. It'd be all too easy to wind up lost and captured. Ah. An expert on the place. I wouldn't go that far, but I was taken there for a while after I was captured. Maybe they were replenishing their supplies. Whatever it was, I distinctly remember being brought into the armory. I can say, without a doubt, that you'd never make it through there. We should wait for a better opportunity. Those are simply the facts. Does he have to be so smug about it? Hmm. I 
definitely sounds like a real challenge for us. How do you phantom thieves feel about it? Ha! We don't throw in the towel that easily. Our friends' lives are on the line here. We're taking this mission. Mona said it. We're not gonna sit around just because a little danger is involved. It's way too early for us to drop this quest. Maybe we'll find a key item along the way. Hmm. I can say, without a doubt, that you'd never make it through there. We should wait for a better opportunity. Those are simply the facts. Did you really think we just didn't hear you the first time? I'm glad you fanned that you see things my way. I'm right there with you. We can't just give up on them now. Hang on, you agree with them? After what happened at the prison, there's no way that place will be safe. How is it acceptable to bring a group of children there? You are? How often are you all endangering yourselves? Mm. The rest of us are unanimous. We're taking this mission. Feel free to wait here if you don't feel like joining us. Uh, as a responsible adult, I could never let minors wander off into danger alone. Fine then. If it's to help your friends, I'll accompany you. Uh, we appreciate the offer, but can you even fight? <laughs> of course I can't fight. However, I can guide you all through the base. You can? As I said before, I've already been inside the armory. Not only do I know the general interior layout, but I kept mental note of the gates with lighter security. Oh, now that's something. Hmm. I even eavesdropped on every guard's conversation. I have a great deal of experience in listening to others. Real proud of that one, huh? Listen to me. Nothing we do will make our mission any less dangerous. If you get even the remote sense that we're in trouble, retreat to the hideout immediately. Promise? All right, that takes care of them. Not that I expected to, but I still haven't picked up their readings. I can imagine Marie would have them guarding the deepest part of the armory. I'd say we have our work cut out for us. Allow me to lead the way. Your job's to protect me at all costs. Understood? Okay, okay, we will. Even with Toshiro helping, we won't be able to avoid every single guard. Everybody, tread really lightly. This room seems to be the end. Guess we made it. I'm picking up two readings nearby. Are they hiding in here? Oh, I swear. If they pop up like... <laughs> Yeah, I could really do without that. <laughs> Talk about a hair trigger! I can hardly believe you scuttled your way in here, instead of crawling back into whatever hole you came from. Mindless vermin like yourselves are easy enough to round up, though. Time for you to welcome your new master! Damn it. Noir by herself is enough trouble, but with Skull, too? Get your filthy mind powers out of our friends! You idiotic girl! Every single one of my subjects should feel nothing but gratitude for this. But very, very soon, you won't be worrying about any of that. All you'll do is obey every order from your beautiful, charming master. And what more could mindless vermin ever hope for in life? Stupid laugh! We have to make them stop! I understand. These two are the people we came to collect, right? Yeah! We're not leaving without our friends. Get ready, everyone! Here we go. Damn it! You unruly 
totally insignificant brat! I'm going to make you regret this all too soon! You'll see. Uh. Conked out. No injuries to speak of either. Joker's issued his command. Everyone fall back at once. Ah, oh, Toshiro. You're always so passionate about running away. I'll go ahead and take care of the exit route. Everyone got their safety, buddy? Looks like we're in the clear. I must have given up pursuit. Are your two friends okay? Yeah, thanks. They woke up just a couple minutes ago. <sighs> on and the others filled us in on what happened. So you're Arena. Sounds like you've been a huge help to us here. The feeling's mutual. The Phantom Thieves have really turned things around for the Rebel Corps. <laughs> if everyone else is pulling their weight, sounds like I'd better start too. I'm looking forward to contributing as well. It's a pleasure to join you. Although, has anyone else noticed if their throat's awfully sore since coming here? Yeah, it's real weird. Feels like I've been hollering all day or something. Yes, I can imagine your throats would be sore after all the horrid laughing you were. Ah, uh, yeah! It's like, uh, the air here is so much drier than back home. <laughs> Haven't you noticed, guys? Yup, Lady On's right. That settles it. Huh? Um, okay. Why do I feel like I want to know what happened, but also not know? Be sure to spread the news. A giant cake? Oh, like a wedding cake? <sighs> Marie just keeps pissing me off more and more with her BS. Say, what do you think may have happened to make her want to hold her wedding now? If all she wants is a ceremony, she'd have no trouble getting one arranged whenever she pleased. According to past reports, Marie struggled to find someone she deemed worthy enough to marry. I have no idea what's taken her so long, but it sounds like she may have finally found someone to put through the ceremony. Am I the only one who thinks putting together a wedding before having someone to marry is weird? So the report's indicating she's about to marry someone? That is correct, ma'am. Furthermore, her new partner will be at the ceremony in person. All we know of him so far is he's a handsome man with dark hair and piercing eyes. Hey. Could that be... Yes, that definitely describes Yusuke. Well, I guess he is the looker out of us guys. Still, why the hell is he getting married to such a god-awful person? I can't speak for Mario, but something tells me she isn't actually taking your friend's desires into account. Mario and her ceremony can go to hell! We have to rescue Yusuke before it's too late! Yes. In fact, this could be just the chance we need. If we know Marie and your remaining comrades are going to be at the plaza... And we get to rescue our friends and put our boots to Marie's ass at the same time! <laughs> Hang on a moment. I understand why you want to attack, but you're being entirely too hasty. Don't you think Marie would see this opportunity to set a trap for us? That is... Probably true. Even if we absolutely must go, we should at least prioritize our comrades. Imagine marching right up to the enemy commander. We never said we were planning to do anything like that. We just know there might be a fight waiting for us. I understand that as well, but there's a difference between bravery and recklessness. Looking at you all, I get a very uneasy feeling about this. I think you made a good point there, if I'm honest. But 
even still, there are some things in this world you just gotta stand up to. That's how I, it's how all of us learned to move on. <sighs> Yet you're going to do it anyway, despite knowing it's irrational? I just cannot comprehend the way you kids think. However, I should apologize for taking over the conversation like that. I am not opposed to conducting a rescue operation. I will accompany you and offer any aid as needed. Nice! Then let's get out of here and crash this shitty wedding! last battle? Yeah, I got a scratch, but it's not a big deal. You're only focusing on the end result. If you'd been struck in a more vital area, you could have easily lost your life. I understand that each of you have been following your heart to fight for what you believe is right. Your behavior isn't condemnable. However, I cannot approve either. I recognize that you've all been very capable of carrying out your missions with your lives on the line. But all it takes is one slip, and it's over. Goals, your ideals, lost forever. I just felt I should point this out as the adult. I know as long as I fight, wounds like these are unavoidable. Still, I can't let my fear control me. Doing nothing won't help. The only thing I can say for sure is... I'm really scared. I'm scared that we're entering a world where corruption is free to flourish. And even worse... I'm scared of becoming someone who's okay with that. So I fight because I refuse to give up and turn a blind eye to the injustices in my world. Not only that, you said it only takes one slip up for everything to be lost. But getting hurt or suffering through hard times, those don't mean it's all over. And that means? When you follow your beliefs long enough, you're bound to meet others willing to fight by your side. And when something's impossible by yourself, you can trust your comrades to help you. When you think of it that way, it takes a lot more than one setback for it all to become meaningless. And the Rebel Corps will carry on the fight in the name of our lost comrades! Hmm, that we will. Oh, and don't worry about me endangering myself. I hate getting hurt. Ridiculous. Hmm. Well, we've gotten this far without any real problems, but... Wait! Wait! I need it! Get your breath! Oh, my sides! Grandpa, keep it down! Oh, I admit you're very skilled at your maneuvering. But if you think of the less athletically gifted present, I would appreciate it. Uh, oh, brother. I will accompany you and offer any aid as needed. Those were your exact words, right? What of it? Athletics aren't my area of expertise. My strong suits are, let's see, arranging ceasefire deals, petitioning for reduced sentences, other negotiation demands. Hey, enough from your resume for now. We're about to start working on the cake. Now that you say that, why would they choose to make a cake here? They can't be planning to. What? I beg of you, let us go. Silence! You earned this when you defied Lady Marie! Be grateful that you get to contribute to the ceremony at all! Give us those tears of joy! This is way too much! Why even go through the effort for something so horrible? Yeah, it wouldn't do us any good to know why they're such sick bastards. Treating people like that? It's inexcusable! Well, well now, it sounds, sounds like, like you think I consider them people. 
seeing the looks on your faces. It seems you didn't know you were expected. I had considered naming all of you the guests of honor for my ceremony. But instead, I think I'll make you the entertainment. Soon, you'll experience the celebration up close and personally. After I've taken back my groom, that is. Taken back? Wait, Fox isn't the groom? What gives? Didn't you abduct our friend over there to marry him? What? Why would you think I'd ever settle for some inconsequential dirt for brat? There is but one fitting suitor here. Toshiro Katsukabe is destined to be mine! You, you're marrying me? Have you forgotten our arrangement? Or perhaps you're not remembering on purpose. Whatever the case, you have no choice but to stand at my side forever! Ah. Sorry about that. For a moment I felt... What the hell is going on? Let's try to figure it out later. We should focus on Mako-chan and the others for now. Right! We don't have a chance against them if we hold back. Lay into it and keep your guard up. Better get ready. I'll beat you to a pulp! Say something! Arena! Hey, answer me! Mm. Oh, Lady Marie! Oh, Lady Marie! Stamp out every traitor! Wipe their existence from this kingdom! Oh, shit, it's getting worse. You have to. finish it. I have to. Don't say that. You know I can't. I'm not like you. I know. You can do it. It's just like before. <laughs> you must be getting delirious from the blood loss if you think that man's capable of anything on his own. He is nothing without my control. She's right. I can't help it all. What? Damn it. I'll do it. This, this is the end! We're not making it out of this one alive! Don't give up yet! We can still prevail! Toshiro? We can't let this one setback make our efforts meaningless! Stand and fight! What, what was, was that? that? You imbeciles! Don't, Don't just stand, stand there! Stop in this instant! No 
want you to fly free and Marty and should be left alone! Oh, look at that. Oshiro finally found his guts. We should pull our weight too. Everyone, ready for one last push? You don't even have to ask. I'm just getting started. You know, wish me luck. Oh, traitor! Another step and you're through! I'm not done! Now it's over! No! How could you, Toshiro? You bastard! <laughs> How about that? I actually did it. Whoop, looks like the adrenaline finally ran out. Hey, how's everyone else holding up? Irina's unconscious but holding up. Same goes for Fox and Queen. Did we actually win? How magnificent! Looks like we really did pull it off. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. This was a tough one. We can't go through another round now. Wait, what's that sound? For banter. I admit, I didn't expect you all to put together such a resistance. <laughs> but in the end, you were still ground down to nothing. Just look at the state of you. How fortunate. It's almost as if my fiance was destined to be here for our ceremony. The hell, what do we do? Even if we were treated, I don't know how we can save Arena and the other rebels, too. But we can't fight anymore either. What do you mean by yourself? That's just insane. Yeah, there's no way you'd make it through that. All right, time for the brats to face their punishment. <laughs> what could make today even better? Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. I've got the most delightful idea! <laughs> yes, first of... What? The time's come to pay back our debt! Please, take the captain and retreat! Rebel Corps, charge! Open a path for their escape! <sighs> no, before it's too late! We'll hold back for you! Where? No! brought you back here. Thank you. I appreciate the update. First things first, I'm sorry. I was too careless out there, and you suffered for it. My apologies as well. I promise I'll find a way to make up for such a shameful blunder. Marie's the one who should be sorry. You two have nothing to feel bad about. I'm just glad that everyone's all right now. All the rest is in the past. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you've got my back. With that said, uh, we should address the elephant in the room. Yeah, I, I can't stop bleeding. 
If someone loses over 50% of their blood, they're done for! I'm already at 30... 40%! I know, I know. But all you're doing is making a fuss over a little scratch. <laughs> Ow! If you're going to offer me medical care, could you try actually caring? I'm wounded here. So, those two over there are Irina and Toshiro? When I heard he was a Diet member and opposed the Phantom Thieves, I certainly didn't expect this lively fellow. Yeah, there's a lot about him we don't really get. Would you please not talk about me while I'm present? Like I'm some doddering elder? Oh, busted. Hi, nice to meet you. Sounds like you're caught up, but I'm Arena, and this is Toshiro. You don't have to pay him any mind, though. That's not your call to make! With that said, we've spent enough time fooling around. Perhaps we should begin discussing the situation in full. First, I'd like to address what you're all probably thinking. What's the history between Toshiro and Marie, I would assume? Yeah, actually, I was wondering that. Marie definitely made it sound like you two had a past, but I couldn't pick up what the deal was. This would go a lot quicker if you just caught us up already. Or are you gonna play the amnesia card again? I knew it. I've never heard anyone actually gulp in fear before. If you don't have any intel to contribute, there's no need to concoct a fanciful excuse. That's not entirely true. I can't at least contribute the fact that I lost my memory. You really don't know anything about Marie? Yes. Really? Nothing at all? Y yes Hey, is he starting to act fishy? Indeed. This reminds me of the interrogation Sojiro gave me when I stole his pudding from the fridge. You know, Toshiro, I'm not just your comrade. I'm also the leader of the Rebel Corps. With that in mind, you know I can't turn a blind eye to a potential enemy agent. I really hope I don't have to think up a punishment for you being Marie's spy. What? Wait! More accurately, I feel as if I should know her, but for some reason I can't remember. What you're saying is... You may not remember the exact situation, but you can at least recall that you have a connection with Marie. Am I getting this right? Yes, exactly that! Miss Nijima, was it? You're an excellent summarizer. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, it's not hard to imagine this just means Toshiro's engaged to the real world, Marie. But that's not enough for us to figure out everything else going on here. And it's assuming Toshiro hasn't been playing us this entire time, right? <laughs> no need for the evil eye here. Oh, you know, it's just that we've seen a lot in our time. Lots of liars and frauds. Lots of people who regretted it. <laughs> okay, we've razzed him enough. We know he's got to be at least a decent guy. I mean, he had enough guts to go after Arena and finish the job, didn't he? Yeah, that's true. He really saved our butts back there. Plus, if it turns out he's just another POS politician, we can always knock him around until he comes to his senses. Ain't that right? <laughs> no worries there. I'll make him see the light. Mr. Sakamoto, if I may, I need to apologize to you. I had thought you were merely an ill-tempered, dead-end delinquent. I greatly underestimated you. Great! Yeah, that, that's probably the first time I've been insulted in an apology. So, Arena, are you... Well, I guess I'm just not as nice as Ryuji. I'm kidding. What you did back there, that's all it took to make up my mind. As the leader of the Rebel Corps, I had to press you a bit, but I definitely trust you now. I see. I truly appreciate it. All right, back to business. Now that all the Phantom Thieves are finally reunited. Thankfully, our Phantom Thieves rescue mission was a success. So, I suppose you could go look for that portal in Mare's castle. The one Toshiro mentioned before. Right. We agreed to help you remove Marie from power in exchange for rescuing our friends. If we don't hold up our end of the bargain, 
We don't deserve to call ourselves phantom thieves. Does that sound right to you guys? Absolutely. How could we leave without paying Marie her fair dues? <laughs> Sounds like you're ready to get back out there, Mako-chan. And I feel the same way. Leaving a mission incomplete would be quite unlike us. Not only that, but we always repay our debts. Besides, looking for that portal while Marie's still skulking around is a pretty terrible idea. Count me in, too. <laughs> we team up pretty well, huh? Hell yeah! Let's flip this kingdom upside down! Sounds like it's unanimous. So, it's settled. We're sticking with the Rebel Corps to the end. You guys, thank you. And I'll update my end of the deal. I'll make sure you get the help you need until all of you are back in your own world. <laughs> it seems we settled things rather quickly. The alliance between the Rebel Corps and Phantom Thieves shall go on. Why do you think you're the one to... Oh, never mind. Someone, please, help. What? How do you make it out of there? What can we do? Even if we were to help him, there are too many guards around. I say you're right. We need to get out there. I'm against such a proposal. If we charged over without a plan, it'd only lead to our own capture. Do you expect me to abandon one of my own right in front of me? I never said we'd abandon him. All I'm saying is we can't afford to act recklessly here. Hmm, Marie may have the advantage in numbers, but it's not like they're all gathered in one spot. From what I'm picking up, the Legionnaires are spread out pretty thin right now. He must be trying to cover as much ground as possible. But if each unit's as small as it's sounding... All right, let's clean this place up before the poor little guy gets captured again. This way, we'll start thinning out Marie's ranks while rescuing our comrades at the same time. Let's do this! Fine. I won't say no to that. But we're retreating at the first sign of danger. I won't hear any excuses. Then that takes care of the plan. Now to execute it. Let's get to work, Joker. You saved me. Thanks for your support today. I'm so relieved everything worked out. But uh, I keep thinking about how I lost my cool earlier. When Toshiro said we couldn't afford to act recklessly back there, deep down, I knew he was right. Despite that, I really tore into him. And now I regret what I said. You're right, but I'm finding it hard to process all my thoughts. I understand where Toshiro is coming from. I, I really do. If I go down, so does the rebellion. I know that much, at least. But it feels like my heart's pulling me in another direction. Like it's screaming that I'll regret it if I run away. That's weird, right? Being more afraid of running away than fighting. Really? I didn't expect that. that I figured you were... Who's there? Show yourself! It's just me! Please, don't attack me! Toshiro? First, let me just say, I absolutely did not come here with the intention of eavesdropping. When I found the two of you, you were already deep in discussion, so I missed my window to join in. All that about your feeling bad and wanting to apologize. I swear it was merely coincidence that I heard it. That's classic Toshiro right there. Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? At any rate, I was looking for you with this fellow because he wanted to speak with you. So sorry for interrupting. I just wanted a moment of your time so I could express my gratitude for your bravery. Thank you so very much for saving my life. Ah, oh, don't sweat it. All I did was what's obviously the right thing. Only you could say that so casually. But I do finally see why the Rebel Corps will follow you to the ends of the Earth. I must admit, I envy your courage. Although there are times you can be as stubborn as a mule. Ah, that makes sense. 
Then you remind me of a sloth. Or a turtle. Or maybe a snail. Okay, enough examples. You're getting cruel. I'm well aware that I lack any combat skills, and that my legs are always trembling when I'm on the battlefield. However, that doesn't mean I'm completely useless. Not to brag, but I'm confident that I possess the wits to survive adversities far better than many other people. Exactly. I believe I function best as the party strategist. It's a role that allows me to contribute to your cause and fight alongside you in my own way. <sighs> Toshiro. Just as you have your own convictions, I have mine. I refuse to let anyone die under my watch. And that applies to you too. <sighs> Thank you. I understand what you're saying. From here on out, I'll treat you as a comrade, not a liability. Thank you. I'll be sure to treat you similarly. From here on out, we're in this together. You said it. We're in this together. Oh, I just remembered. I do have one piece of good news to share. I asked the fellow we rescued for information about the prison he was in. Based on the details he gave me on the terrain and the guards' posts, I've devised a potential strategy for infiltration. Really? Yes. I'll share the details with everyone once we've reconvened as a group. Until then, though, I suggest we join them in getting some rest. I'm sure you two are downright bushed. You're right. Let's do that. And thanks for hearing me out, Joker. You should rest up, too. Show your faces, Rebel Corps! <laughs> this place is crawling with Legionnaires. If we get any closer, we'll be spotted too early. Irina, do you copy? Yes, I've just arrived at the starting point. We'll kick things off the moment I give the signal. First, let the enemy make visual contact, but keep your distance. Follow the predetermined route, making sure to activate the traps along the way. If you can keep Marie's army at bay for the entire pursuit, the mission's guaranteed to succeed. Roger that. All right, commencing operation in three, two, one. Go! Hey, you there! Ah, they found us! What terrible luck! Whatever shall we do now? No! This is the last! Thing we wanted to happen. Your acting's even worse than Panthers, but it doesn't seem to matter. You've got this, Arena. Now that we have the enemy in disarray, this would be a good time to strike. Arena, I think we ought to. Hang on. Before anything else, I have a proposal I'd like to make to you. What would that be? I want Toshiro to take command of the alliance between the Rebel Corps and the Phantom Thieves. You what? Yeah. The latest strategy you cooked up is how I know it's a good idea. I'll still be the head of the Rebel Corps, and he will be the leader of the Phantom Thieves. But I'd like you to take on the role of commanding our joint forces in battle. I know you're capable of leading us to victory. What's your take on this? What do you say to a promotion, Toshiro? Well, if you insist, I certainly am more suited for fighting with brains than with brawn. Not to brag, of course. And that settles it. We're all counting on you, Toshiro. Yes. Likewise. Well, the Rebel Corps has increased in strength, and we have a new general to boot. All that's left is taking down the enemy leader. Let's do our best and show Marie what for. The time's finally arrived. We've got a massive battle ahead of us. Make sure you're well prepared. Rebel Corps really started filling out the ranks. 
Are you pumped for the big showdown yet? Mm-hmm. We're finally nearing the numbers we need. Marie had better be ready. A big showdown, eh? It's certainly shaping up that way. Although it's somewhat concerning that she hasn't shown herself since we saw her last. No matter what, she likely has an idea of how we'll be approaching her castle. So you think she's just waiting for us, huh? If that's the case, she must be pretty confident. She has good reason. That castle is basically impregnable. Believe me, we're not getting anywhere with a frontal assault. Not to worry. I've got a strategy worked out. I call it Operation Sneaky Sneaky Bang Bang. I hope this plan's better than the name. Let me take it from the top. Our first target location is the plaza in front of the castle. If we can occupy that, we'll have a secure starting point. It'd be best if you Phantom Thieves joined us on that. Afterwards, the Rebel Corps will begin a full assault on the castle entrance. And we'll infiltrate it during the commotion. Is that right? Exactly. We've already narrowed down the routes where security will be the lightest. Sounds decent enough for us, but won't it put the Rebels in kind of a bad spot? I mean, do you really want him facing down Marie's whole army like that? Sir Ryuji, do not be so quick to misjudge our strength! Uh, where did you... We fight in the name of freedom just as you do. To not give this our all would make us the disgraces of the Rebel Corps. Damn, guys. We are the ones who requested that the captain accompany your infiltration squad. On behalf of the entire Rebel Corps, we need you to defeat Marie with your own hands. Please have faith. We vow to ensure your infiltration is successful. <laughs> How could we deny you after such a passionate speech? Now that I think of it, isn't this the first time we've officially teamed up with another group in a fight? I want you to know, before we leave, that we now share fates as comrades. The Rebel Corps will always help the Phantom Thieves, just as the Phantom Thieves have helped the Rebel Corps. Never forget that we're a united force who can rely on each other. Much obliged, Phantom Thieves that we live up to your expectations. <laughs> Glad that's taken care of. Now it's time to show Marie what's up. Whoa, check out the crowd. The Rebel Corps really beefed up their numbers. Yes, it's quite inspiring. <sighs> Toshiro, you've been surprisingly quiet for a while now. Starting to feel the nerves? Nerves? <laughs> Have you forgotten who you're talking to? Spare me the jokes. <laughs> well, actually, uh, I have been rather anxious. Sorry to mislead you. Man, don't tell me you're back to saying we shouldn't fight. <laughs> don't worry. Those concerns are long gone. At this point, I fully agree that we need to fight back. And if we're all on the same page, you're good. No need to get stressed. Goes right. Look, you've got all these guys behind you. And the Phantom Thieves on your side. I admit that is reassuring. Thanks, guys. Captain, preparations are complete. Now we only await your order. Hmm. Good to hear. Everyone, we now march to our final battle. On this day, each of us will stand up to oppression and exploitation. We fight so we can regain our freedom. We fight for our very lives. You are with me just as I am with you. Please, lend me your strength and we will all be freed. Quite the rousing speech. Are you going to let her outdo us, Joker? Yeah, really give it to us, Joker. Marie some payback. Times a hundred. <sighs> it's time. All troops, move out! I'm not gonna let you! They're 
forces have been scattered. Now's our chance! part of the plan. I know we expected it, but they've got a whole buttload of troops. Are you guys sure you'll be okay? You needn't worry about us. You and the captain go on ahead. We'll keep them distracted. We've been waiting this chance to defy Marie for so long. We vow the rebel corps will hold its ground. Thanks, guys. All right, then. Best of luck out there. I hope Marie is ready to get knocked off her high horse. Let's go, Joker. There's no time to waste. Great! We made it inside. Seems like we're pulling it off so far. Same for the Rebel Corps. Even Toshiro's turned out to be a natural. This is hardly a challenge for me. All I've done is harness my talents. <laughs> And keep your legs from giving out on ya. He was real close to losing it back there. Alright, next step is finding Mari. She's in the most secure area of the castle. I still have a vague recollection from before. Nice job, Queen. In that case, let's keep pressing on. Heads up, we've got company! Looks like they know we're here! Leave it to me. I'll cut them all down. Intruders located! Intruders located! Annihilate the traitorous scum! Hmm. Something bugging you, Noir? Oh, yes. It's just... Now that we're inside, I've been noticing how much this place reminds me of a wedding venue. Oh, like the giant welcome sign over there? And the stacks of gift envelopes, I'm assuming. The sheer amount of white in here. The red carpet, the rose decorations. She's really gone all out. If her cognition was what manifested all this, it's like we're in her palace. According to Miss Lavenza, the kingdom supposedly works differently from the rest of the metaverse. But, if Marie's cognition really is responsible for this, then maybe this is close enough to be considered her palace. Oh, that means we might be able to find some clues about her here. Yeah, we could definitely use some concrete info for once. Well, the only way out is up, right? You still good to go, Toshiro? Believe me, I'm as ready to finish this as the rest of you are. All this business with Marie and this other world, it's clear that I'm not merely a spectator here. At this point, I need to know the truth. I may not be as brave as you all, but I'm just as determined. Well, look who's learned to talk the talk. <laughs> Let's get going then.
Is this a projection room? Rather out of place for a wedding venue. What could it mean? I agree that it's pretty weird, but we're better off finding Marie than talking about this projector. Wait, it turned on by itself! That's... Toshiro, why must you keep disappointing me? I don't understand why you can't play along. Are you toying with me or something? <sighs> Couldn't have come across more awkwardly at the engagement party. Our relationship is one that will build great things someday soon. Letting your feelings interfere with that is simply childish. What if your bungling lets some sleazy journalist to run a hit piece on us? There's already gossip. I, I'm sorry. Of course you are. Begging forgiveness is the one thing you're any good at. Listen for once. You are my sorry excuse for a puppet. When a puppet can't do what it's supposed to, you can imagine how I handle it. Uh, who is that? Marie. I'm dumb. That's right, I... Uh... Toshiro! Sorry, I'm... I'm alright. It's finally come back to me. I remember now. This castle's Marie. Is actually Marie Anto. Then there's no mistake that I am her fiance. Would you be willing to tell us more? Of course. Marie is the daughter of a CEO for a major conglomerate. And our marriage was arranged by my father? Yes. My father. He's a politician as well. He'd long been focused on marriage as a potential for me. Marie's family needed our power. My father needed their financial backing. It all boils down to a marriage of convenience, so our families could get what they wanted. <sighs> well, I guess I get the situation. Do you really want to marry her? I got the feeling you weren't really on board with this. What I wanted didn't matter. If I raised a fuss, it would have tanked the marriage talk what Marie's family would have done in retaliation if I happened to harm their reputation. So considering that fact, I figured I would just grin and bear it. That may have been a mistake, though. In hindsight, that approach may have only worsened her frustrations with me. Still, the two of you were actually engaged, right? Why'd you let her treat you like shit? I think I might understand. Your father's expectations of you, and the pressure you're under... You start telling yourself, if I just put up with it now, it'll be okay later. You are. But I know you'll only regret it later. And that's how it was for me. Huh. Thank you. You're exactly right. Don't worry about me. I'm actually finding myself handling the stress a bit better after winding up here. Now if only my legs would stop trembling. Sure will. Marie's gonna see what the Phantom Thieves do to people who mistreat their puppets. That's right! In fact, you should shake your legs so hard it freaks her out! I'm not perfect either, so I wouldn't totally vilify Marie in this situation. But I am determined to settle this on my own terms. Great. And let me help you however I can. It appears this area is free of guards. Let's keep moving. Great. Another weird room. Ugh. Did this place get any gaudier? Her obsession with this wedding is downright creepy. <laughs> Considering how far she's willing to go for her wedding, maybe it's about making a show of her power? That would definitely do more for her pride than any old wedding would. And it'd certainly explain her demand to make the entire kingdom into her wedding venue over an entire nation just to host a wedding. How insufferable it must be for his subjects. My fiancé is extremely obsessed with gaining political power. I suppose that's why she agreed to our engagement. She wants my title, nothing more. Toshiro. So, being filthy rich wasn't enough for her? She needs all the power too, huh? Ugh. 
sorry to interrupt, but we've got company. We're not gonna be able to skirt them either. Well, here they are. Come on, let's get this over with. That should do it. it. Must be close if they're getting that much tougher. With the Rebel Corps giving it all they got outside, we better be getting close. Hmm. Hey, those pictures on the balloons. Isn't something off with them? Huh? Wha what the heck? His face is missing? Grinning bride with a faceless groom. This is more appropriate for a horror film than a wedding celebration. This woman is clearly Marie, so the faceless groom is most likely... Yes, no doubt that's me. But this is... Doesn't Mari want to marry you? Why would your face be... As I said before, Marie is only interested in me for my political power. Since my face ultimately has nothing to do with that, I wouldn't even be surprised if she can't remember it. Sure, but it still must suck when she's this blatant with it. The lady's selfish enough to turn the whole city into a wedding venue. You're surprised she only remembers her own face? Marie is clearly not a person of sound mind. That's why it's our job to right her wrongs. Right. Now let's hurry along and track her down. <laughs> what the heck's that? What's with the messed up bear? Wait, is this just a toy? Hmm, well, it's definitely not hostile to us. What's it doing here? I guess it's part of Marie's wedding decor? <laughs> Not sure why anyone would want this at their reception, though. I'm... Uh, hey, did you all hear that? Come on, cut that out! Seriously, it's not funny! I'm... Uh... Hey, wouldn't you say that bear sounds like Toshiro? I mean, it's even sort of dressed like him. Huh? Lady Marie, give me my orders. I can't make my own decision. I don't want to think about anything. I live to obey your orders. I promise I won't defy you. That's just... Please let me serve you, Lady Marie. Please let me serve you. It's so much easier to go with the flow. Why make things harder for yourself? Right. be attacking us directly but in terms of psychological damage it certainly dealt a low blow hmm. Hoshiro, you all right <laughs> Toshiro oh no guys the bear broke Toshiro hey don't get me wrong I'm merely laughing because that bear finally made me take a good long look at myself how you come across there's nothing left but to change now I know I have no intention of taking all this line down anymore when we find Marie I'm going to make that monster eat her words yes well said this woman is sick her obsession with controlling and humiliating people she's done getting away with it whoa Queen's gonna riot 
Look sharp. We've been spotted. I've tracked down the intruders! <laughs> Bring it on! The hunter's about to become the prey! Oh, this room... If I remember correctly... <gasps> I think I remember it too! Yeah, this is where she first got in our heads. Made us say stuff like, Lady Marie is the greatest. Really? Is that complaining I hear? When I'm taking such good care of you. You were fortunate enough to have been made my subject. That sort of thing usually results in tears of gratitude. Marie. But that's all water under the bridge. Now that you've brought my fiance back to me. In fact, I'll let you off the hook. Just be sure he doesn't try to slink a word with you. Ha! You really think we came back to take more of your orders? Your reign ends here and now. If you're willing to surrender and accept your fair punishment. What? My punishment? Listen! Butter-feeding swine! If there's any punishing to be done, I'm the one who does it around here! This is why I can't stand the fools. Show them the smallest mercy and they bite the hand that feeds them. You lowlives should be falling over yourselves, thanking me for the opportunity to serve someone like myself! Jeez, is this really what rich folks think of people? Uh, I certainly don't think all of them are like that. At least... Toshiro, what are you doing with this film? Hurry the hell up and get over here, idiot! <laughs> you aren't thinking of saying no to me, are you? Are you? I... I'm done with you! What? What?! Are you serious right now?! Where did you get the idea that you have the right to defy me?! I told you, I'm done with you! <gasps> what the hell? You're just a puppet! How are you even able to do this? What you got so wrong? You got it wrong, shit for brains! You're the one who's got it wrong. He's done serving as your yes man. <laughs> oh, spare me your pathetic attempts at humor. Nobody can change who they are that quickly. Let alone that pathetic, spineless, stuffed shirt next to you! All you've done is drag him here by his hair and talk him into spouting nonsense. Toshiro, did you ever stop to consider? The only thing you've done is let these breath take over your leash! <sighs> you say anything besides total bullshit? Nothing pisses me off more than grown-ups who pretend everything they spout is just facts! Shut up, kid. Come now, Toshiro. Don't you remember? Without a spine of your own, who are you going to follow? I... I... That's right, Toshiro. Don't listen to a monster like her. Shut up, shut up, shut up! You're babbling bourbon! Fine, Toshiro. Have it your way. I'll just teach you a lesson. I hope you're ready! Let's see... Yes! Come to my side! Now, time for a bit of fun! What? Oh, good. We need to do something about that tank. Uh, hey, guys. Look up without actually looking up. Huh? At what? Whoa! When the hell did he get up there? Wait. Is it Toshiro? I think Toshiro's gonna drop that bell. I get the idea. If we time this right, we can crush that terrible tank of hers. This is our 
chance to turn the tide. Let's lure Marie under the bell. Don't mind me. Only the the navigation. The rest is up to we Toshiro. What now. are you children whispering about? Do you know surrendering is useless now, right? No talk of surrender over here. We just finished up our plan to take you down. Oh, are you a smart mouth so hey, That kind of lip on you. I'm gonna slaughter you, Mark! Ooh, your true colors are showing, Mario. I'd like to see you Morier-san! Morier! You may have been right. I was just a pathetic puppet. But even puppets have a backbone. Don't mind being cast out. Attaboy, Toshiro! I'd call that a strike! Toshiro! 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 How dare you! How dare you do this to me! You good for you! How have I been brought to my knees? That's not, not how this works! That's what some people like to call karma. You weren't it. Why? Why am I the one getting attacked here? The only thing I wanted was to be the wife of the Prime Minister! How can I of all people get treated this way? All I've done is taken what I'm rightfully owed! It's not fair! Why? <sighs> Mario, please. Give it up. Keep pushing yourself and you'll only get hurt. Toshiro, are you seriously going to stand there, posturing like you're on their side? Their side? You hurt me. Do you really think you can just bury your own past and start playing the hero? What are you talking about? Oh, that's some awfully convenient amnesia you gave yourself, isn't it? You should know we're well past falling for your tricks, Marie. <laughs> Talk as tough as you like, regardless of whether or not I'm lying. You'll find out all too soon. Because I know the truth. I know what you've done. All your crimes. Try as you might to whitewash your memory. You'll never hide it all. There's no escaping what you've done. <laughs> I hope for your sake, your friends never find out. <laughs> <laughs> finished them off. We must be different from the typical shadow. Also, unless it's too different, the real world Marie shouldn't have a mental shutdown from her shadow being destroyed. Well, I'm only speculating, so I can't be sure. Uh, we need to celebrate our victory first. We actually overthrew Marie. Oh, right. That's a good point. Someone's got to give the folks outside the good news. How about it, Arena? <laughs> My pleasure. We've deposed the tyrant Marie. At long last, the revolution has come. What I now hold is our banner of victory. Your dark times are now over. Rejoice in the light of freedom. Did she just? Did she just say we won? So, our days of suffering are really over. We did it. We really did it. Hurrah for the rebel corps! Well, I'm glad 
we could hold up our end of the deal. Yes, we couldn't have asked for more. We'd have been wiped out if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I could ever express my gratitude well enough. The rebels certainly gave it all they had out there. But we couldn't have won if you hadn't come to our world. There's simply no denying it. Hopefully they won't mind me speaking for them, but on behalf of the entire Rebel Corps. Thank goodness. We made it in time. We came to show our gratitude for liberating us. Thank you very much. Wait, wait, wait! The room's not gonna fit all of you! Lively atmosphere could be quite nice. Uh, huh? Where'd Fox go? From the looks of it, he just got swallowed up by the mob. But I gotta say, I agree with Fox. He might be in the metaverse. This is the first time we've been celebrated by a crowd. than I expected. Uh, I told them I'm not a phantom thief, but they kept hossing me. Oh, so sick. All right, now that we've gotten some closure, it's probably a good time for us to head off. Indeed. Farewells are never easy, but we shouldn't pass up the opportunity to escape. It's too bad we didn't find out how this place affects the real world. Hopefully, we'll get some answers when we get back. Oh, hey! I found our ever-elusive door! Look! Over there! The more I look at it, the more it strikes me. This is like the one we saw in Leblon. Then, does that mean home's on the other side of this door? That's an exciting thought, isn't it? <sighs> Can I... Is it really wise for me to go back? Toshiro? I'm sorry, I just can't help but dwell on Marie's last words. Oh, you mean her rant about your crimes? <laughs> she was just trying to twist the knife one last time. That's certainly true, but if I'm truly a criminal like Marie said, perhaps taking me back with you is actually a poor idea. Hmm. Well, if you can believe it, I've been in your shoes. I had a pretty serious bout of amnesia myself. You did? Yeah. I didn't know who I was or why I existed. I couldn't remember anything. I definitely know how much it can weigh down on you. <laughs> but thanks to Joker and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to grow and move past that. And you can do the same thing too, now that you've got us. <laughs> you said it! No matter how you were in the real world, we'll always remember when you had our backs. Plus, I already told you. If you turn out rotten back home, we'll knock some sense into you, no matter how many slugs it takes. <laughs> if you need it, I could lend a hand. Well, now, I certainly hope it doesn't come to that. I've seen just what your hands can do. Thanks, everyone. I suppose I can hold my whining down until we're home. I'll tag along for now, just to make sure you're getting home safely. All right, here we go. Back to the real world. Hope you're all ready for this. You do the honors, Joker.
how it's done. Hello there. My name is Toshiro Kasukabe. First, we should sit down and discuss...
reinforcements. Don't you think we should follow her lead? I agree. I know it's frustrating, but we need to retreat for now. Take care that we're not separated. This way. Follow me. We made it. We'll be safe here. Phew. We managed to lose them. Wait. Isn't this... We're back in LeBlanc? Who would have thought it'd be here, too? Oh, are you acquainted with this place? Uh, technically we are, but... <sighs> uh, finally caught up. Oh, that sprint again. Gave me side cramps. Uh. Mm? Is something wrong? Wait, wait, it's this place again? The part where we're shocked is already over, Pops. I wonder, could our cognition have something to do with this? That's all I can think of. But it still doesn't explain what it's doing here. Uh. Hey, is your brain fried again? N no, I'm all right. Well, I'm certainly baffled, but there's something vaguely familiar about this coffee shop. Perhaps even nostalgic. No, my mind must be playing tricks on me. Please, forget it. Feel free to come inside. Allow me to show you around. This way, please. The inside's just like LeBlanc, too. First, allow me to thank you all for saving me. My name is Yuki. I am the proprietress of this tea house. Forgive me if this is rude, but you don't seem to be from around here. Oh, and your manner of dress appears to have changed as well. Right. I guess we should tell you about ourselves. Yes, I agree. Start off. Um, so, in other words, you come from a far-off land where you engage in phantom thievery, and now you're looking for a way to return home. Yes, that sounds about right. Well, I should add that I'm a bit of an exception. Huh? Hmm? Is something wrong? No. I just feel as though I've seen your face somewhere before. I probably shouldn't be saying this, but... I'm supposedly a wanted criminal. Perhaps you recognize me from the posters throughout town? Oh, yes. That must be it. I never thought I'd see you in person. In that case, you never know where Yoshiki's eyes may be. So for now, please take this. Oh, it must be a disguise, right? It should be useful. <laughs> it really suits you. <laughs> She's right! Looks good on you, Pops! Yep, <laughs> totally suits you. <laughs> They'll never figure out who you are now. This is ridiculous. Half of my face is still showing. In fact, I look even more like a common thief now. A disguise is supposed to... Let's get back on topic. So, Yuki-san, we've got a question for you. Who is this Yoshiki guy? Yoshiki is the general who leads... No, who controls this country. His conduct may very well make him a dictator. Anyone who even slightly defies Yoshiki will be captured by his eyes. You've said it before, but what eyes? They're likely surveillance cameras. I saw them in the town when we ran away. That is correct. He says he uses them for people's safety, but it's only an excuse for his surveillance. So if Lord Yoshiki isn't happy with someone, he'll have them arrested with no questions asked, huh? Yes. Could everyone gather around? Yes, Lady Yuki? Huh? Is that... No, it's not one of the Rebel Corps. But there are similarities. They are the citizens of this country who have become victims of Yoshiki's reign. Some of us were falsely accused of crimes, and some had their families taken away. Ever since we lost our homes, Lady Yuki has kindly let us shelter here. However, it caught Yoshiki's attention, which is why his men interrogated me. Okay, I think I get the gist now. More citizens being exploited by a tyrannical ruler, just like the last world. Last time, Marie ended up being your fiancé. Does Yoshiki ring any bells? Sorry, but not at the moment. 
Also, there's one other thing I'd like to ask. Yuki-san, how do the people in this world feel about Yoshiki? Despite how badly everyone is treated, the town still appears to be somewhat peaceful. Well, that's because... <laughs> Everyone, look outside! Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! I'm pleased to see you all quietly gathered here. Excellent! All citizens who are righteous and happy exemplify a beautiful state of perfect harmony. And thus, unhappy citizens are truly nothing but useless. No! Injurious to this country. Now tell me, are you all happy? Hey, what was that? Don't tell me that weird blowhard was. That's Yoshiki. He's the general who rules this country. Ah, it brings me such joy to see my citizens display their love. Today, once again, peace reigns in my country as it should. Yes, sir. Only possible because of your love, Lord Yoshiki. Oh, 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 you're exactly right. Yes, this is real. Lord Yoshiki! What do you think you're doing? Can't you see Lord Yoshiki is speaking? Oh, it's quite all right. Go on and speak. Yes, sir. Well, some time ago, my family had the honor of being selected to join your labor of love. But many moons have passed and they still haven't returned. Hey! Watch your mouth! Are you objecting to Lord Yoshiki's methods? Uh, of course not! I, I would never! I, I, I just... I miss my family. Well, this simply won't do. All citizens of my country are my family. In other words, your family is my family, and I will not let you endure such sorrow. So, they can come home? Oh, I know. How about this? You may also participate in the labor of love. That way, you and your family can be together again. Isn't that nice? You really let me see my family again? Why, of course. I'll make the arrangements immediately. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Lord Yoshiki, always so compassionate. His love really is endless. Now listen carefully. Remember that my love will always watch over you. Yes, to see is to love, and these eyes of love see all. <laughs> As you can see, this is the current situation in our country. On the surface, Yoshiki serves as a well-meaning ruler. That surface seems to be paper thin as is. Yes. It is all merely a false pretense Yoshiki uses to serve his own ends. He claims the cameras are for safety, and that he takes people away to protect them. However, he only wants to be rid of any potential dissent that threatens his power. He mentioned something about a labor of love, but that's gotta be... It is exactly as you fear. Though he calls it love, people are actually taken to a forced labor camp. Once he takes them, most never return. <sighs> How do you know so much, Yuki-san? It's because I myself had to flee from Yoshiki's castle. After learning of Yoshiki's crooked ways, Miss Yuki took us with her and escaped. Yet, I was only able to bring a few people with me. The rest are still... Hey, but if you know the crap he's been doing, why don't you tell everybody? Well, you see... Even if you spread the truth, the people think so highly of his love that they wouldn't believe you. You're exactly right. There's no point trying to convince them with words. They need to witness it with their own eyes. 
That's why all I can do for now is hide these citizens here. Oh, man. This is even more troublesome than Marie's kingdom. Ugh, he kept going on about love, but he's nothing more than a con man, huh? Don't forget about the slavery, too! <sighs> he's a dictator who exploits his people. I'll never forgive him. Right? <laughs> that obvious? Let's just say you tend to act before you think when it comes to injustice. I'm worried you'll charge into action all on your own. Uh, hey, I wouldn't do anything that stupid, you know. We just got here and I still haven't witnessed everything firsthand. But if it's as Yuki says and these injustices are being committed... <sighs> no, we can't lose sight of our purpose. The goal of the Phantom Thieves is still to return to your original world, correct? So in that case, I'm here to help you make that happen. We appreciate it. But you can't exactly say Yoshiki is entirely unrelated to our goal, right? What do you mean? It didn't bring us home, but the door we used to get here was in Mari's castle. Basically, because she was the ruler of that kingdom, the door was in her place. So if we followed that logic, it wouldn't be strange if there was also a door in Yoshiki's place. That's true. We don't have any leads, so it might be worth investigating. Furthermore, there's a good chance that Yoshiki is already watching us. Because of the cameras, the chances of resolving this peacefully are... near non-existent. Well, they weren't swayed by my peace talk. So it comes to this again. Basically, we're saying that picking a bone with Yoshiki suits us just fine. You guys... Yes. I agree. Bring it on, Yoshiki. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. We'll only fight if we absolutely can't avoid it. And... Yeah, yeah, I know. What was that half-hearted response? You're too easy to read. <sighs> Excuse me. May I have a moment? Do you all intend to fight Yoshiki and the Aizen Squad? Uh, Aizen Squad? They work for Yoshiki, and they're responsible for keeping the public order. However, all they do is control people through surveillance and violence. Which means, the fight we just had was with you. Yes. They were members of the Aizen Squad. As you have seen, they'll rush in if they sense anything amiss in town. This may be a bit difficult. If we move recklessly, we'll cause a commotion like we did earlier. We'll have to do something about those cameras first. Any ideas, Butaba? Hmm. Well, if there are cameras throughout the entire town, it's unlikely there's only one surveillance site. They would need to have several places around town where they can monitor the footage from the cameras. If I can hack into the system from there, I might be able to blow up the entire network. Network system in Bakumatsu era Japan? Nope, I won't think about it. Yuki-san, do you know where these surveillance sites might be? I think so. The Aizen Squad has several bases located inside the town. So, if we're going to make a move, we need to target there first. Please wait. Do you really intend to fight the Aizen Squad? We're prepared to if we must. Oh, but we won't involve you or the citizens. <sighs> Miss Yuki, maybe they could... Yes, you're right. From what I've seen, it would appear you're all quite skilled in combat. Because of that, I would like to ask you all for a favor. There are rumors of another labor camp at the Aizen Squad base, much like the one at the castle. If the rumors are true, I'd like you to free the people imprisoned there. There's even a chance my family might be there! Please, could you lend us your strength? So that's how it is. What do you say? <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I agree. In addition, we still owe Yuki for saving us. I'm on board too. Let's bust them all out of there in one go. Wait, really? Thank you very much. I'd like to offer my thanks as well. Of course, I will also do my best to assist you. Although you are all very skilled, the Aizen Squad has far too many members. It would be unwise to fight them head on. Then you have a plan? Yes, though it will require a bit of traveling. Once your preparations are finished, I can show you the way. Looks 
like we're gonna leave the hideout. Well, let's make sure we're prepared for anything. Very well. Let us be off. But it's not like we're gonna go in and fight him, right? So, what are we doing exactly? Uh, forgive me. I still haven't explained the details yet, have I? Since we need to stop the surveillance cameras and rescue the citizens, I believe infiltration is our best option. Usually that's not a problem for us, but what about the security? The Aizen Squad makes short work of anyone who looks suspicious. However, if you're less conspicuous, then you may have a chance. Um, what do you mean? Do we just walk right in through the front door? Yes, precisely. Needless to say, you can't go in looking the way that you do. So, you'll slip past the security in disguises that won't arouse their suspicion. Oh, I get it. So that's where we're headed, huh? Yes, we're going to get you all fitted in some kimonos. Thankfully, I know of a silk shop that should be willing to help us. Oh, disguises! This is kind of exciting! You bet it is! When Lady On sees me decked out like a samurai! <laughs> Alright, then let's get going! Our destination is very close. Once we get to the end of the street... <gasps> Wait, stop! are members of the Aizen Squad, aren't they? Yes. No, it doesn't sound like they're looking for us. That's... It's the duty of every citizen to make an offering in return for Lord Yoshiki's love. You dare refuse to pay up? It's just... The financial strain is becoming... Since my husband's at the labor of love, I can barely make ends meet, sir. What a sorry excuse. Love. Authority figures threatening their citizens in broad daylight. How disgusting. I'm right there with you. Why the hell is everyone just standing around watching? Help her out! Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. Poor thing. But I guess it can't be helped. That's right. As long as we have Lord Yoshiki's love, it's only natural. How is this natural? They're clearly crossing the line! We can't let this slide! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! On my behalf as well, please help them. We're not getting out of it this time. However, due to the cameras, we need to make this quick. <laughs> Who do you think we are? Let's make short work of this, guys! It's all right now. You're not hurt, are you? Uh, who are you? I will explain more along the way, but we need to leave now. You're... Lady Yuki! Huh? You two know each other? It is certainly a strange coincidence, but this lady is in fact the owner of the silk shop we're headed to. You must have your reasons for coming here. Please, follow me. Everyone, just this way, please. Please forgive me for asking so much of you. As I said on our way here, we need you to prepare some clothes for us. My pleasure. In that case, I'll take everyone's measurements straight away. I'll start with the short gentleman over there. Come this way, please. Who are you calling short? It's not like you all are any taller. Hmm. <sighs> Arena chan are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. It's just... This town's in really bad shape, isn't it? With the Rebel War, we rebelled against our ruler, Mariae, because we'd had enough. So it made sense that there'd be some conflict. But it's different now. Despite following Yoshiki's orders, they're still being treated like... As I mentioned, if the people have been led to believe that this is right, it's even more tragic than if they were just being oppressed. Right, you know. Do you think the citizens really believe that they're being treated right? It's hard to say. Sometimes. 
sometimes wanting to believe in something can cloud the mind's eye. But even a small spark of doubt should make it impossible to stay completely unaware. I was once that way. Fox. You too. Forgive me for interrupting, but may I take your measurements as well? Oh, uh, okay. Um, but could I ask you a question? Huh? Yes, of course. So, about what just happened, and how people said it was only natural. Have you ever thought that it was even the slightest bit? My dear, all I do is run my humble silk shop. I have no complaints about my country. My only wish is to live peacefully under Lord Yoshiki's protection. I see. However, you never know where Lord Yoshiki's eyes may be. Please listen to me as I think aloud. A world without conflict is the best. Of that, I'm certain. I would also like to believe in Lord Yoshiki. I'd like to, but... Those who are taken away never return. And those left behind suffer more and more each day. I heard from Lady Yuki that you intend to fight the Aizen Squad. If it's all true, then please, you must save them! Help us to see the truth for ourselves! Yeah, we'll bring him back no matter what it takes. Thank you for being honest with me. The truth, huh? Hey, Oracle. Do you have a minute? Hmm? What's up? About those cameras around town. I fear I've digressed too much. It'd be best to get back to work. Next up is the gentleman with the curly hair. Time for your measurements. Huh? So tired is that of fierce warriors in the battlefield, fighting for their ideals. <laughs> Not bad at all. Seriously likes these clothes. I mean, it's nothing that different from what he usually wears. Huh? You're dressed like a samurai too? Apparently she was a little short on inventory. But I've always kind of admired this look, so I wanted to try it. Lady on. Also, is it just me or am I the odd one out here? Hmm. Well, I think it's cute. You. you look like a rice ball. Oh, really? Well, I guess it's fine then. <laughs> We've finished dressing everyone. This way, please. Wow. Look at that. I am a little uneasy about this. <laughs> do, do I look strange? No, it looks great on you. Oh, but the obi might be a little loose. There. Ah! Oh. Oh. Please be a little more gentle. So this is what it's like to be a geisha. Is this how you do that traditional ritual, Futaba? Yep. Now just say, please stop, my lord. And you've got it. Oh, I see. Please stop, my lord. So? Did I nail it? You are all like flowers that brighten the festivities of any banquet. But it can still be improved. I can further draw out your inner beauty as I... Uh... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yuki-san, isn't there something off about my disguise? No, no, not at all. You look also pushed to Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better petty thief. What's the talent you've got there? What talent? I'm still going to end up behind bars looking like this. You don't like it? I'm sorry. I really do think it suits you quite nicely. Oh, no, it's not that. I was just hoping for something a bit more natural. Natural? Oh, then perhaps if you covered your body in leaves. Uh, that's not really what I meant. Like Toshiro just can't win against Yuki-san, can he? Oh, what's it called? He's the type of guy who lets the woman wear the breeches. You mean pants? So, going back to our plan.
While all of you were preparing, Yuki-san and I discussed how to proceed. I'm going to explain the entire operation, so listen carefully. Yeah, I can't really just charge in like this, so what are we gonna do? I've got it all planned. But first, hear me out. I call it Operation Double Pincer Attack Mach 2. This name's super lame too, but in a totally different way. Looks like this guy's got his own problems coming up with names. For this operation, we'll split up into two teams. The diversion team will pose as Eisen Squad members and use the front entrance. That'll be Sakamoto Kun's group as the Eisen Squad and Nijima Kun's group as the Geishas. It would be great if you could come up with an excuse to throw a banquet. If that goes according to plan, then you can ask around for info about the facility. There should probably be a control room somewhere in the building. And also a labor camp if the rumors turn out to be true. So, we'll infiltrate the Eisen Squad and distract them while collecting intel, correct? Yes, and the team sneaking in through the back entrance will be... Morgana-kun, Sakura-kun, myself, and... Yuki-san. Yuki-san too? Yes, you're doing this for our sakes. I can't simply sit by and do nothing. I know all about this town, so I should be able to help, at least a little bit. I tried to stop her as well, but she wouldn't listen. In any case, our infiltration team will find an opening to sneak into their base. Our team's objective is to rescue the citizens and disable the cameras. Once we get into that control room, we've got this in the bag. Once we achieve our goal, we'll leave immediately. The diversion team will then also retreat. Well, that sums up the operation. Any questions? Excellent. In that case, let Operation Double Pincer Attack Mach 2 commence! Honestly, my only objection is to that operation name. Oh, there is one important detail I forgot to mention. This plan hinges on the assumption it will all go well, but you may very well run into trouble. If you ever feel like you're in danger, make sure to retreat. Is that clear? Oh, well, why are you looking at me? Because clearly you need to hear this the most. Need I mention your prior record? If you act recklessly again, it could endanger the success of the operation. Well, do you get it now, huh? Yeah, yeah. What? What's with this attitude of yours? Ah, this is old man Kasukabe harassment. There's no such thing! That's it. Today, I'm going to speak my mind. You're... Those two seem to get along real well, don't they? <laughs> All right, everyone. We should return to my tea house for now. Yeah, it'd really help us out if we could use your place as our hideout. Infiltrating an enemy base will be very dangerous. So please use my shop to prepare yourselves as much as possible. Be sure to wear these disguises whenever you go into town as well. So this must be their base. Now that we're actually here, I'm a little nervous. We're trying to pass off as Aizen squad members, right? That's the plan. Yuki gave us some sake to use as well. The idea is for us to give them the sake so we can hold a banquet. Oh, and some of these have water in them instead of sake, just in case. Don't get any ideas. All right, now let's roll. Wait, what are we supposed to say to them? Um, ahoy? We have a search warrant? something wrong with that? Like, seriously wrong? Who goes there? Ah! What did he... Uh, ahoy! We come with search warrants! If you're here to cause trouble... Please forgive our rudeness, sir. We are Lord Yoshiki's humble servants. Lord Yoshiki's servants? Indeed, sir. We came on his behalf to express his gratitude for your daily toil. The Eisen Squad members you see here were sent to escort us. Oh, so that's what this is about. I would have dared disregard Lord Yoshiki's thoughtfulness. Very well. Follow me. That was insane, Noir. You're the best. Thanks for saving our necks. Shh. You're welcome. But let's stay in character for now, okay? Oh, uh, Roger that. I beg of thee, for 
Forgive me. <laughs> Let's just move on, shall we? Mention Yoshiki's name, and they'll believe anything. Just goes to show how absolute Yoshiki's control over this world is. Hey, now that we're in, we just need some intel. Right. But wouldn't it look strange if we all went around asking together? Hmm. Having smaller groups may allow us to blend in and gather more information. Then let's separate into groups according to our roles. Eyes and Squad and Geishas. You can decide which group to join, Joker. Do whatever you think is best. All right, we'll start the plan once you finish deciding. See the rest of you later, then. Don't push yourselves, okay? That was split up, but. Hey, you there! Drinking? This cup is from Lord Yoshiki! Confuse it, and you'll have to commit the Buku! <laughs> These guys are all total lightweights! They may work in our favor, though, since they're less likely to notice suspicious behavior. Yeah, and we need to pull our own weight, too. We can't just rely on Noir forever. Job to get some info. He's a gay. It's basically the same as what I did before at Fox's house, right? Oh, that. Right. That. Hey, what's with that reaction? Huh? What score might that be? Hey! That's all the fuss about over there! You really want to commit some Pugu? I'll show you just how much I've improved. Um, hey! So, like, I have a question. Nope, this ain't working. Shut up! So, I was, like, kind of hoping to learn about the floor plan of this building, you know? Oh, man. You're pretty drunk, huh? You all right? I'm not drunk! I think it would be best to come up with a different plan. Old with it? Ah, oh, I see. Please excuse my friend. As you can see, he's quite drunk. I'd like to find him a place to rest for a bit. I wish I could, but he tends to sleepwalk when he is drunk, you see. I hate for him to ruin the festivities he begins acting up. Best to put him somewhere isolated, like that place. Huh? You talking about the basement? But you know that's where we keep the townspeople, right? Oh, I'm like so drunk. I'll probably mess up like so much. If you don't lock me up. Yeah, or else he might do something to make Lord Yoshiki lose face, you know? Fine. <laughs> just take him through the usual secret entrance. Right, mm -hmm. the secret entrance. <laughs> huh? Obviously, the revolving door is a pillar of the rear entrance gate. Oh, of course. <laughs> door in the floor of the rear entrance gate, right? <laughs> sure. I was like you looking for Don't, don't tell me you're... It appears the alcohol has gotten to him as well. Nice going, Fox. Did it! Oh, that's right. Oracle, can you hear me? The control room's in the location I just set. Sounds like they also have the townspeople in prison there. And there you have it. Rest is yours, okay? Hey, Oracle. 
Michael. Any word from the others? Not yet, but they're working on it. Uh. You seem rather tense. Well, yes. I find it very hard to imagine everything will go smoothly. <laughs> you have a big heart, don't you, Toshiro-san? Well, I wouldn't exactly say I'm trying to be considerate. The others, especially Arena, often behave far differently from what I expect. Seeing that just makes me feel so restless. What do you mean? It's just... I know Arena has valid reasons for acting how she does. But her habit of obstinately rushing headfirst into things is concerning. If you don't take the time to be rational, there could be irreversible consequences. Rushing in headfirst? I see. Is it possible you envy her for being able to do that? Huh? Forgive me. You just seem to give me that impression. When I see Arena-san and the others taking a stand for what they believe in, I think it's quite a wonderful sight. You must feel the same, Toshiro-san. Oh, but I suppose it's not my place to say such things. I... Aha! Uh -huh. Roger that! Leave it to me! Oh yeah! We've got the location! Sounds like they have the citizens in prison there, too! Is everyone ready? Yeah, let's roll! We should get going. Yuki-san, please take care of yourself, too. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been a while. I hope Oracle's group is okay. We just have to wait and believe in them. Let's buy them as much time as we can. Yes. Ideally, we'll be able to escape before they catch on to us, but... Hey! You! What the hell are you doing? I... I'm so sorry, sir! Please forgive me! Is that...? You spilled my sake and you think you're gonna get off with an apology? You wanna go back to the basement that badly, huh? Lord Yoshiki is a burden? No, I wouldn't dare. Please, forgive me, sir. Even here, they're still... Oracle, we've got some trouble. How much longer? Just a little more. Right past this door and... Wait, a lock? Sorry, just a hang tight for now. Hey, let's have some fun and make this guy squeal, huh? Stop them. Wait, I, I know how you feel, but we can't... Please, have mercy on me! <laughs> Is someone a little scared? All of you just need to shut up and quit your pitiful whining! <laughs> can't you fools understand? You're nothing without Lord Yoshiki's love! Maybe some punishment will help get that through your thick skulls! Uh, this is looking really bad. How much longer, Oracle? Oh, I'm so close! I just gotta do something about this password! Sorry, but I'm borrowing this for a moment. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Pops! What are you... Huh? Huh? You got a problem, girl? <laughs> all right! Looks like we're all set on our end! Ball's in your court, guys! You want me to punish you too? <laughs> Shut up, you sick bastard! Ah! How's the little geisha doing? I'll cut you down! <laughs> Silence. You were the first to break the code of chivalry, were you not? <laughs> yeah! Now this is more like it! You got it. We'll show them what a little geisha can really do. Intruders! <laughs> Sorry, Arena. I told you to hold back, and I... <laughs> no, that was really cool, Queen. Besides, from here on out, I'm not holding back either. Why are they so strong? You and your lives have no sense of morality. I'll cut you down to your rotten cores. <laughs> Lay hands on us without 
Lord Yoshiki! Lord Yoshiki this! Lord Yoshiki that! Ugh, just shut up! You don't scare us! Your tyranny ends here! Prepare to pay the price! Like it's all going according to plan. Let's retreat for now. Ooh, we should be safe now, right? I wonder if Toshiro and the others are okay. All that mayhem should have given them the opportunity to slip out, but still. Hey! Is everyone safe? You guys really made a scene back there. Everything went swimmingly on our end, thanks to you. We freed all the imprisoned people and returned them to their families. We took out the enemy base, too. That should do us some good. Great job on that, Toshiro. Your Operation Smack Crackle Pinch was a huge success. I forgot the real name already, but that wasn't it, right? <laughs> What's the deal, Toshiro? You cramping up already? The plan worked without a hitch, didn't it? So why not take the win already? Right. Oh, that's right! I almost forgot. I set up one last surprise for everyone. Let me just give this a play here, and... Huh? Something's on the monitor! What's going on? Perhaps it's a message from Lord Yoshiki? I hope the people are ready for this bombshell special. Lord Yoshiki, fraud of love. late to show up now, you creep! Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Such blatant disrespect. But you're forgiven. After all, thanks to this, I was finally able to find who I'm looking for. Found someone? Who are you talking about? Who is it, you ask? Oh, ho, 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 ho. That would be... Toshiro! Who the hell else could it possibly be? <laughs> Damn ungrateful, good for nothing son of mine! What? 
did you just? Oh, yeah. did you? I was talking right to you. Toshiro Kasukabe, are you listening, my foolish, beloved son? Me? Father? Oh, so you remember me now? <laughs> what kind of son gets his own father's face? Apologize, you hopeless moron! I want to reproach yourself! Beg for my forgiveness! Is what I'd like to say. But we'll let that slide for now. However, I'll never forgive you for taking off with that. Prepare to pay the price, you undutiful, pitiful excuse of a son! What are you... Um, there were definitely some interesting tidbits in that speech, but overall... Is he emotionally unstable or what? Like a teenager in the peak of puberty, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> the hidden face of rage must be Yoshiki's true nature. I don't know what you're talking about. Really, I have no idea. You need not feign ignorance, my boy. I know fully well you're not the kind of person who would defy his father. I'm Made you that way after all. You haven't forgotten. Have you? That's not. Uh... Toshiro! Now hurry up and hand it over! Unless you want to fill your lungs in the depths of my watery grave of love. I come with a report for Lord Yoshiki! The hell you want, scum! We've recovered control of the monitor that was hijacked by an unknown perpetrator. I don't give a damn about that! You want me to drown you too, huh? But, but there isn't much time left until the scheduled broadcast of I Love Haiku with Lord Yoshiki! Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Now that just won't do. Everyone's waiting for my first walk. I must return immediately to begin the broadcast. Oh, reluctant as I am, I must take my leave. <laughs> How hard-headed you are. You lack love, my son. A rich, boundless love is what you need. You'll have to excuse me, but my patriots of love shall tend to you now. Wait! Toshiro-san! Toshiro-san! Stay with us! It's you! I see. Here I was wondering how they were so well prepared. So you've been helping them. <gasps> I don't know what kind of schemes you concocted. Evidently, you have yet to realize its futility. Surely, you must know that my people will never betray the love of their Lord Yoshiki. The citizenry seek my love from the very marrow of their bones, and I am gracious enough to pour it upon them. Well then, everyone present, I bid you good day! Oh! <laughs> And there he goes! <laughs> Jeez, what is up with that guy? Here they come. Get in formation, everyone! Damn it. We managed to take them out, but... More reinforcements could show up at any moment. We should retreat immediately! Yeah, Queen's right. Let's retreat, Joker. We'll regroup at the hideout. Okay, let's go over the situation. Wait, where's Yuki-san? Yuki-san went out into town. She wanted to check on the people we freed. She's quite kind-hearted, isn't she? 
we can tell her everything later. So, Toshiro, will you tell us what's going on? Yes. Just as he said, Yoshiki is my father. Remember everything. He is Yoshiki Kazukabe, a current member of the Diet. Huh? Your old man's a politician too? Kazukabe is a Diet member who doesn't attract much attention, but he's had a long-standing career. I've heard he even has a reputation for consensus building within his party. Yes, some people call him Buddha Kasukabe, in admiration of his serene temperament. On the surface, that is. My father is obsessed with political power. Not being one for the spotlight, he tended to shy away from publicity. Which is why he sought to fulfill his desires by making me Prime Minister. When I was a child, he raised me very strictly. Not just academically. He drilled me on political etiquette and controlled my social interactions. If I failed to comply with his demands, he wouldn't hesitate to raise his hand against me. Even as a child, there were moments when I resented being born to such a family. My father's word was absolute. The thought of rebelling never even crossed my mind. Moreover, I had no one else to turn to. Uh, what about your mom? She didn't help you? My mother was very frail. She passed away when I was little. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. To be honest, I can barely remember her. <laughs> Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, I eventually became a diet member by riding on my father's coattails. Even now, I simply do what my father tells me to do. That still hasn't changed. Within my history, it's rather laughable that I could forget him. <laughs> However, there's something I still don't understand. From Yoshiki's... From your father's perspective, you were always an obedient son. So, why was he so upset with you? He was so desperate to find you, that he even said you were a wanted criminal. He seemed awfully enraged about something you ran off with. What was that about? My father actually is a criminal. Following Representative Shido's downfall, my father finally decided to take action. He laid the groundwork to ensure that I would be nominated as the Prime Minister. I don't really get this stuff, but is it really that easy to do? Not under normal circumstances. However, my father took advantage of the political turmoil that's been going on since last year. He employed shady characters to intimidate representatives he had dirt on. He also went about wheeling and dealing a large amount of Marie's family's financial resources. That's true. And he's guilty of extortion, blackmail, and bribery. All criminal offenses. And you're sure of this? I have documents he forged, voice recorded and other hard evidence as well. I had a hunch my father rigged the election, which is why I investigated. I still have the evidence, which I secretly stole on hand. So, all you have to do is go public with that, and he can't control you anymore. I couldn't muster the courage to blow the whistle on him. My father's schemes were not out of the ordinary in the political world. Ending the political confusion with steady leadership was in everyone's best interest. Myself. It's truly a shameful story. You're exactly right. Not speaking up makes me equally guilty. I won't talk my way out of it. Well, setting that aside for now, I think I finally get the gist. Yoshiki thinks you hid that evidence, so he's trying to get it back, right? No. I thought so too at first, but something still doesn't make sense. It's very unlikely that my father knows I stole the evidence of his crimes. First of all, he didn't show any signs of panic about his misdeeds potentially being exposed. Furthermore, I doubt the thought of me betraying him would have even crossed his mind. But why is he after you then? That's because... <sighs> it might be because I thought that he knew about it. The thought of my father questioning me about the evidence I stole fills me with terror. In other words, I think he knows because that's how I perceived it to be. So, if Toshiro's perception is reflected in Yoshiki, 
And that means... Uh, someone clue me in here. Then that means... This kingdom is born out of Toshiro's cognition. Are you saying this part of the metaverse is Toshiro's? I believe that's the most pragmatic explanation. I should be the only one who knows I have the evidence. So it would all fit together. Although it could be possible that my father caught on to me in the real world. But the incident at the enemy base convinced me of my theory. The password. Oh, you mean the password you used to open the hidden door? Yeah, that was close. I still can't believe that door was actually giving me serious trouble. Oh, I get it. That was when... How's it looking, Oracle? Can you open it? Oh, this lock is a bit tougher than I expected. This guy is either really paranoid or a serious scaredy cat. Hey, let's have some fun and make this guy squeal, huh? This is getting bad. We have to stop them. Wait, I, I know how you feel, but we can't... Oh, no. It sounds like there's a tense situation going on over there. Damn it, I can't crack the password. I'm sorry, it's gonna take me a bit longer. Come on, we just need to get past this, and then we'll be able to expose all of Yoshiki's misdeeds. Misdeeds? Expose? Ugh. Uh, this is looking really bad. How much longer, Oracle? Oh, I'm so close. I just gotta do something about this password. Sorry, but I'm borrowing this for a moment. I just need to input the password, right? This should do it. It opened! Way to go, Toshiro! You have an act for this kind of thing, too? No, th that was just... All right! Looks like we're all set on our end! Ball's in your court, guys! perceived myself exposing my father's crimes. Couldn't you have guessed the password because he's your father? My father is a cautious man. He would frequently change the password on these kinds of devices. Isn't it a little hard to believe that something I came up with at random was the right password? Well, that's... I have more evidence as well. There's also this place. The blow. This place? What about it? I had a nagging feeling there was something familiar about LeBlanc. Then it hit me. I knew this place in the real world. My being the youngest candidate for Prime Minister caused some commotion. I was uncomfortable no matter where I went. I was overwhelmed every day, having to entertain visitors, meet other Diet members, and deal with the media. And one day, I stumbled upon LeBlanc in a back street. From then on, I went there to find refuge whenever I wanted to be alone. <laughs> yeah, it's so peaceful there that you can hardly tell they do business. So you're saying LeBlanc doesn't get customers? If the chief heard that, he'd be upset. Oh, <laughs> and the coffee there is exquisite. It's possible I ran into you all there before. Then why does this world exist? And how did you end up in it? I wish I knew. However, if my theory turns out to be true, I've dragged you all into my own problems. I'm truly sorry. No need to apologize, man. That sort of thing doesn't bother us. Even if it turns out we're stuck here, we'll just work something out. Yeah, I mean, we're practically pros in metaverse combat by now. If we can't overcome this, then perhaps we were fated to be here. But if you haven't noticed, we don't give up easily. Lay down and die when there's still so many sweets I want to try. Really? I see. You're all very tough, aren't you? Well, we've been through a lot, so we're not going down without a fight. But don't sell yourself short, Toshiro. Huh? You discerned your father's motives and took action of your own volition. If you had kept quiet about it, then you would have remained his puppet. You couldn't overlook your father's crimes, so you wanted to make things right. Isn't that so? 
Huh. But I didn't have the courage to. Not at the time, right? Think about it, Toshiro. This is the same as when you confronted Marie. Just like you said, even puppets have a backbone. Yes. You're right. <sighs> Phantom Thieves. I have a favor to ask. You want us to do you a favor? Yes. I'd like to make a deal with you all. Even if this world is in my mind, I still can't manipulate it at will, right? For example, I can't just wish my way out of here. Yeah, that would probably be difficult. First of all, changing a person's heart is not an easy feat. Every time we steal someone's treasure, we're risking our lives. In that case, there's something I have to do. I'm not going to run from my father anymore. Not even from the version of him in this world. I need to see him again and settle the score. Will you lend me a hand, Phantom Thieves? In return, I give you my word that I'll indict my father for his crimes. I'll come clean with everything. I'll free the political world from corruption and... <sighs> no, I can't call this a deal. What you all would get in return is too ambiguous. I need a more tangible reward. Since you're Phantom Thieves, maybe some cash or jewels or even gold? But where would I get that kind of money? Would it even be legal? Ah, uh, there must be something. So, what should we do? Huh? We'll fight by your side while we're here. In exchange, you'll indict your father for his crimes in the real world. That's the deal. We don't need anything else. You're the only one who can set your father straight. Yeah, if there's a grown adult out there who lost their way, Counting on you to fix him up for us. I. I swear I'll fulfill my promise. You have my word. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. Then it's a deal. <laughs> oh, Yuki-san! You came back! Yes, it seemed like you were discussing something important, so. Oh. I should explain things to you as well, Yuki-san. But. Well, how do I put this? It's all right. I only heard a little bit, but I was listening. Although I may not understand the finer details of your world, I know you want to win against your father, correct? Yes. Then it appears we have the same goal. Many people are still imprisoned in the basement of Yoshiki's castle. My only wish is to rescue them and rid the people of their suffering. So once again, Please lend us your strength. Thank you. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. I'll do everything I can. Well, I'm sure everyone is exhausted from all that we've been through. Let's stop this talk of battle for now and take a break. I'll make some tea for everyone. That sounds lovely, Yuki-san. All of you should get some rest. I'll start working on our next strategy. We need to act while the Eisen Squad is still in disarray, so we don't have too much time to dally. Oh, right. If you're coming up with a strategy, I'd like to explain something to you first. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk over there. I think I'll have some tea and rest for a bit. Me too. It's about time we finally took a break. <laughs> I have some good tea leaves on hand, too. I'll bring it out once it's ready. Are you all well rested now? Yes. Especially thanks to Yuki-san's delicious tea. Oh, <laughs> it was my pleasure. Glad to hear it. We've finished creating our plan as well. Before we get into the details, though, let's go over the current situation. Sakuruku, please tell everyone what you told me earlier. Aye, aye, sir. Back at the base, I was able to hack into the cameras and disable them. But the main control system must be in Yoshiki's castle, so I wasn't able to take it down entirely. So the town cameras are down for now, but we should expect them to be up and running again soon. Then we'll take this opportunity to charge in and... No, that's not going to work, is it? Yeah, that love general may be a psycho, but he's no idiot. If we charged in there now, we'd be playing right into his hands. After all, even if the town's cameras are disabled, we still have the castle's cameras to worry about. Not to 
mentioned, there are still far too many enemies. Our main objectives are taking down Yoshiki and rescuing the citizens in the castle's basement. To do so, we'll need to attack the castle, but we have to be pragmatic about it. Ultimately, we need to figure out a way to fool Yoshiki's cameras. We do have a plan in mind. However, we'll need a significant amount of manpower to carry it out. Yuki-san, your word seems to carry a lot of weight with the townspeople. Can you ask the people we just freed to help us? Well, that's... Well, asking them won't be a problem, of course, but... Perhaps it will be quicker if you see for yourselves. It should still be safe while the cameras are down. Please follow me. Lady Yuki! And those people behind you are... Uh, yes. These are the travelers responsible for your freedom. Thank you, thank you! We are in your debt! I finally got to see my child again. Now we can go back to our quiet lives. Um, actually, there's something I wanted to mention. Mm. Yuki-san, if I may. I'm truly glad to see you all safe. You have my word that this will never happen to you or your families again. And to do that, I'd like to ask for your help in defeating Yoshiki once and for all. Defeat? Lord Yoshiki? No, that's impossible. The Aizen Squad will have our heads if we defy him. Leave them to us. We have many reliable comrades ready to fight alongside us. But we also can't succeed without your help. So, what do you say? Th that's... Yes, well, I'm not sure what the others will say. You've all realized that Yoshiki's so-called love is a facade, haven't you? You all saw the footage of what the people who were taken away are forced to deal with. If everyone rises up and takes a stand, we can put an end to all of this. It's true that our present lives are not easy. The difficult times are indeed plentiful. So you agree? Maybe, but... But at least we're able to go on living! We've got no power to begin with anyhow. There's not much we can afford to want. And as long as we stay quiet, we're somehow able to scrape by. Besides, what will happen if we fail? Just thinking about how we might suffer even more frightens me to no end. So you see, you would rather... You would rather you just let us be. There's no other choice. We just have to accept things as they are. No way. So this is what Yuki-san meant? Yes. They accept the pain in their lives, fearing that resisting would only make things worse. Yoshiki takes advantage of their weak mindsets to control them. Yuki-san? No, this isn't right! Suppressing all your hopes and dreams, living in fear, crying every day. Can you really call that living? Somewhere deep inside, I know you realize things can't go on like this. Don't be afraid to fight. Take a stand beside us. <sighs> but we still... We have to think about it. Marina, would you let me? Hoshiro? My friend here is quite dependable, but she has a tendency to be quick to passion. Look, I'm afraid of fighting too. And being told to do so when you're already in a powerless position is absurd. Those who already possess strength will tell you not to be afraid and that you need to stand up for yourselves. Hey, that's not what Arena said. Wait, let's see how Toshiro handles this. I understand very well how you all feel. For a long time, I was more of a coward than anyone. I was always looking for an excuse not to fight. In fact, the fear is still there. And if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I'd much rather prefer not to fight. That's exactly how we feel. We just want to keep things as they are. But then, I decided to take a stand. Because no matter how badly, I want to run from my fear. I don't want to lie to myself anymore. Oshiro. Oh, <laughs> I'm not telling you to be strong. There may not even be a need for you to fight beyond your means. But at the very least, why 
why not make an attempt to stop lying to yourselves? <laughs> and after, if you still feel a desire to change the present, we're ready to do so alongside you. Those you see here with me have hearts of great strength. They will grieve and rage and give their all to fight for those who suffer. If you help us today, I promise you they will do the same. Right, Joker? Yeah, no way we're losing this. Trust me, if you think Yoshiki's scary, we've got some people on our team that'll make him look tame. Why did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> Mako-chan's a good person to have on your side, isn't she? Yeah, guys, you don't have to be afraid of big ol' Uncle Love. That's all I had to say to you. The rest you'll have to decide of your own accord. There's no need to make a decision right now. But I would like you to give it some thought. <coughs> I appreciate you taking the trouble to come out here. Now, I'm sure you're all quite exhausted, so please, rest up and... <laughs> I want to help! You're... I... I'm afraid of fighting, too. But like that gentleman said, I don't want to go on living a lie anymore. If we don't take the opportunity given to us now, I don't see us getting another one. I'm more afraid of that than I am of any pain I might be put through by Lord Yoshiki. Yeah, I see your point. If you'll still have us, we're willing to help. Really? I'll spread the word to everyone else who lives in the area. This time, I'll ask them to try putting their faith in you. Everyone, I'm sorry. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. <sighs> Not bad, Toshiro. You had me worried for a moment there, but by the end, I was hanging on your every word. Yeah, I guess the art of persuasion comes with the job, huh? No, it's not like that. I was the kind of politician who only read off scripts other people prepared for me. What you saw just now, I was only speaking my mind. Hmm. Then that means your words really connected with them. I don't know about that. It's very possible they were just swept up in the moment. <sighs> so, what's our next move? You've got a plan up your sleeve, right Toshiro? Yes. If we want to get into Yoshiki's castle, first we need to do something about the cameras and security. As I previously mentioned, that's going to require some extensive preparation, but... Yuki-san, the Aizen Squad has other posts besides the base we freed these people from, correct? Yes. It's very likely they're forcing the citizens they've captured to work inside them. Then we'll head to those first. We need to save those people, too. You said we needed manpower, right? be killing two birds with one stone by freeing everyone there. Plus, the cameras around here shouldn't be back online for a while. So it should be a little easier to creep around unseen. All right then, it's settled. Our targets are the remaining bases. We're going into enemy territory. So make sure you're ready for anything. All righty, give us the rundown, Toshiro. Essentially, we'll be using the same strategy as when we invaded Mario's castle. We'll attract the enemy's attention with a diversion in town, then sneak in while they're distracted. After that, we take out Yoshiki inside the castle. Not a problem. So the people we freed, they'll carry out the diversion in town. Is that right? Right. With Yuki's help, I was able to get everything ready on that end. All that's left is for me to give the word, and we'll commence the operation. But wait, how? going to sneak in. The castle is surrounded by a moat. Build one right now? We wouldn't finish on time even if we followed Yoshiki's labor policies. Anything too large in scale is going to attract attention, so that's not going to be a realistic option either way. Actually, there's a secret passage that leads into the castle. Isn't that right, Yuki-san? Yes. As Toshiro-san surmised, there's a path that goes from the town into the castle. Yoshiki may be able to fly, 
but his minions are another story. There's no way a guy who builds a moat wouldn't have some way to transport his bodyguards in and out with him. You really thought this through, Toshiro. Is it just me, or is anyone else wondering what's up with all these hidden passages and secret doors? My father excelled at exploiting loopholes in the law and common sense to benefit his political career and personal life. Perhaps it's having an effect on this world because I perceived my father that way. I was aware of my father's nature. I always averted my eyes from it. Koshiro. Oh, Be that as it may, at least you're going to settle things with him now, right? Yes, I've made all the preparations to do just that. Ha ha! The whole gang's here, I see! What are you doing here? We thought we'd pop in to pay our respects before the operation. Everyone is already in place. We're all just waiting for the signal. It's finally time to do this, isn't it? We'll be counting on you! For that, I can't thank you enough. We'll be sure to deliver on our end as promised. The success of this operation hinges on your support. We will defeat Yoshiki. And we'll do it together. Let's do this! Yes! Just one more thing. I'd like to ask a favor of everyone. If you ever feel like you're in danger, I want you to run without hesitation. I don't want any of you risking your lives. Yes, ma'am! That's a promise! You all take care, too! It's almost time to start the operation. I'm counting on you, Toshiro. <sighs> Me too. Oh, by the way, about the operation name, how about Operation Smack Crackle Pop? Vetoed. Why? Your name lacks intelligence. And besides, I've already devised the perfect one. That's right. We'll call it Operation Obfuscation Midnight Infiltration. Lame. What? You'll realize the beauty of it once you hear it from your own mouth. Go on, say it. Oh no! Lame-ass Toshiro is harassing me! That's really what you'd consider harassment? How about a different idea then? I have 80 more iterations. Sheesh. There those two go again. Oh goodness. <laughs> Well then, I will give the signal as soon as you're all ready. Once the battle begins, there will be no turning back. Please make sure you're fully prepared. From here on, time is of the essence. We should sprint to the castle. Okay, but don't push yourself so hard you get wiped out, got it? Skull walked me through a brief regimen of thorough leg stretches. My legs already feel like they're on the verge of cramping up, but it's no problem. Sure sounds like a problem to me. By the way, for this plan to work, won't we need disguises? No disguise will be effective enough once we're inside the castle. Furthermore, attempting haphazard costumes could hamper our mobility. That's why we're not the ones who will be disguised. What do you mean by that? Over here! Crap, we're spotted! We're getting back up! They turned out rather well, I might say so myself. What? Really? That intimidating? This was no mere attempt to recreate appearances. This is the projection of the self, as seen by the other. Perhaps it will deepen your self-perception. Yes! As a matter of fact, this could very well be a new form of the self-portrait. I don't get what he's saying. Oh boy, in 
Nari the Art Nut's back. Huh. Praise won't get you anywhere. Well, the diversion's holding out. Looks like this was a good plan after all. Now all we have to do is sneak into Yoshiki's castle. Looks like Operation Smack Crackle Infiltrate is underway. Why would you combine those names? Okay, Yuki-san, lead the way, please. Right, this way. We made it. This is the passage. Huh? Where? It doesn't look like a passage. There's a pathway at the bottom of this old well that leads into the castle. Ooh, an old well, huh? Oh, just the thought of all those bugs down there gives me the creeps. <laughs> I guess even the fearless phantom thieves have their weaknesses. Shall we get going then? The disguises will only fool them for so long. <sighs> Yuki-san, do you really intend to follow us into the castle? Past here, there's a dangerous battle awaiting us. Why don't you find somewhere safe to hide with the townspeople instead? Oh, but didn't you say we shouldn't lie to ourselves anymore? I want to do everything I can to help save everyone. And most of all, I want to witness your fight with my own eyes, Toshiro-san. Why me? <laughs> I wonder why. I won't back down on this, though. Please let me come with you. If anything were to happen to you, I... Hey, don't those two look kinda... Is this what a grown-up romance looks like? Isn't it wonderful? I kind of admire it. I've heard love is about the push and the pull. Now's your chance, Toshiro. Push! You guys are getting way too into this. You know I can hear you, right? You've got it wrong, so cut it out already. I understand. If you're that determined, I won't stop you. However, at least promise me you won't be reckless. Please, prioritize your safety. I will, thank you. Please be careful as well, Toshiro-san. Now, allow me to show you the way. Booyah! Made it inside! This is where things really ramp up. The place is crawling with readings. <sighs> What's wrong, Yuki-san? It's odd. The entire layout of the place has changed since I was here last. When you were here last? Let's hurry! We need to find somewhere to hide. Everyone's waiting for us. Please, stay calm, Toshiro-san. You seem to be having a hard time breathing. Perhaps we should stop and rest? No, it's all right. I'm, I'm sorry, running isn't one of my strong suits. But Yuki-san, 
I promise that I'll... I promise, promise I'll protect you. <laughs> What's wrong? Do you not feel well? N no. I'm fine. I must be imagining things. Anyway, we should keep moving. The others are in danger. You're right. We need to... Is something wrong? No, but look at that. What a strange design. I don't think this door was here a moment ago. You're right, that is rather odd. Ugh. This way! Come on, follow me! Ugh. What is that voice? A voice? What do you... <gasps> the door opened by itself? doing here? Toshiro-san? You're deathly pale. Please, hold yourself together. I promise. You promised me. Liar! It's your fault. It's all because of you. Please, forgive me. Back then, I... It's all your fault. I'll never forgive you, Toshiro! <laughs> Where'd those two go? Don't tell me they got caught! That voice! Yes, it's Toshiro! This way! Let's hurry! The voice came from somewhere around here. Wait, what? Hey, when did we get here? Is this... an amusement park? Hey, look over there! It's Toshiro and Yuki! Everyone, it's terrible. Toshiro-san is... Forgive me. Please forgive me. Get it together, Toshiro. What happened to him? I don't know. He said he heard a voice and, and then he was writhing in pain. Looks like we're all in the dark about this. In any case, we need to get out of here. Unfortunately, that may be easier said than done. There's no way for you to run. Toshiro, keep it together, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all because I lied. Pull yourself together. <sighs> Don't let yourself be led astray here. That voice tormenting you is just an illusion. If nothing else, the Toshiro that I know is certainly no liar. Right? Yuki-san. I'm sorry. The enemy ambush had me shaken, but I'm fine now. <laughs> yeah, if by shaken, you mean a full-on meltdown. Anyway, what was with the scenery change? Where the hell did they go? I knew it was! Uh-oh, looks like we don't have time for a chat. Yes, let's handle these guys first. already, but now that I see it in person, this is hell on earth. Pick it up, shit stain. You're only 
good to us alive if you keep running. <laughs> My legs any faster. You're dead if anything goes wrong broadcasting today's cover size with Lord Yoshiki. You better not let the power go out. I can get some water. Please. That's enough out of you! Get back to praising our Lord! Alright, repeat after me. Thank you, Lord Yoshiki, for your love. This is what they call a labor of love? Oh, those sick bastards! At any rate, we can't overlook this tragedy. Those people are being worked to death. I'm done sleeping. Those people need help. We rescue them right here, right now. Understood. Take them head on. Everyone ready? Please stay out of this one, yuki san I'll be staying out too, so you're safe with me. Oh. Understood. All right, let's mess them up. Hey, assholes! Let those people go or you'll regret it! Who the hell are you? No one you'll have time to get to know. We're shutting this place down now. Intruders! All who oppose Lord Oshiki come to regret it! Seize them all! Don't forget the furball either! Don't forget the what? Uh, you're asking for it now! Okay, we've secured the area. Let's free those people ASAP. We... we've been rescued? I'm sorry, but who are you all? Don't worry, you're safe now. Here, this way, quickly. Sure, but my back's so shot, I can't stand. <laughs> Lady Yuki? Uh, wow, Lady Yuki's here! Came all this way to rescue us! I'll explain later. You need to escape first. Hmm, since they call her Lady Yuki, that must mean. Wait, are you married? Of course, a catch like her is married. Are you saying you didn't know that already? I was in a formal relationship with Yoshiki. So, yes, I am technically his wife. His wife? For real? So. You're like a princess here? It would be more accurate to say she's the general's consort. Hmm. I did notice an elegance and adherence to manners, but I never would have expected this. Well, I did marry Yoshiki. After witnessing his wicked doings, I couldn't bear it any longer. So I took the people he'd imprisoned and fled the castle. <sighs> but this never affected him. As you saw already, he subjects more victims to his tyranny every day. I get it now. Explains why you've been hiding those townspeople from him at your place. Oh, if you're Yoshiki's wife, then does that mean... Oh. Can we discuss the finer details later? We really ought to keep moving. Our main problem is the escape route. We have to do something about the cameras. Don't you worry yourselves about that now. Our job here was to supply power to the surveillance system. Uh, which means what, exactly? It means the cameras went down when the power supply did, too. The camera's off. Everyone in the castle should be in a panic. Let's take advantage and escape. I'll see to it that these people escape safely. You all hurry on ahead. Yes, we'll see you soon for the celebration of a lifetime. Yeah, we'll beat Yoshiki down and overthrow his ass, you'll see. I don't know the rest of you, but thank you so much. We'll all be counting on you. I'll fill them in on the Phantom Thieves before you get back. With that said, goodbye for now. Please be careful. We will, you do the same. All right, Yoshiki's up a ways ahead. Let's go get him. Alright, it's been smooth sailing so far. 
the cameras are down, and there's barely any security. Let's hope it stays that way until we reach Yoshiki. Still, what a bombshell that Yuki-san was married to Yoshiki, right? Um, about that, doesn't that mean Yuki-san is... Yes. As I'm sure you've all gathered, I am fairly certain she's my mother. I guess you were just being considerate for my sake then. Sorry, I'm still trying to come to terms with it. That being said, I suppose she's more like an illusion of my mother than my mind created. I don't remember what my mother looked like. And I don't know if that's her actual personality either. An illusion, huh? So, a vestige of your mother still lingers in a fragment of your memory? I'm not sure it's that poetic. Especially considering that I don't know what my real mother thought of me. What do you mean? It's possible my mother may have resented me. Really? As I've said before, I was raised under the strict discipline of my father. My mother was in and out of the hospital due to her illness, so I wasn't able to see much of her. But when I did get to see her, it filled me with joy like nothing else. Gradually, her illness grew worse. Watching her grow weaker by the day was a terrible shock. And my father became even stricter, rarely letting me go visit her. That's too cruel! It was around that time in my childhood when I hatched a plan. I would sneak my mother out of her hospital room and take her to the amusement park. She had always wanted to go outside with me, so I worked up the courage to carry out my plan. That was the first time I ever rebelled against my father. You finally rebelled? That must have made her happy, right? By the time we reached the park, my mother was beaming. It was just a small place on the roof of a department store. And though our trip was brief, I was grateful I had worked up the courage to take her after seeing how happy she looked. But on her way home, suddenly collapsed. I'm not sure what happened after that. A lot of adults came. I only remember crying the whole time. Not long after, my mother passed away. I see. But, but that wasn't your fault! At least, not directly! That's what the doctors said. But my father still blamed me for it. He said my mother died because I selfishly disobeyed him. And she would always resent me for it. Even from beyond the grave. He placed his own guilt on you. No one will ever know why your mother's time came then. Yes, but despite knowing that, I'm still afraid. I dread my worst fears being confirmed when I ask Yuki. No. When I ask my mother for the truth. Though I'm ready to fight my father. Separate matter. For some reason, I can't stop this wishful thinking that she'll be kind to me. All right, I've digressed enough. For now, let's just press on. Do what needs to be done. <sighs> Yoshiki should be just past here. Is everyone ready? <sighs> We've been troubled for a while now. Is something wrong? No, it's just... So, um, you know how we were just talking about your mom? Well, if we assume Yuki-san was created from how you see your mom in your heart, then if you really believe she resented you, Yuki-san should resent you too, right? <laughs> but Yuki-san didn't give me that impression. So, um, I guess what I'm saying is... I don't think your mom resents you. That's all. She doesn't? not the kind of thing moms resent their kids for. How do I put this? That's just how it is. I'm sure of it. Although I'm also unsure about what mothers are like, I'd like to think I have some understanding of a mother's love. Regardless of how things turned out, I doubt she would bear a grudge for being able to spend time with her son. Hmm. Well, this is still merely conjecture in the end. But on the other hand, 
Hearing you all say it makes me wonder if you might be right. You're absolutely right. It wouldn't mean anything otherwise. Well, there you have it. We'll be rooting for you, you know. Thank you all for helping me. Settle things with my father, my mother too. That's a promise. All right, then let's go win this thing. The criminals come to offer their own heads. Father. Oh, oh, oh. Either way, I'm quite astounded you made it this far. Toshiro, his little band of miscreants, and the stray cat. Who are you calling a stray cat? <laughs> Enjoy your high horse while you can, because you're on borrowed time, pal. Oh, as if you have room to speak, you're the criminals here. What was that? Just take a look. My nation is in shambles because of you all. Stop intruders and lay on the camera. Enough is enough. Let everyone go. What the hell? Where did all these rebels come from? Our eyes have been opened. Lord Yoshiki. Yoshiki's methods are wrong! How dare you! Lord Yoshiki demands respect! You wanna be cut down? Go ahead and try us! We'll show you! We're not messing around! Who's going to defy me? This is when you give me temptation. You realize my people were living in peace until you cast them into the throes of chaos! What do you hope to accomplish committing these atrocities? You really shouldn't make me repeat myself. You're the ones committing the heinous crimes here. It's my duty to set you back on the righteous path. <laughs> now, Toshiro, come to me, my son. Allow my love to guide you to greatness with the eyes of love that only I can see through. I won't. As your son, I came here to stop you. Whoa, just splendid! You picked up some hilarious jokes during your little exploits, haven't you? You've lived your Entire life doing everything I do. But now you want to rebel against me. <laughs> no, sir. Patient as I may be, even the Buddha had his limits. Sinner! You murder your mother, and now you betray your father! Although, you might be right that I'm a sinner. That's exactly why I have to stop you, father. Oh, 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 ludicrous! How utterly ludicrous! You let these dudes control you into bearing your fangs to your own father, you lowlife! I'll shut that impertinent mouth of yours and take my time teaching you your lesson. Oh, here he comes. Heads up, everyone! <laughs> so weak! Your heart's so weak! Oh, that bravado. And this is what you have to show for it? How miserable you all must be! He's too strong. If only we could make some headway here. It's no use! No use, I say! Prostrate yourself before me and die in the name of love. Enough with the love shit already. Man, it's only a matter of time before he wears us down. We need to turn the tide somehow. But we don't have time for that. Yoshiki's just about to finish us off. Damn, there has to be something. 
<laughs> oh, I do pity you, Cretans. Now me to finish with you. For the crime of leading my son astray, I sentence you to die in my all encompassing love. We can't lose like this. You're the one who needs to accept fate, Yoshiki. Ma? I, I mean, Yuki, what are you doing here? The others? We're here to lend a hand. Allow us to fight alongside you. That's right. We're gonna prove we're not spineless. We can't let you guys have all the fun. Down with Yoshiki! Whoa! Reinforcements in the house! Talk about a game changer! Amazing! They must have rushed here to help us! My apologies. I tried to reason with them, but they wouldn't listen. Of course, please know I share their sentiment. You guys really came to help? Yes. And it was only possible thanks to your courage. Okay. Listen up, everyone. We're going to take your Shiki down and put this nation back into the hands of its people! Instigating a rebellion! You do realize there are some things I can't forgive, yes? I've never asked for your forgiveness. I'm rebelling because you deserve it. It's time to pay your debt, Sushi. No. Lay it on him, Joker! We're stopping you for the good of this nation! You brainless witch can't do anything besides showing off your morals, can you? Ooh, Paris! Prancing along with your tune! I'm surrounded by absolute idiots! The lives of idiots are wasted anyhow, so I may as well reduce you all to nothing! For throwing this country into chaos. Bennett, 
You never even considered the fate of the citizens you claim to represent! Uh, well, still, this'll end better than if we left a tyrant like you to torture these people forever! That's only true in your puny little mind, girl! Face reality for once! Save them in my That's how fire's going! Hold your ground! Keep your weapons up! We'll fight them as long as we live! Not resisting! You wanna get cut down! For the sake of your argument, let's say I truly were an egotistical ruler. The people went about their lives, and they were content, were they not? But you ingrates, you ingrates ruined the entire nation. Fools. Truly. Work of fools. If this isn't a farce, I don't know the meaning of the word. Huh? They ruined the nation? Don't listen to him, Toshiro! Just remember why we're here! Yes! He's merely weaving his web of lies! Remain firm in your conviction! <laughs> Toshiro, my boy. You remember that day, don't you? You spurned my love and rebelled against me! Selfishly demanding your mother take you out while she... No! Stop! You killed your own mother. All because you had to have your stupid, fleeting wish. What sort of monster kills their own mother? One can scarcely imagine the betrayal she must have felt. No, I... I just... That's enough, Yoshiki. I won't tolerate any more of this slander. <laughs> Well, well, isn't this delightful? But say we move on to the final act of this farce, eh? Die, Toshiro! Can't you see? Your pathetic revolution is now! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! How delightful! <laughs> Yuki! No. Please stay with me. Now do you see, Toshiro? This is the result of your so-called revolution. You've killed your mother yet again with your asinine idea. Well then, I'll keep you in my heart. <laughs> There he goes, that bastard. Hey, more importantly, Yuki-san is... Please don't leave me. There's still so much I want to say. Mother! Oh, Shiro. I had a feeling you are my son. Please forgive me. Once again, it's all my fault. Oh, Toshiro, this was never your fault. Please, just try to remember. Then you'll know how much I loved you. Is this Toshiro's memory? Come on, Mom, this way! Let's write that one next! <laughs> You're quite energetic today, aren't you, Toshiro? Yeah! Hey, Mom?
promise you won't let go of my hand, okay? You always need to stay by my side so I can protect you. Thank you, Toshiro. You're my trusty little knight. I, I haven't been outside for a while, so let's take it slow for now, okay? Oh, sorry. Hey, Mom, are you sure you aren't mad that I brought you here? <laughs> of course not, silly. Nothing makes me happier than being able to spend time with you like this, Toshiro. Operation Super Sneaky Escape was a big success, wasn't it? <laughs> Did you have to give it such a weird name? You know, Toshiro, it was thanks to your courage that I was able to come here today. What do you mean? Because you worked up the nerve to take me here, I was able to spend such a pleasant day with you. Toshiro, can you do something for me? Okay, but what? From now on, never be afraid of doing what you think is right. Having the courage to stand up for someone is something you should cherish. Please, never regret it. Promise me, Toshiro. Okay, I promise. Let's make it a pinky swear. Pinky, pinky prom. That'll never lie. Cross my heart and hope to die. Swear on my life. That's right. Back then, I promised her. Because you gathered your courage to do something, this country was able to change. We were able to speak like this again because you let me fight by your side. So don't regret taking a stand. Be proud. Mother, was I able to keep our promise? Of course you did. But Toshiro, please. Yes, I know. I won't regret my courage that day. My sweet boy, I will always be with you. Toshiro? The flag. Hmm? We need to present the flag. To let them know it's all over. It's like with Marie. The people are worried about how this is going. Toshiro. Please, don't worry about me. I haven't forgotten. In the end, she was nothing more than a memory. Uh, uh, but that's your mom! Oracle. It's okay. For a brief time, my memories brought my mother back to me. Gone again. That. That's all it was. All right? Toshiro. Why do you lie to yourself? You said it. Hey! Let's go wave the flag like Toshiro said. Yes. We ought to share the good news face to face. Sure, I've got it. Listen up, everyone! Yoshiki has been defeated! The one who plunged this country into darkness is no more. Hold your heads high. The time has come to step into a brighter future. It's because all of you took a stand that we are victorious here today. We won! We won! We won! We won! I'm so happy! There's no time to dawdle. We have to let everyone else know. Was that okay? Yeah, you said it well. <laughs> you can tell how happy they are even from here. Although, the town's kind of trashed now, huh? So it seems. A number of people were injured as well. 
It seems we hadn't received the full picture until just now. Frankly, I'm at a loss for words now that I see it in person. I knew this was coming, but I guess things ain't as easy as kicking Yoshiki's ass and calling it a wrap. <sighs> yeah. Well, at least we won, right? We sure did, ma'am! Yes, there were casualties. Even Lady Yuki was. But, but still, taking a stand definitely wasn't a mistake! Really? Wait a second, what's that sound? Headed our way. Oh, thank goodness. We made it in time. We're surrounded for a second time. We just had to tell you how very grateful we are to all of you for opening up our eyes. No, we really didn't do much. On the contrary, seeing the town and all its people like this is. And, um, uh, Yuki was also. Yes. We only saw bits and pieces of the fight, but we know what happened. But, even so, to regret what we did would be to deny Lady Yuki's wishes! Lady Yuki told us before we came here, she said no matter what happened, not to have any regrets. That's why we don't feel like what we did was a mistake. We'll carry on Lady Yuki's wishes and live on! We won't lie to ourselves anymore. We're going to live on, with our own eyes and free will. Huh. Hey, how much longer are you gonna keep moping around? You're going to make Lady Yuki sad! Snap out of it! Well, when was I moping? You guys... I'm sure everything will be alright. Just hold on to that courage of yours. Yes, ma'am! Well then, we should get back to the town's reconstruction. All right, everyone! Let's get to it! <laughs> it seems they don't have a moment to waste. Agreed. In fact, we should get going too, yeah? Sorry, but before we go, I'd like to show you all my appreciation. My father and my mother. I was only able to face them because you guys gave me a push. So I should thank you for that. Oh, I'm just voicing my appreciation for you all. It's a little embarrassing, but please accept it. Aw, you don't have to. I'd also like to express a special thanks to you, Futaba. Your words resonated with me especially. Oh? Okay. Thinking of my mother has always been painful, but it's time I faced history head on. Truth may be different than what I saw here, but I've decided to stop running from my memories. from those things, you know? You've got my support. But you've really learned to talk the talk, haven't you, Pops? <laughs> Even an old-timer like me knows how to get real. All right, I think it's time we head out. Do we know where the door is yet? Oh, right! Yeah, the door is over there. Do you think we'll actually go home this time? Hmm, based on the pattern we've seen so far, I wouldn't get my hopes up. We won't know until we try it, though, right? Let's go. Listen, we have no idea what's on the other side. Everyone be real careful, got it? Okay, let's move out, Joker. Where'd we end up now? 
I'm looking at the building. It reminds me of a school. It sure isn't Shujin, though. Hey, do you think we finally made it back to our own world? We're not in a weird-ass time warp anymore. We've got to be home. No, take a closer look. The place is a mess, and there are speakers all over. Not only that, look how you're dressed. Pretty sure we're still in the metaverse. Ah, good point there. Man, all this portal stuff's really messing with my head. This place is... Hmm. Do you recognize it, Toshiro? I get the feeling that I should know it, but I'm still unable to recall exactly. Based on past experience, it stands to reason that this place has a tyrannical ruler as well. Yes, we certainly can't rule that out. Granted, we also shouldn't assume it'll be the same as it was with Marie and Yoshiki. Wait, that means we still haven't made it back to Arena's world, huh? We definitely have to consider how we might get her back there, yeah. Uh, Arena? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just a strange feeling I'm getting. Isn't the air here almost... Uh, suffocating? So you feel it too? I'm not sure what the words are for it. It's like there's more tension in the air than before. Uh, really? I sure don't feel it. What say we head inside? Standing out here won't serve us any further. That's true. We should learn whatever we can about this place. Bear in mind, we have no idea what's in there, so be careful. Hmm. It actually looks pretty normal in here, huh? And look! Huh, our regular clothes are back. Ah, we finally made it to... Another weird place. Just take a look at Mona. But if we've changed, at least, does that mean we're safe here? Like at the hideout? In theory, yes. But there's still too much we don't know about this place. Stay on guard, Joker. Man, ain't anyone here? It's too damn quiet. The entire building seems vacant. It'd take forever to check every single classroom, though. Our attire hasn't changed again. I pray that means we won't be running into trouble. Whoa! Now what is that? Is that... a door? Well, a rather out of place one. I wouldn't assume it's mere decoration, but I also can't imagine what may lie beyond it. on the other side. Can any of you? I'd be willing to bet it connects to a different world. What's the plan? Yes. To be fair, it's definitely a risk. But I've made up my mind already. I must keep moving forward. Agreed. Simply wandering these halls forever won't do us any good. All right, folks. No getting cold feet. We'll go on the count of three. One... Let's get 
to work, Joker! Yeesh! They're not gonna cut us a single break, huh? I don't know why they're attacking us. Whatever the reason, we should prepare for more hostility. So, what's the deal with this place? Hmm, I scanned the entire area during the fight. But this place doesn't seem to lead anywhere else. It's just some kind of sealed off zone. <sighs> what is it, Arena? You're looking pretty beat. Y yeah I'm fine. I probably just overdid it a little. And Toshiro, you're drenched in sweat. Are you about to throw up? Oh, it's... It's nothing at all. I'm just feeling a bit too warm in this suit. It's heavier weight for winter, that's all. Come on, let's get back to the hallway. This place is just too much to handle. If we stay any longer, I might just lose it. Yeah, we don't need to stick around. We can hash out our next steps when we're out of here. At least we know what's on the other side of the door now. Too bad it didn't help us get home. What's next? Could we search for a similar door elsewhere? Don't move a muscle! We've come to stop you! Oh, what now? We'll decide what now! You're legionnaires, aren't you? If you are, you already know what we'll do with you, and don't bother lying. Wait, now, we swear, we are not your enemy. What happened was, we wound up in this world by accident, and now we're trying to find our way out. Really? I hadn't heard that one before. Well, if you make any wrong moves, we're tying you all up anyway. So, has anyone else noticed how they're... Uh, how they're the most tightly wound hat people we've met so far? Indeed. I believe it'd be in our best interest to avoid provoking them further. Listen, I know you're trying to get to your home. Unfortunately, none of us are able to leave here. Huh? Why is that? This entire place has been caught up in the clutches of a heartless tyrant. Until he's been toppled, not a single one of us will be free. And that includes yourselves now. I saw that coming. Another door, another place that needs a revolution. Indeed! And we're the ones who shall kick it off and liberate this place! Permanently! And that's why we members of the Rebel Club are too preoccupied to help you escape! And we're in quite a bind. We don't even have any useful leads. Hmm. I suppose we could help you on the intel front. If you're willing to join our rebellion. I see. A quid pro quo scenario. The terms do sound reasonable enough at this point. Thoughts, Joker? Yes, we'd best learn more about the situation. Any final decisions can come after that. You heard me, guys. We need more deets before we sign up for anything. So be it. All of you, follow me! We've reached our hideout. Enter. All right, let's see here. It's another LeBlanc? Nailed it! Score one for the king of comedy, Ryuji! Although I have to say, the act has gotten a little stale by now. I believe I speak for the panel when I say we would appreciate more animated gestures next time. Maybe incorporating some props into your routine would spruce it up. When did I say I was taking notes? What's this? Are you over here mocking our hideout? Oh no, we wouldn't think of it. <laughs> no mocking here. <laughs> hey, who's this strange lot? Well, they're actually... I see. So you stumbled upon them, and they're trying to determine whether or not to join the Rebel Club. I suppose we are desperate. The cat would make a good ally in our circumstances. You better watch your tongue, buddy. Uh, um, before we agree to anything, though, would you mind sharing a bit more on what's happening? We heard something about a tyrant earlier. What else can you tell us about that? 
in a nutshell, he's a ruthless monster. But he has no problem throwing others under the bus, so long as he gets something out of it. That's right. We all trusted him, and the traitor stabbed us in the back. That bastard took away someone very close to me. If only it weren't for... It's time he got what he deserves. What was that? Every single one of us here has been put through hell by... Huh. We can't hear him say the name. What's the deal there? Weird, right? What do you think is doing that? It's enough backstory. Are you going to help us or not? Just to be clear first. You do know how we can get out of here, right? Fine. I'll tell you this one thing for now. This is top secret, mind you. Recently, we were able to confirm the location of the Legionnaire's leader. But the place is locked up so tightly, none of us can get in. We can only break in if we find all four keys to the door. And what's that got to do with us? We're looking for an exit, not a fight. We've searched every other place in this building, and we haven't found a single way out. But we've never seen what's behind that locked door. Which means... Uh... Which means... If they've already searched everywhere else and still haven't found an exit, there's a real chance we'll find what we're looking for beyond that door. I believe that's their logic. I suppose this means we do share a common goal. Yes? Good idea. It's not as though we have any other leads at the moment. Plus, helping them may even jumpstart Toshiro's memory. Thank you. Hopefully I can remember something useful. Having come this far already, I'm determined to get to the bottom of my memory issue. That settles it. We're joining the Rebel Club. Glad to hear it. Welcome aboard, everyone. As of this moment, you're officially members of the Rebel Club. We'll root out and confront this evil as one. Yeah, we're that much closer to success! So, do you know where any of the keys are? According to our investigations, there are strange-looking doors spread across the building. You should find them beyond those doors, in a horrible pocket dimension. Ah, oh, we've already been through one of those. So there are more of them, huh? The closest one is in the courtyard! Once you're properly equipped, please head there and acquire it for us. They're all crawling with enemies. Well, nothing new to us. You said it. Well, let's suit up and get going. All right, let's head out. Uh, I can never get in the right mood for this stuff in my normal outfit. Hope it kicks in when the time comes. The courtyard is over on the other end of this floor. There's no time to waste. Guys, I can't tell if they're gung ho or just bossy. We'll continue our own preparations here for the final battle with that awful tyrant. Let's move out. We've got a key to track down. I wonder which part of the building we're in now. Still, the first floor would be my guess. I don't know about you guys, but isn't this place a vibe? You know, not shadows or legionnaires. But that other scary stuff. Wait, no, you don't mean. Huh. Oh, it's nothing major. My mind keeps coming back to one thing. Don't the beings here seem more riled up than the ones in the last two kingdoms? Could there be a reason behind it? If so, my money would be on your recent change of mindset. I mean, if this world does exist in your heart, it'd make sense for changes to your state of mind to influence the place. Oh, so it's because Toshiro decided he was going to fight back? It stands to reason. Once Toshiro was emboldened, so were the other beings. <gasps> He's gone from the runaway old-timer to the sort of defiant old-timer. Well, being around you criminals was bound to toughen me up a bit. <laughs> You really had the spine of a block of tofu when we first met, didn't you, Tofuro? 
Arena, you still need to grow up a bit yourself. Aren't you roughly the same age as these kids? You need to learn to respect your elders or life is going to be... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Why, you... I'm not putting up with this anymore. Good grief. Those two haven't matured at all, have they? Okay, enough of this for now. We've got work to do. Yeah, let's do what we gotta do to find our ticket out of here. Is this the right place? This can't be. A rather pleasant courtyard. One could easily find a place to sit back, relax, and enjoy a bento. Dreaming of food even now, Inari? I could go for lunch myself, but we've got that to take care of first. Yeah, that. I'm sure some other fresh hell awaits us on the other side. But the rebels told us that's where the key is, right? Along with a heap of legionnaires too, no doubt. Time to work up an appetite. You there. Just thinking about going through one of those doors again gives me the heebie-jeebies. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's just get what we came for and return as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Hello, Earth Jatoshiro. Something bugging you? Oh, um, it's nothing. I could swear... Where have I seen this place? Okay, folks. On the count of three, like last time. One, two, three! <sighs> Phew. That should do it, right? So, where's this key we're looking for? Get dropped somewhere? I don't see anything of the sort so far. Hold up! I've got a reading! This is what was shiny? Um, these aren't keys, though. Yep, no mistaking it. Those are bandages. <laughs> really? Sorry, but could I see those for a moment? Could that be this late in the evening? Come in. Ah, there you are. I heard I'd find you here. Huh? You look fine, more or less. Hmm? I'm sorry, but I don't believe we've met. Perhaps you're mistaking me for someone else. No, nope, you're definitely who I've been looking for. Toshiro Kasukabe, Mr. Class President. Well, I suppose you're not mistaken then. What did you need to discuss with me? <laughs> Relax. No need to be so formal with me. It's not like I have to have a reason to be here. This is the student council room, and I am a student. <laughs> you have an upperclassman uniform, but I haven't seen you here before. Are you a new transfer? All business, aren't you? You got me, though. I already knew this school was fancy, but they push the decorum here pretty hard, don't they? I'll pick it up eventually, and if not, then no biggie. I got curious about you, so I started asking around. Pretty impressive rep you've got there. A ton of talent, a connected family, stellar grades, your whole future set up. You even got elected student council president as a first year. Nobody done that here before you. Why are you describing me to myself? Is this some kind of awkward ribbing? If you don't have any council business, please see yourself out. I'm quite busy here. Oh, sorry if I upset you. I I'm just interested in you, I swear. I mean, getting beat up by a whole gang of delinquents? They don't even do that in manga anymore. <sighs> so you saw that? I even thought for a second that I'd find you here all covered in bandages. What a bizarre way of thinking. Still, you jumped into that mess by yourself all to help that other student getting mugged, didn't you? You're not just a president. You're a student council superhero. You know, 
I actually like the sound of that. <sighs> I wasn't doing anything so noble. I merely happened on the scene. Once I knew what was going on, I had no choice but to get involved. I also only became student council president because it'll look good on my college application. Besides, my father told me I need experience as a public figure to ensure I can take up the family's work. But never mind all that, I'm digressing. What I mean to say is I've learned a valuable lesson about poking my nose into other people's business. Huh. Still, you ended up rescuing the kid, right? Well, those miscreants seemed too tired to go back to bullying him once they had their fill assaulting me. Don't you have somewhere to be? It's well past time for students to still... Oh, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Eri Natsuhara. Nice to meet ya. Kasukabe-kun, I've got a hunch about you. This is where you usually hang out after school, right? I'll drop by and bug you again later. Huh? See ya! <sighs> oh, my bad. I meant to give you this earlier. Here. See ya! What are... Some bandages? <sighs> what is with that girl? Uh-huh. Hey! Was that? Yeah. I bet we saw the same thing. I still can't wrap my head around it, though. That was so full of twists, I don't even know where to start. That was Toshiro in the uniform, yeah? The student council president? Yeah, I was wondering about that, too. Going by appearance, she and Arena were... <sighs> You've got a lot to hammer out. We should take these on one by one. Good point. Now that we have what seems to be the key in this place, we can get out of here. Yep. We'll have plenty to talk about on the other side of the door. So about what we saw together, that wasn't a figment of our imaginations. You mean, we witnessed something that actually took place? Yes, I'm sure of it. Though, I'd forgotten the event entirely until now. The girl who showed up was Eri Natsuhara. She was one of my senpai on the student council. But out of all my life, why that memory? Yeah, we could use a bit more context. From what I noticed, it seemed to be the first meeting between the two of them. Hoshiro, have you remembered anything else yet? Well, that was when I first met Natsuhara Senpai. She joined the council shortly after, and... She had you totally whipped? That's an awful way to put it, but it's unfortunately not far from the truth, either. Regardless, she was also the kind of person who couldn't stand mistreatment or injustice. Whenever she caught wind of problems with the school or students in trouble, she'd run to me with a report. Every time she would try to convince me with a Toshiro, let's fight the good fight. <laughs> I initially agreed to help so I could keep tabs on her. She was such a reckless student council member. Before I knew it, she had us running all over the school together. We tackled all sorts of issues at that school. Bullying, unfair school. By the end, we were even given career and relationship advice. At some point, the student council room became more of a counseling room for the average student. The students were always grateful whenever we were able to help them. I found that especially gratifying, since I was fed up with my father's alternative expectations for me. Looking back at the time, I think we did a lot of good together. And then... <laughs> That's all I'm able to remember. But why? I can't. It's like something's fogging my memory. Hey, don't push it too hard. 
We all shared that vision when you touched the bandage. That's what restored your memory. There are supposed to be four keys, right? Maybe we can learn more from finding the others. True. And there are still a few more things I want to get to the bottom of. Especially about Natsuhara Senpai. And you as well, Narina. There's a bit too much resemblance for it to be a coincidence, huh? Totally. They even have the same chemistry together. <laughs> uh, think so? I, I mean, we may look similar, but I don't boss you around that much. Right, Toshiro? Really? What do you expect me to say? Uh, it's more like he's in the palm of your hand and you're crushing him. Yeah, as flat as a pancake. Well, is that really how you all see me? I have to admit, though, there's one thing that's been stuck on my mind. It's been nagging me ever since we came to this world. When I saw the visions of Toshiro's memory, I felt something stirring in my own head. That girl. She's someone from your own world, right? Ever since I heard we're in a world made from Toshiro's heart, I've been thinking, what am I, exactly? Arena. I have a few ideas I could share, but nothing for certain. Ultimately, I have a feeling you're entirely different from any of the entities we're familiar with. I see. <sighs> right. No matter what I turn out to be, in the end, I'm still me. Nailed it! No matter what you are, you'll always be you. Just like Mona will always be a cat, eh? Check the transitive property, pal. And keep me out of your analogies! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, no use thinking about it now. How about we get back to it? We've still got three more things to find, right? Yep, now that we've got the one, let's head back to the Rebel Club room next. Yeah, especially since we can assume another fight's waiting for us behind the next door. Let's head back and find out where the next one is. next on the docket for this key hunt. The next key is located in the cafeteria. The cafeteria, you say? How do the meal plans work here? If I can't enroll, could I at least start a tab? Rain it in, Inari. Let's focus on the job first, all right? And I'm sure your tab at Kose is bad enough already. Considering how hostile this place can get, you'd better not try sneaking any food. <laughs> right? Well, I can understand getting hungry, but we've got a job waiting for us in that cafeteria. Hmm. If I had to wager, I'd guess it's on the second floor. Is that right? That's correct! Just go up the nearest stairwell, continue on straight, and you'll find it! Sounds like you already knew that, though. So you better not waste any more time and just get going! I did. Whatever the case may be, we should get going. I'll lead the way, if you don't mind. If everyone's ready. This floor of the building ultimately looks the same as the last. The cafeteria should be just ahead. Let's hurry. Uh, hey, Toshiro. Is this the same school that you went to? Yes. It's been quite some time since I graduated. But I can tell that I'm slowly starting to remember. It may be distorted or inaccurate here and there, but I can say with absolute certainty that this is the same building. Any idea who could be in charge here? Can you remember anyone who caused problems for you? Maybe the other students? No, it hasn't all come back yet. You scum! I can't believe it's you. that leave now or suffer the consequences speak of the devil so i guess i'm talking to the big cheese yeah look i don't know who you are but get in our way and we'll mess you up got it you'll mess me up you idiot you have no idea what that would do who 
are you already? Who am I? <laughs> you mean you've forgotten? But you're the one who knows me best. That's it. Whoever it was, it sounded like you recognized me. Damn it, if only I could remember. Hmm. Well, I suppose this is the first unknown kingdom ruler we've encountered. We're likely coming to blows with another eccentric character, like Maria and Yoshiki were. He's the one making life tough for those guys back at the hideout, yeah? Well, I'm all for punching the guy out, but we need to collect whatever these keys are supposed to be for that to happen. I'm picking up a big open space just ahead of us. Looks like Toshiro was right on the money. That's our next destination. So this is their cafeteria? Oh, it's pretty huge. It certainly feels like the quintessential cafeteria. This room has the nicest vibe of the whole building. Ah, I believe I'm remembering more now. <laughs> the food here was quite popular, especially for the price. I heard that this place was constantly packed with students and lines during lunchtime. You heard? So you never actually ate here? I was never one for crowded places like this. From what I remember, I was always cooped up in the student council room with a homemade bento. Boy, do I relate to that. The cafeterias are for normies. Definitely not my kind of scene. I'd probably explode if I ever got forced to eat in one! Uh, it's not life or death. It's just a food room. Look, another one of those doors! Time to find out what the second key is. That settles the matter. Now, for this second so-called key. Look, over there! Oh, that's a weird looking box. Oh, I remember learning about this in history class. Uh, something in the middle period? It's a suggestion box. Basically, it's a way to collect people's complaints and requests anonymously. Although, this one appears to be empty. Think this will jog any memories, Toshiro? I can't say for sure, but if it's the same as last time... Yep, you called it. <sighs> so tired. I pulled an all-nighter on a mock exam. Hundreds exams might be important, but that doesn't change the fact that they suck. Overnight cramming is actually counterproductive. Sleep is necessary for committing what you've learned to memory. You might make it by cramming for regular tests, but comprehensive ones like entrance exams require long-term memory for any chance. Oh good, I can get some shut-eye during this lecture. I don't give you lectures, I give you advice, which you clearly need. If anything, I should lecture you on how to take advice properly. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I noticed earlier. The suggestion box has been awfully empty lately. If I had to guess, I'd say it's because we've taken care of everything by now. You're going to run yourself ragged if you're always looking for trouble to clean up, Aerie. You're saying I should turn a blind eye to people in need? That'll run me even more ragged. <sighs> Please, try putting yourself in my shoes for once. Can't you just enjoy the peace and quiet as the fruits of your labor? I sure hope you're right. But something's still bugging me. Isn't the vibe at school kinda... weird now? Weird? Come in! Hi. Uh... Someone said that 
let you guys hear out people in trouble? Yep, whatever it is, you can lay it on your future prime minister here. Don't say such ridiculous things. How come? One day, you'll be a diet member, and then you'll make prime minister, yeah? Hm, I've never said anything of the sort. What? You don't remember your speech? I'll never take favors from my father. I'll stand on my own two feet. I've definitely never said that. You must do the worst impression I've ever seen. Huh? Objection, Your Honor. Wait, is that a prime minister or a judge? Um... Oh, sorry, sorry. Here, grab a seat and hit us with the deeds. Vice Principal Nakabachi's been blackmailing students and staff here? <sighs> I was such an idiot. I thought my chances at college, my whole life, would be over if the school found out I'd been working at a nightclub. And when Nakabachi stumbled onto your secret, he proposed a deal to keep you off the hook. He ordered you to dig up dirt on other students and report back to him, correct? Then he'd use that information to pressure them into bringing him even more dirt on other people. He just kept creating more and more victims until eventually he even had the teachers under his thumb. There's no way to tell who's working for Nakabachi, so I didn't know who to trust with this. And it's all my fault! I did something so stupid just to pay my tuition! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry for melting down like that. So, um, now what? <sighs> Thank you for telling us. I know it wasn't easy. This is a pretty huge issue, so it's gonna take some time, but we'll handle it. I don't care what happens to me anymore. So please. I'm begging you, please! <laughs> Nagabachi was hired here very recently, but he was promoted to vice principal right away. It may have been unexpected, but nobody would guess this was how he pulled it off. Any student here would be terrified to lose their college prospects. It's no wonder how he was able to exploit that. That's just sick. How could he use people and torture them like that? It sounds like the entire school's in a bizarre standoff, what with everyone spying on each other for Nakabachi. This certainly explains why you felt something off here. That said, this is clearly beyond the scope of what the student council can handle. If we make one wrong move, we could be done for ourselves. What's your take, Eri? Harry? Ah, oh, God! I am so pissed right now! I don't care how badly Nakabachi wants to be in charge. He has no right to put Yuri through that kind of hell. I thought schools and the staff were supposed to protect students, but not this messed up place. The way he's running this school now, it's like his own little dictatorship or something. He's done for if he's really doing this. Toshiro, you've got to help me. I thought you'd say as much. From the sounds of things, you're looking to assemble a full-on rebellion. Toshiro, that's exactly it. We'll start a rebellion. Ah, oh, great idea! Please don't take my jokes at face value. At any rate, we're going to investigate this. I have to know the truth. That's right. Makabachi. Ichiro Nakabachi. He was just a run-of-the-mill music teacher who got promoted to vice principal out of the blue. After hearing Yuri's story, Harry and I went around the school investigating. Turning up leads wasn't easy, but Harry was persistent enough that we eventually had a grasp of the situation. Simply put, the results were jaw-dropping. Sexual harassment, embezzlement, extortion, other abuses of power, all of them being covered up by the administration. Nakabachi had been promised a promotion to principal. He essentially had full reign of the school. Ugh, another turd for a teacher. The world's a big place. Big enough for plenty of pieces of shit to run their schools. To blackmail his own student. I can't imagine how Yuri felt at the time. 
but Nakabachi had covered his tracks. So ultimately, we weren't able to collect any conclusive evidence. Without concrete proof, we had to put our hopes on the victim's testimonies. But... What is it? Did they testify? I'm sorry. I can't remember the rest. Well, we certainly learned enough this time around to put one question to bed. I'd wager that the ruler of this kingdom is Vice Principal Nakabachi. And I bet you're right. Yeah, let's wrap this up so we can get out of here already. Well, at least we've got an idea of who might be running this place. Plus the second key to poop. Let's go back to the hideout so we can hammer out our next steps. We're back with the second key. Next up's the third one. The third one already? That's even further from here. It's somewhere within the faculty room. Somewhere within, huh? The faculty room, huh? Uh, can I maybe skip out on this one? I wonder why, Ryuji. Maybe it's all the chewing out from your teachers? I doubt anyone has good memories of that place. No reason to be there, except getting chewed out. Um, I don't know if that's entirely true. So far, we've been sent to the courtyard, the cafeteria, and now the faculty room. No. I'm sure there's a connection with my memories, but I still haven't come up with anything else. However, I do feel like we're getting close. Hmm. I'm sure we'll find out more once we secure whatever's in the faculty room. Let's move out. My memory may be vague, but I can still guide you there. The faculty room should be just ahead of here. Walking all over this school's a pain, but I guess it still beats getting wrapped up in some other drama. Yes, it's nice how it seems we won't be attacked while merely walking around the school. Whatever's on the other side of the doors is definitely a different situation. What's up with that anyway? Furthermore, there's another matter I don't understand. Despite our assumptions about this kingdom, we've been attacked by creatures more closely resembling students than teachers. What could be the cause of that? Is there even a reason? That makes me wonder. Did Nakabachi ever force the students to fight each other? Whatever the reason, it's obvious that we're still facing a lot of unknown factors. Let's just hurry up and catch the next episode of Toshiro's Put Upon Adventure. A <laughs> school tale where Toshiro's whip, huh? I'd like to learn the ending. Whipped? <laughs> ending? <laughs> um, would you mind if we moved on? <laughs> yes. Sorry. But that Matsuhara san really is straight as an arrow, isn't she? She was genuinely concerned for that girl, and never had second thoughts about helping her. Hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it, Eri was actually somewhat similar to you all. Really? She was a fervent believer in justice, and she always had a very strong sense of empathy. Remember how, when we first met, I said I had a less than favorable opinion of the Phantom Thieves? Well, I'm fairly certain I was just envious of your ability to accomplish what I never could. I'd like to take back what I said. I'm sorry. Huh. These guys don't obsess over the little stuff. Don't sweat it. Yep. Hell, I didn't even bat an eye when the cat first started talking. What are you talking about? You merely messed yourself! Besides, there's nothing to apologize for. You're an adult, and a politician to boot. Not everything we do is condonable to everyone. We certainly always have that in mind. Understood. I'll remember that. Marina, I owe you an apology as well. How should I put this? Don't worry about it. I think I already know. Kind of. Let's keep moving for now. We can talk more later. Right. Well, let's be off. Lead the way. I think we found the faculty room. All right, you legionnaire losers! 
get your asses out here so I can kick them. You're making it sound like we're raiding the place. <laughs> Classy, Ryuji. Wait, you want me to bow first? If we can make him freak before we fight him, we should do it. Oh, I gotcha. I'm pretty sure a door like that means they're not hearing anything we say on the other side. Do you think they can even understand us? We know what to expect on the other side. Let's do this! That's it, dipshits! We're coming for you now! Yeah, dipshits! You're gonna regret making us come in there. Like I said, let's do this! Before Ryuji's potty mouth rubs off on Arena any worse. That Phantom Thieves showed you what's up. With that out of the way, where's that key? Ooh, over there. Is that a letter? No, not just any letter. The front says it's a letter of challenge. That's the third key. Look at the weight of the brush strokes. Whoever wrote this meant business. That looks like... No. It's probably best to see what happened first. Is everyone ready? Here it comes. Perhaps one of you would care to explain the meaning of this letter. How about you, Kasukabe? It was scrawled so furiously I was barely able to read it. A letter of challenge? Senpai, did you really write this? I know I left it to you to call him out, but this is pretty hokey. And you even included our names? What's wrong with that? We needed to confront him face to face. Honestly, it would have been better to go yell at him in the faculty room. Calling him into this empty music room was to show him the slightest amount of mercy. Hmm. Here I was, wondering what the blazes this could be about. You really wanted an in-person confrontation? You tricked me here with some baseless accusations. Now you expect me to actually apologize for them? An apology's not going to cut it. You're going to confess your crimes and turn yourself into the police. <laughs> Surely you're jesting. You won't be talking your way out of this. A whole list of students shared the truth with us. A list of students, you say? I don't know who'd spout such lies, but I can assure you this nonsense won't prove a thing. It isn't nonsense! We only found out because someone came to us for help! Do you have a name of this someone? And what evidence do you have to corroborate their story? Now, hypothetically speaking, let's say you're correct. Just how many people do you see here backing you two up? Your theory's riddled with flaws, wouldn't you say? For example, if there are as many victims as you claim, why hasn't a single one come forth? That's because you... you've screwed them all over! Senpai, please don't touch him. Laying a hand on him would give him just what he wants. Ah, Kasukabe, my boy. Good to know you still see reason. That must be your father's doing. I, for one, hope Representative Kasukabe has a long and fruitful career. Uh. Well, let's end this discussion here. No matter how much of a fit you may pitch, no one is going to take your side. Not unless every single one of your so-called list of students steps forward. Ah, but that's quite the unless, isn't it? Best of luck, Claire. <laughs> Hang on! We're not done here! Eri, don't chase him! That bastard! Cackling like some kind of kids show villain! He certainly seems confident. He's forced each victim into a position where betraying him means self-ruin. Fear is certainly an effective method of control. 
Though not just their fear. I've gotten the sense that some people even expected perks from Nakabachi for obeying him. <sighs> we can raise all the fuss we like, but if the victims have no intention of accusing him... I don't care. He's still wrong. And what's gonna happen? Everyone's just supposed to let him get away with it? Does everyone really need to come forth? If so, we'll try persuading them again by... Tell me, Senpai. Why do you care so much? I know just how much you value honesty and how you can't stand injustice, but... Uh, it's not about caring. I just do what I do because I want to. <sighs> <sighs> okay. I think I can tell you. You see, back at my last school, one of my classmates framed me for some theft, and everyone ended up shunning me. It was over something stupid. I, I can't remember if it was a notebook or some perfume, but something was stolen. How awful. I'm sure there were some folks who thought I was a nuisance, considering my personality. But in the end, even my closest friends all left me. At the time, I was more shocked than angry, so I kept my mouth shut and just tried to deal with it. After a while, my homeroom teacher noticed I'd been acting differently, so she reached out to me. I didn't want to stir things up, so I told her to leave me alone. But then she told me, silence in the face of injustice is complicity. If your gut tells you something's wrong, why not fight back, she asked. That was the push I needed to change my attitude. I've fought back ever since. I got all kinds of people involved. I asked around school for leads, I searched for the stolen stuff myself. And with that teacher's help, I was able to prove my innocence. That said, the whole mess drew a lot of negative attention, so I still wound up transferring. Ah, so that's why you transferred here at such an odd time. Honestly, I think the reason I get so worked up is because I'm actually a coward at heart. You? A coward? If we lived in the kind of world where corruption was free to flourish, it'd feel like everything I fought for was a waste. There'd be no reason to take a stand for what's right. That's the reality I'm afraid of. I simply can't allow it. No matter your reasoning, I think it's admirable. You're simply following your own sense of justice. Admittedly, that doesn't apply to what I do. <laughs> well, thanks. But I think you're wrong about yourself. The first time I ever saw you was pretty telling. I knew you're someone who does the right thing. Considering their numbers, you were really putting your life on the line there. Oh, that old story. I keep telling you, I just felt like it. Still, was I ever glad to meet you here? <laughs> it was almost like meeting another me. <sighs> so, what's the next move? Nakabachi's not confessing, and I doubt any of his cronies will either. Gotta find something else. Uh, Toshiro, you're sure? You think I can just slink out of here after all you've said? Plus, I need to keep an eye on you if you decide to go loose cannon. Besides... That must be your father's doing. I, for one, hope Representative Kasukabe has a long and fruitful career. Hmm. You'll see. I'll show him what I can do. Hey, why is it already over? Oh, what a week ending. Not even a preview of the next one? You guys do remember we're watching that guy's real life, right? So that's why. Whoa, it's weird when they sync up. What's the deal? <laughs> Uh, maybe I've seen one too many of Toshiro's memories. But, yeah. Those things that Ari had said? If we lived in the kind of world where corruption was free to flourish, that's the reality I'm afraid of. I simply can't allow it. I have to say, I'm not sure how we may be related. I'm scared that we're entering a world where corruption is free to flourish. And even worse, I'm scared of becoming someone who's okay with that. But 
I can tell she has the same feelings that I've had for as long as I can remember. I must admit, the two of you have a very strong drive towards justice. And at your own expense. Oh, you think so? In that case, I'm even more puzzled about the two of you now. I don't really know how to phrase it. But the more I think about how Toshiro's past may have some meaning for me, the more it's like... <sighs> yeah, I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Let's just keep moving for now. The answer must be right around the corner. Right, Toshiro? Yeah, I'm right there with you. Our next move should be securing the location of the last key. Let's shut up and get out of here! <sighs> I can't wait to curl up back at the hideout. Now where could that fourth and final key be hiding? Hmm, we found the others in the courtyard, the cafeteria, and the faculty room. guys could help out more since they know so much. We only need one more key to reach the Then we'll finally be free! Oh, lonesome... Your reign is coming to an end! They sure are fired up, even if we still can't hear who they're saying. Nakabachi was silencing the students through blackmail, yes. Perhaps this is how it's manifesting here. Lights out. Right, Toshiro? Yes, I imagine so. Then let's head for the rooftop. Since the enemies seem to be getting stronger as we press on, we should really be careful now. We've been walking for so long. How much further to the rooftop? The building certainly didn't look this huge from the outside. The distortions in this world are likely playing a part in the inconsistencies we're experiencing. Well, this is our last errand, yeah? Once we've got the four things, all we gotta do is kick that voice's butt. I'm particularly curious about the next memory we'll likely see. Toshiro and Eri seem to be in a rather difficult position. Yeah, you go, baby Toshiro! That lousy principal needs to learn a lesson himself! I certainly hope that's how it went. But I have my concerns there. Hmm? Why is that? As we've worked out already, this world is built for my own cognition. That's why Maria and Yoshiki were such awful monsters oppressing the citizens in their kingdoms. Which means if I truly was successful at putting a stop to Nakabachi's scheme, we wouldn't have been designated the ruler of this place. Nakabachi may have actually caused some sort of lasting trauma. So you're concerned about the possibility that things didn't end well? Unfortunately, the worst possible outcomes keep coming to mind. Toshiro, oh, that's... Is the future Prime Minister really scared of one crappy teacher? Just keep your chin up and you'll be fine. You're all grown now, aren't you? Ryuji, what's your deal? Look, I I've already got plenty of crappy memories from my time in school. It's a real long story, but I I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, it might suck to deal with, but what's done is done. You can try pretending something didn't happen, but it's just gonna keep chasing you anyway. So, you gotta face it no matter what. You do it right and move on. Sakamoto-kun, whatever the outcome, you needn't be afraid. Even if you find yourself about to fall, we'll be there to support you. So never second guess yourself. See your convictions through. You had to fight to get here, remember? I'm sure you're ready for this. You already made a promise to Yuki-san that you'd better keep, you hear me? That's all true. I want to... I have to get back to reality, no matter what might await us here. The only way I can do that is by confronting and overcoming my past. 
Yeah, quit raking yourself over the cold. Since the moment we met these folks, they've been constantly saving our necks. Both yours and mine. I'd say we're pretty dang lucky finding solid comrades like them. Quite true. So let's grab the bull by the horns and get my memories back. Now that we're of one mind on this, I suppose all that's left is to name the operation. Right. And we're gonna call it... Operation, operation Blazing Impulse! Uh, hmm? uh, huh? Huh? Oh, brother. Let's move out. Our destination is the rooftop. If we keep pressing on, we're bound to reach it eventually. Hey, this is it. The rooftop's just through that door there. Here goes nothing. Everybody ready? Sure am. I'm raring to whip some enemy tail. I'm opening it now. <sighs> ah, there it is! The creepy door to hell we're after! I wonder if this rooftop has something to do with Toshiro's past as well. That I do not know. All I'm sure of is that we'll have our answer once we go through that door. Resolved to see this through. Thanks to my comrades standing with me. I will never back down to you. No matter what my past may be, I must know the truth. Ah, cocky little. I'll make you eat your words. You'll wish you could run and hide. <laughs> Talk about weak. The one who sounds like he wants to run and hide. Cheap exit lines like his are the telltale sign of a scrub enemy. I suppose it's a sign that we have him cornered. We should strike while the iron is hot. Okay, time to grab the fourth thing. Whatever it might be. Ready for this one? <laughs> yes. All right, I've come to your little meeting. So what are we doing here, hmm? Ah, perhaps you intend to apologize for your insubordination. <laughs> I see. Well, I'm just glad we're all ready to move beyond this. Shut your mouth. Nakabachi, I'll give you one final chance. Turn yourself into the police. Confess what you've done to this school. Hmm. I see now. More of this again? I must say, I'm rather disappointed. Do you realize just how much clout I have in this school? One word from me, and I'll have a whole row of people waiting to do my bidding. 
It'd be entirely too easy to get two measly troublemakers expelled for constantly slinging baseless accusations. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Both of your futures will be ruined. I don't care what happens to me. But you? I know what you deserve, and I'm going to make sure you get it. I won't lie to myself again. I'm going to fight for what I know is right. <laughs> what are you rambling about? Okay. Come out, everyone. Uh, what? Well, you all... What are you doing here? Sir, I... I can't do this anymore. I hate living like this. Spying on people and betraying my friends. Everyone here has agreed to do whatever it takes to see you arrested and charged. The very idea. S seriously Don't forget that I have evidence of each one of your misdeeds. If you betray me, I promise I'll completely ruin your future. I don't care if the school finds out anymore. I'll accept my fate, whatever it turns out to be. Kurano-kun? You too? And what of graduating? How do you plan to attend college with that penniless family of yours, huh? Speak for yourself already. You're the one who's to blame for everything in the first place. If you hadn't been such a... such a delinquent. You're right. I made a big mistake. But I shouldn't have covered it up. And for that... I need to make amends. The student council president and Matsuhara-san came to us time and time again about this. Every time, they pleaded with us to do the right thing, explaining why it matters so much to them. Thanks to them, I learned something important. It's better to fight for yourself than to live in fear of your own weaknesses and of the consequences. From now on, I'm going to live my life honestly. Kurano-san. Ha! I don't have to stand here and listen to this childish prattling. And none of this is proof. Tell me what proof you have that I've done anything wrong. Emails containing your orders to students, call logs, even the school financial ledger. Your victims supplied us with all of it. And above all else, we have the victims' testimonies. Every person here is turning you in. You said victims' testimonies? You absolute lowlives. You think you can play the victim card now? It'll take more than that to do me in. There are all sorts of excuses I could cook up to get away with this. <laughs> I'll use every one of my connections if that's what it takes to ruin you kids. <sighs> I certainly didn't expect this to go so well. Huh? See this? I've taken the liberty of recording this conversation. A first-party confession. The only proof we need. Uh... Uh... I'm done for. All this effort... for nothing. <laughs> Way to go, man! Knock that out of the park! Right. I remember. The rebellion actually worked. Soon after we exposed him for what he was, Nakabachi was booted from the school. Yes, I would call that poetic justice. Quite the fascinating finale. Plus, that means the phony on the PA has been full of it this whole time. That asshole has been posing as this place's ruler for too long! I'm not so sure. If he's not the ruler, how could he influence the cognitive world to this degree? Yes, even if the rebellion was successful, something always could have happened afterwards. Huh. So Nakabachi is dealt with, anything could arise. Better ensure we're well prepared. I'm sensing an incoming plot twist. But for now, I'll just be taking that. That should do it. We have all four of the keys now.
Although none of them actually turned out to be keys. What the... They're all glowing! Whoa, they turned into... They all turned into a single old key. And it has a label tag. Music room. I suppose the music room is where the ruler's been hiding? Toshiro, you said Nakabachi was a music teacher, right? Yes, that's right. Then I think I know what comes next. Let's head back to the hideout first. We should update the club members. We're back! And we've got your key! What? Did you really? Here. This is it, right? Oh, this is it! The long-desired music room key! Well done, you lot! With that in hand, victory is essentially ours! Yeah! Now we'll have no choice but to let us go! My Rebel Corps comrades, are you ready to complete our mission? You bet we are! It's time to finish this rebellion! Let's bring the hammer down on that tyrant! sure are worked up now, aren't they? Well, think about how long they've been locked up here. Kinda hard to blame them for being so hyped to fight, don't you think? At any rate, we're finally ready to face down the ruler of this kingdom. Folks, we better stay on our toes from here on. Yes, Morgana's right. Let's only head out once we're ready. As always, be as thorough as possible with the prep work. I must share with you immediately. If possible, please come to the Velvet Room right away. Hey, what's up? Forgive me for calling you here with such urgency. I felt it necessary that you hear this from me as soon as you were able to come. I'm afraid it's something of an ill omen. Yes. Perhaps you recall our previous conversation about the Velvet Room's alterations? How the cause of said anomaly is likely some outside force? This remains true to my knowledge. However, I recently sensed that the might behind this force has suddenly surged. <sighs> All I can say at this time is that it is a looming presence of great maleficence. The Velvet Room is indelibly linked with the heart of the guest. Under normal circumstances, no external influence should be able to alter this place. Tread carefully, Trickster. Your enemy is no standard adversary. You are concerned for my well-being? Well, rest assured, I will overcome any adversity to be by my guest. With no information about our enemy, we appear to be in a situation akin to wandering about on a dark, moonless night. However, this room as well as what future awaits you, lies entirely in your hands. I will, of course, continue supporting you the best I can. Please, never forget the power you hold. <laughs> I suppose that was unnecessary for someone with so much experience overcoming incredible obstacles. A path will surely open for you, as long as the flame in your heart continues to burn brightly. With that said, we shall meet again when the time has come. So, what did Miss Lavenza want? It must have been important for her to go out of her way to summon you. Oh, really? 
really. An omen, huh? We still don't know what's getting to Lavenza, though. Better keep our guard up. All we know is that it's more powerful now. I wonder why. Well, it's not like we can do anything about it now, right? They got a problem with us. They'll eventually show their faces and their asses for us to kick. And there's the jock's take on the issue. Although, I actually agree. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, we finally have the key that will allow us to reach this kingdom's ruler. Perhaps we should focus on that while keeping this ambiguous warning in the back of our minds. Good idea! Let's get out there and finish this! Ready to head out now. All that's left is taking down the enemy leader. Here we are. My comrades! After great pains, we have finally reached the decisive moment! To battle! We'll show that swine the punishment he deserves! Man, they're really ready to tear it up in there. At least they're on our side. <sighs> What's wrong, Arena? Worried about the fight? Huh? Oh, sorry. Am I that obvious? I was just thinking about how there's no turning back once we open this door. Oh, are you getting cold feet now? I didn't like you at all. No, I don't have a problem with the fight. More like I've got butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> Maybe it's just pre-fight jitters after all. I'm sure they'll go away soon. There's no telling what's in there, but at least we know we have some advantages. Morale's through the roof on average, and we've got experience with the fights in these creepy rooms. We've just got one more fight left anyway, right? We're close to the curtain call. Let's make an effort to close this out with a flourish. Right. It's high time we finish this. No matter what history has in store for me, I'm prepared to accept it. Let's go. Yes, I'm ready when you are. We've made it this far. There's no reason we can't see this through. Yeah, we can do this. All of us, together. All right, here we go. were exposed to the public. Our rebellion was a success. Every last one of your spies flipped on you. Ha <laughs> ha! What are you on about? You don't truly believe you did the right thing by putting together your little uprising, do you? Of course I do. If we hadn't taken a stand, we'd be... We'd... We'd be... I'm all right now. Justice is on our side! The revolution is nigh! We will purge the evil from this place! Time to settle the score! <sighs> I've heard enough of this racket! Don't you losers realize you're merely reaping what you sowed? But it's your job to teach children right from wrong! Instead, all you did was exploit their situations for your own gain! Shut up! Rats can't even cook up a single variation of your immature theme. Listen well, oh dear pupils. Some say society functions like a song. That people are supposed to compliment one another for a common cause. And that is absolute nonsense! 
people climb the social ladder using the backs of others. It's a simple concept. How can you fail to comprehend this? This guy refuses to change his tune. You extorted students for your own gain, lording over the school as you pleased. If we must punish you again, then we will. Yes, I'll reprise my role from before. Nakabachi, I will show you the error of your ways once more. You heard the man. You're about to get it, slime bag. There are those who rule, and those who are ruled. How do you not recognize this familiar tune? How much lecturing does it take to get through to you nitwits? Initializing training curriculum. Commencing instruction. What the hell? Robot incoming! I wonder what its specs are. Well, wonder how the heck we're gonna deal with it. We just gotta get down to business. Here it comes! Did we do it? You gotta ask? You know we won! Nice going, Toshiro! Yeah, you weren't too shabby back there. Not on my level, of course, but who is? Huh. I see. So it's over. We did it. We did it! Oh, we finally got Toshiro into hype mode! Toshiro stood up for himself and fought that battle on his own terms. Given his situation, he must be awfully relieved that we pulled it off. It's finally over! We've got the mastermind within our grasp! The struggle has reached the turning point! Prepare for your final punishment! Damn you, Toshiro Kasukabe! How many times must you get in my way? As many as it takes. I have no problem standing up for what's right anymore. That's right. So why don't you make things easier for yourself and give up already? <laughs> I'm done for. I'm done for! <laughs> Is that what you hope to hear? <gasps> Correct me if I'm wrong, but you, you seem, seem to be having, having a right good time, time eh? It's laughable to put all the blame on this man and play the revolutionary game. It's high time you remembered your crime, your truth. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> hey, did you hear about Nakabachi? I sure did. You know, there was this one time he gave me a real skeevy look. Get this! The old coot doc points off my overall grade for insubordination. Hey, doesn't that mean we're victims of his too? Yeah, we ought to hold him accountable. We're gonna get, get you, out Nakabachi. Here, you coward. Nakabachi! We're coming You're gonna for get you! It now. Hm. Uh. Don't be so down, Toshiro. Uh, not that I don't know how you feel. Things were going fine enough until we talked the other students into confronting Nakabachi. After we got them all on board, we wound up with the entire school going after him. 
By the end, even students with their own questionable allegations were calling for his head. Honestly, I'd have to be either stupid or cruel for this to not affect me. That's true. I'm sorry. No, I'm not blaming you at all. The people I blame are the ones forming a lynch mob for the man. I hear some students even chased him into his own home, harassing him for all sorts of stupid stuff. They blamed him for things like their deserved detentions or whatever excuses they spun up for their poor grades. All we wanted was for him to face proper judgment for the crimes he committed. It sounds like Nakabachi's been holed up in his house, except when he's summoned for questioning. Some people say he's cracking up from the pressure. Honestly, I'm starting to think I was wrong about the average person's self-control. You try to find the right words to convey what's ethical, but ultimately you can't get through to them. Toshiro, it's too soon to give up. Let's try talking it over with everyone again tomorrow, okay? Yes, good idea. This is our responsibility. Let's do everything we can until it's actually over. Yeah. Thanks, Toshiro. As long as we do this together, I'm sure we can pull it off. We'll turn this around. Senpai. The express train will be arriving momentarily. Please remain behind the yellow line. guy doing <laughs> Right. I was... Oh, what's the matter, Toshiro? You seem distressed. I thought you had no problem standing up for what's right. Hmm? Stop it! Ugh. I don't believe that I will. Remember how good it felt when you had Nakabachi on the ropes? A righteous crusade to topple an unjust ruler? A banner of justice to unite those who were wronged? Why don't you face reality? You sick the lynch mob on Nakabachi, and because of your actions, Natsuharu was... Stop it! Please! Stop! Nakabachi, your classmates, even Natsuhara, I can only imagine how much they resent you. I must say, watching you march in here, utterly oblivious to what you did, was an absolute riot! <laughs> you miscreant! What's your goal here? Perhaps you should focus on yourselves, phantom thieves of hearts. You do realize you're partly to blame for Toshiro's sordid situation, correct? No matter the name, a thief is a thief. And believe me when I say your childish ideas have sent the world down a ruinous path. Oh, how intimidating! I'm guessing you plan on forcing me to submit to your so-called rebellion. Spare us the lecture. You've got a problem with us. Face us yourself. No, no, no need to rush. There's still more to tell of this sordid tale. We'll meet again soon. Once the full truth comes to light. The full truth? That is, of course. Only if that spineless louse of a man still has the will to fight afterwards. Until then, I'll be waiting for you with the source of all this pain. Damn it! The hell was that about? Uh, hey, guys! Irina's missing! Source of pain. Did that have something to do with Irina? 
Then, from the sounds of things, I think he might have kidnapped her. Then we have to save her! Let's go find her before... Hey, you. We were looking for you. Wait, what? We've got you. We finally got you! You. It's you! Hey, chill out! You guys aren't making any sense. How can you say that? The ruler of this world, the source of all evil, is finally before us! Huh? Seriously, what's happening? We've got you now! You're the one who drove us to ruin! Toshiro Kasukabe! I thought Nakabachi was the ruler of this kingdom. If only we could finally be rid of him. Get over here, Kasukabe! Yeah, it's all his fault! I didn't do anything wrong! That bastard Toshiro! He ruined everything all for himself! If that slime ball hadn't goaded us, we wouldn't have... Prepare yourself! You're going to pay for your crimes! Damn it! What the hell is going on? Roger that. First we get through this. Then we'll go rescue Arena. Why are they attacking us now? Aren't we on the same side? I knew something was off. If the despised Nakabachi truly were this kingdom's ruler, and the others here haven't been following their roles properly. However, if the true ruler were the student council president, and not the deposed vice principal, you did this to us! It's all your fault! You ruined us! And not to Harasan too! Stop it! Stop it! Eri, how are things? Oh, it's fine. Or I guess I just can't tell the difference anymore. More importantly, how did things turn out at school? Mm. Nakabachi was charged for his crimes. So were all the students who drove him to snapping. I see. Sounds like everyone got a crappy ending out of this, didn't they? And you? I'm sure this hasn't been easy on you, either. No. You don't have to lie. Anyone with half a brain would guess that the kids who got punished are blaming us for it. And you're the only one at school who they can vent at now. It's all right. Sorry. Huh? I'm sorry, Toshiro. I'm just... so sorry. It's my fault. If it weren't for me... Don't say that. It's not like you. The area I know would never give up, no matter what we were facing. Come on, where's that... Carefree attitude of yours. We'll start the next chapter. That's what you'd say, right? I'm sorry, Toshiro. But I just... can't fight anymore. Yeah. It's all coming back. Remember... everything. It's all right. I'm not off my rocker yet. I just... I can't believe what a fool I was. I became so intoxicated by righteousness that I only made the situation worse. And I got people hurt. As if that weren't bad enough, I came this close to making the same disastrous mistakes again. I am truly a fool beyond redemption. Hey! Hey, you sound pathetic right now, Pops! You know Arena's in trouble, right? Is this really the time to be spacing out? Yes. You're right. Phantom Thieves, I have a favor to ask. Would you just... leave me here? It's not like I'm going to be of much use to you anyways. Now is not the time for jokes. Yusuke's right. Besides, if you stay in a place like this... If it's what's meant to be... Then so be it. <gasps> <laughs> Who knows how many people I've hurt. All because I convinced myself I was doing the right thing. 
You all saw my past, didn't you? You saw how it all ended. Well, I'm not strong enough to laugh off those scars. How am I going to live with myself if I take a stand again? I'll only end up hurting all of you this time. Uh, it was all a mistake! At this point, I'd rather just... Ah. Oracle? I know what it's like to be so sick and tired of everything that you almost want to die. But even if you're in a dark place, you promised your mom, didn't you? To call that a mistake would be... Just don't say you want to run from it all by dying. Sakura-kun. I believe... Pressing on now would be a fool's errand. Yeah... It might be best for us to go back to the hideout for now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like we thought. They're all gone now. What was their problem anyway? Attacking us out of the blue like that? I'm guessing they were created from Toshiro's memories of students who he inspired to rebel. At first, it seemed like they were divided between those who stood up to Nakabachi versus those who obeyed him. But really, both groups could be classified as people holding grudges against Toshiro-san. Yeah, but isn't that their own fault for pushing Nakabachi into a corner? I mean, it's not like Toshiro was responsible for his breakdown. In the end, maybe everyone was just looking for a scapegoat. It seems like sometimes, human beings can't help but to pin their problems on others. I won't say anyone in particular is to blame, but that was a rough ending for Toshiro, no doubt about it. I hope he's alright. He hasn't said anything in a while now. Ah, jeez. Fine. Let me go give him a pep talk and a mid- yeah! uh, Hold on, Ryuji. <laughs> mm. Mm? Mm. One cup of LeBlanc's finest. Your favorite, remember? Not that it compares to what he or the boss can whip up. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Bitter. Add some sugar then. Also, <laughs> sorry for hitting you. No, don't be. I deserved it. I'm a fully grown adult and I threw a childish tantrum. I'm sorry for the trouble. Don't mention it. I only lent my assistance because Futaba told me she needed help making. <laughs> You've got some loose lips, Inari! I want to apologize to all of you as well. Before you do that, I think we need to apologize as well. After all, we're the ones who pushed you to go there in the first place. About what happened to you in the past? I know it'd be unfair to say we know how you feel. But in the end, you were just pushing for what you believed was right, weren't you? No one could have predicted things would turn out the way they did. Everyone makes mistakes, and we're certainly no exception. But we do make a point of not having regrets about the actions we take. Actually, maybe we're like Natsuhara, the girl from your past. We just don't want to see them as mistakes. Yeah, I guess so. Not that we know if that's the right thing to do either. Take a stand, I falter, then I get discouraged, and you all come to pick me back up. Only for me to falter again. I'm supposed to be a proper adult, but I keep getting stuck in this cycle. No, it's actually kind of a relief finally seeing the truth. Whether child or adult, there will always be setbacks and growth. There is no human who possesses a perfect heart. Mm-hmm. People can't move forward if they don't put the past behind them. I think I'll just take your word for it. So, what's the plan? We're fine with you sticking around the hideout if that's what you want. No. Please, let me come with you. I'm not so bold as to claim I'll be able to handle anything that may come my way. But right now, I don't want to run. I need to stick it out if I want to be true to myself. <laughs> Roger that. Okay, then it's full steam ahead. Sakura-kun. 
you saved me from breaking my promise with my mother. If I ever make a fool of myself again, feel free to knock some sense into me a second time. Oh, sure! Leave it to me! I'll make your head swell up like a takoyaki! <laughs> a takoyaki? Well, there you have it. It seems I'll be in your care a short while longer. I know how this sounds after the display I just put on. I won't betray your trust again. Now that that's settled, we need to go rescue Arena, stat. Morgana's right. It's also high time we settled things with whoever's pulling the strings around here. That said, where do we begin our search? There isn't anyone left who could offer us a lead. I keep scanning as far as I can reach, but I still haven't gotten any hits. I have a hunch as to where he may be. This place is truly connected to events in my past, and there's only one place left for us to go. Also, it may just be my gut feeling, but I can sense that Arena is there. I'll lead the way, if you'd like. I'm very worried about her. Let's depart the moment you're ready. After all. Is this a student council room? I don't know what that fiend's plotting, but this is the place I was most attached to as a student. It's also where I spent the most time with Aerie. So it's the perfect place for him to play his sick mind games with you again, huh? How are you doing, Toshiro? Honestly, I'm on the brink of falling apart. I can't guarantee I won't lose it again. I'm sure he'll smack some sense into me if it happens, right? Yeah! I'll even sprinkle some seaweed and bonito shavings on you! That sounds delicious! Maybe we can add some basil sauce too? Personally, I think red pickled ginger is a must-have. Is it really that fun to imagine me as a piece of food? In any case... I can no longer sincerely claim that I'm firm in my convictions. But that being said, I'm not going to run either. That's where I'm at right now. That's okay. Honestly, we're all in the same boat here. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're immune to fear. Like Irina said, whenever one of us feels stuck, we need to step in and provide support. That's all there is to it. Thank you. Now let's get going. We'll save Arena, and I'll settle the score with my past. Something's real off about this place. Everyone, over there! <sighs> Arena! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to see you. How many times must I repeat myself? Who the hell are you? Who am I? My, what a surprise! You of all people should already know. I am the embodiment of your sin. I'm you, Toshiro. Me? <laughs> so, have you finally remembered everything, Toshiro? <sighs> Do you recall the crime you committed? Uh, wait, is that...? He looks just like Toshiro! Don't tell me! A twin would be unlikely, right? Agreed. Then this guy must be Toshiro's shadow? So, our fated encounter is finally upon us. We meet at last, my other self. You remember it all now, don't you? Being nothing more than a mindless puppet at your fiancé's beck and call. Killing your mother by dragging her out on a selfish whim. And then masquerading as a hero of your school, only to send you. 
depths of despair. All of these are sins you decided to deny. Isn't that right? Shut up! You know, Toshiro, I pity you. All of your pain and suffering is because of her, Eri Natsuhara. And this girl, the lingering husk of her dream. Think you're doing to arena stop it don't you dare touch her don't touch her you want me to leave her alone do you don't lie to me be honest toshi you despised her didn't you you went through hell all on account of her silly ideals trust me i know i do after all so rejoice your wish is about to be granted. Haven't you realized by now, Toshiro? What? Huh? What's going on? Uh, uh, is this... <laughs> the incessant pain and suffering you have endured. It's all because of her! This girl truly is your inescapable curse. Where are we? What's going on? Do you finally understand now? One to blame for your pathetic life. One full of cowed obedience. Stop! I said stop! How about we change that course for you now? I'll take this curse called Harry Natsuma and teach her so eternally. Yeah! Let's go, guys! Yeah! yeah! I strangle this rebel filth. <laughs> Take it, Toshiro! Huh? Wasted effort. He won't be fighting back any longer. Now, for the finishing touch. Be grateful, Toshiro. After this, you'll never make the same foolish mistake again. <laughs> Die, you accursed husk of Eri Natsuhara! Toshiro. <laughs> Remember how it actually ended. What we did wasn't a mistake.
But I just can't fight anymore. Still, though, you shouldn't regret what we have done. Huh? You see, Kurano-san came by earlier. Kurano? You mean the whistleblower? She apologized over and over. She really feels guilty for the way things turned out. Apparently, she told the school about her part-time job. Said she wishes she'd done it sooner. <laughs> I knew it. We never should have. But she also said she's grateful. <sighs> she said she's in a much better place than if she'd done nothing and let Nakabachi go on using her. Her exact words were, Thank you so much. Seriously. Oh. Toshiro? You need to see her know our point of view. I won't say we handled it all the right way, but... Deciding to stand up to Nakabachi, I know in my heart that wasn't a mistake. As for me, I may not be fighting by her side for a while. But if you can find a way to keep fighting, to hold on to that will for change instead of regretting it, then I promise I'll catch back up to you one day, and we'll keep making this world better. Natsuhara, senpai. So, at the very least, that's what I want to do. You're your own person, with your own future to find. But, I know your heart. One day you're going to... <sighs> the hope she placed in you, it's still right here. So please, please, stand up, Toshiro! Stand up! I take care of business! You 
Your disgusting lies won't work on me. Uh, that's right. I'm... You seem to have found your resolve. All manner of suffering can lead your heart astray. But a kindled flame can withstand any strife in this world. And with this, we begin the next chapter. I am now, thou art I. Now, call my name! <laughs> Rebellion is here. The rebellion within my heart. Ah! What have you done? What the hell have you done? Your attitude has certainly changed. Where's all that cockiness of yours? <laughs> you should watch your tongue, Toshiro. This form is not enough to cow you. Perhaps your greatest failure will. He's gone? No, he's still close! Don't let your guard down, people! Is this an earthquake? It's not. sure you get it! Phantom Thieves! Let's go! Yes! yes! <sighs> it's finally over. At least for now. Toshiro! And... Irina? Hmm? Hey, guys. Uh, I'm glad we won and all, but what the hell just happened? Yes, we could use some help getting caught up. In that case, I'll explain what I can. Granted, I only understand so much. Did something come back to you? Yeah. I was made from Toshiro's heart. No, technically, I'm more like a manifestation of his heart. 
For some reason, human cognition can lead to the physical materialization of their own heart in the metaverse. Shadows, personas, cognitive beings, all these originate within the human heart. But in your case, despite checking all the boxes, you aren't exactly any of those. <sighs> but, but she definitely seemed to be Toshiro's persona a second ago. Now she's back to the arena we know, through and through. I admit, I have no idea how relevant your past experience is to my own situation. But what I do know is, I serve as the core of Toshiro's heart. My reason for existence is to protect it. Protected from who, exactly? Maria and... <clears throat> no, I think it's actually something more powerful. We don't know his true identity, but he's been awfully dedicated to torturing me in particular. I believe he's someone who especially didn't want me awakening to my power. Whoa, what's that? <gasps> Look, up there! Toshiro-san abandons the power of his awakened persona. 
you'll get rid of his memories of this world and send him back to the real world. Do we think? Furthermore, my offer is not limited to him. The path of salvation is an invitation I extend to all of you. Though you may be infidels who have the audacity to defy a god, I trust this world has been edifying. Here, you witness the folly of running into the flames of battle, brandishing nothing but discordant values. Your... Now, meet me hasty. The intoxication of a fleeting victory has clouded your senses. I shall be waiting to hear your true verdict at a different venue. Hey, who said you could just... Uh? That way, bag. <laughs> sure loves to hear itself talk, huh? If I'm understanding, it's saying if we stand out and surrender, it'll send us back to the real world, right? Yep, I'd say that was the gist. Real generous of you, buddy. I know what it said was ridiculous, but can't deny the feats it's pulled off so far. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but I think its power is the real deal. That's awfully pessimistic of you, Arena. I guess that's true. Maybe I am feeling some uneasiness. According to Salmael, I'm the reason this whole thing happened in the first place. Not that I think everything it said was true, but I won't say I wasn't bothered by it either. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Toshiro, I'm trying to be serious here. I'm just saying, meeting the head honcho seems to have made you unusually meek. But hey, perhaps you intend to accept this gracious offer of salvation? No, that's not what I... Uh... If you have a goal you believe in, then you keep moving forward. And if it means no one, you'll get hurt. That's what you and everyone else taught me. Well, sounds like Joshiro has decided on his answer. That's right. It'll take more than a bit of lecturing to make us have a change of hearts. I agree. I don't see salvation as throwing away everything we've done so far either. If we were willing to settle for a deal like that, we wouldn't be the Phantom Thieves. I don't think that's changed since we came to this world. In fact, I think we're even more firm in our resolve now. Honestly, I don't quite understand the nature of this new power I've awakened. The one thing I'm certain of is that you're the physical manifestation of the courage inside me. And nothing some egotistical god says is going to change that. Oh, Shiro. You're right. Thanks. Hey, way to go, Toshiro! What'd you learn to talk the talk, huh? But I think we have our decision now, don't you think? Okie dokie! Time to wrap this thing up, leader! Joker, I couldn't have made it this far without you. Your confidence means the world to me. So, will you fight me? Till the end? I couldn't ask for a better set of allies. Hell yeah! Time to fry up this salmon jerkwad! Wait, how are we even gonna reach the thing? Um, up? That doesn't really help us. Is that a train? Morgana. Uh, is she an acquaintance of yours? From talking cats to blue children, 
You sure have an eclectic bunch of acquaintances, don't you? Excuse me, but please refrain from making peculiar characterizations of people. Actually, let's save that for later. It seems to me that you all have a destination to get to. Should your will be resolute, I am willing to lend you my aid. I only ask that you make your decision while this room retains its present form. Room? Do you mean this train is... Indeed. This is but another manifestation of the Velvet Room. However, as for why it assumed its current form following its previous volatile state, frankly speaking, even I do not have that answer. While that does beg a plethora of concerning questions, this doesn't feel like the right time to raise them. So we'll be skirting across the night sky on a flying express line? What fun! Would you mind if I took a moment to sketch the train in its entirety? I would mind. Please board immediately. What? Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's get a move on! You got it! Full steam ahead! All right? Woo! Toshiro, do the thing! You know, choo-choo! You do realize that's not what a train actually sounds like, right? Don't be a spoil sport! Just do it! Choo-choo! Why are you doing it? We have some interesting characters in the fray now, don't we? Novel proposition, I should say. That's what you call hanging with the homies, is it not? But I think I will save that for when this is all over. We are now departing. Please exercise caution so you are not flung from the train. The train is en route to its destination. Please have patience while we wait for its arrival. You okay, man? Nerves still messing with you? Well, yes, a bit. I'm worried that we're headed to the final showdown without certain details being sorted out. I feel the same. There's still the question of Irina, and this world itself. Not to mention the fact that we're not even sure what exactly it is we're going to fight. I am not sure how much help I will be, but if you'd like, I can share with you what I know. Please be aware that this will involve a degree of speculation, but I should be able to provide some useful information. Actually, I should probably start by telling you about the root cause of our present circumstances first. I too have been conducting investigations into the nature of Salmael's existence. What I have found suggests it is the materialization of an instinct which exists subconsciously in the human heart. So do you mean it's a sort of malevolent god like Yaldabaoth? Unlike the god of control who was born from a collective yearning for idleness, Salmael is, how should I put this, a universal instinct that's burdened man since the beginning of time. I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to suffer. I don't want to die. Man's innate desire of self-preservation is another way to put it. One might call it a material embodiment of this instinct, born from an ocean of human subconsciousness. So, kind of like the personification of people's consciousness that goes, no! Right? Mm, when you put it that way, it doesn't sound so bad, but... Perhaps it was the passage of time, or perhaps it was a change in the nature of the human soul. In any case, a transformation occurred for the purpose of keeping pain at bay. Whether you consider the battles one fights to assert their convictions, or the will driving them towards their fruition, it seems to think that all potential sources of pain ought to be eradicated. If 
there is anything that does differentiate it from the God of Control, it is that Samael believes it is protecting humanity by eliminating individuals with ideologies it deems threatening. So, Salmael thinks it's protecting humanity, huh? Oh, good grief. That's one of the worst types to deal with. That means it'll do whatever it takes to destroy those it deems likely to cause people pain, correct? The words and actions it has exhibited thus far would seem to suggest so. Ah, oh, crap. Now I'm confused again. So, in simpler terms... Um... Well, this might not be perfectly accurate, but... Selmael's stated goal is to ensure that people don't get hurt or suffer. And in order to accomplish that, it came to the conclusion that any risk taken to fight for something is undesirable. Does that sound about right? Furthermore, given our nature as humans, there will always be those who take a stand to initiate change. And that gives Selmael an endless supply of people to stamp out for having these dangerous ideas. Dangerous ideas? In other words, they possess the will of revolution. A desire to take a stand against authority. So, this time around, Toshiro fits the bill, huh? That would seem to be the case. Hmm. I'm very taken by this drawing here. Could I give my opinion on it? Maybe leave that for later. All right, that's enough about that. Now that we have a decent grasp on Salmael, what's next? Yes, though to be precise, I should clarify that's only half correct. Half correct? This place. It's a spiritual world ruled by Salmael. It was built using your cognition, Toshiro. In more succinct terms, this is a metaverse Salmael constructed to break your will. I have come to the conclusion that that is the most accurate way to describe it. That seems like a lot of trouble just to take me out. Under normal circumstances, it would have been able to erase your will simply by invading your mind. But a budding power to resist its domination had already taken root inside of you. Power to resist? Oh, I get it. You mean a persona? Precisely. The persona is an armor of rebellion, meant to resist those who would try to exert their influence over others. Like the Phantom Thieves, interfering with those who possess this power is no small task. And you're saying this power of the will had started to take root in me as well? It is quite plausible if there was something to trigger it. Anything happened to you recently that rings a bell? Like, you ever think, I'm having a birth of willpower, baby? That's quite a crude analogy. Oh! So it did help you think of one. It was the end of last year. Before I'd been undecided on whether to indict my father for his wrongdoings. And it was right around that time when you all hijacked the live TV broadcast. Here I was struggling to stand up to my father while you were boldly proclaiming your beliefs to the entire nation. When I thought about it that way, I felt inspired to show the same courage as you. As for what happened next, well, you already know that part. It is still only a possibility but a faint seed of power may have taken root within him then. Of course, a persona can be awakened in other ways too. I see. I think I'm starting to understand. Agreed. In other words, with ordinary people, Salmael is able to invade their minds whenever it pleases. But with Toshiro, the subtle emergence of a power to resist prevented it from interfering. These drawings are so, uh, <laughs> unique. I'm kind of at a loss here, but... <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. And additionally, Toshiro's son being able to resist Samael's power meant he posed an even greater threat. So it was willing to do whatever it took to snuff him out. And the moment it made the decision to eradicate my will for social change, it created this place. Yes. 
The metaverse we currently find ourselves in is called the Kingdoms. Salmael must have attempted to purge your will by using the memories which lay dormant in your heart. Well, I never would have guessed there was a war being waged inside my own mind. Even so, your subconscious was putting up a fight against Salmael's invasion from the very beginning. And amidst it all, it's very likely that's when you were born within Toshiro Kasukabe's spirit. Me? Just like Salmael used the individuals from Toshiro's memory as symbols of domination, there was another individual in Toshiro's heart who embodied the spirit of revolution. Mary. With your mind under attack, you subconsciously materialized Ari and entrusted your hope to her. This hope was the power of your persona, the thing that Salmael was trying to destroy before it fully formed. Hmm. So in effect, this is what you're saying, yes? Salmael created the kingdoms to try and quash the potential of Toshiro's power. In response, Toshiro's heart created Arena as a symbol of revolution and the keeper of his power. So every battle the Rebel Corps fought was ultimately an effort to protect Toshiro's will. Oh, not bad, Fox. <laughs> I can't let you take all the glory, can I? What are you trying to prove to her anyways? Things were looking pretty grim before the Phantom Thieves got here. So I'm not sure if I'd have lasted much longer. You had only a fraction of power, but it was also very faint. It stands to reason that you would be unable to stave off Salmael's invasion on your own. However, no matter how persistently Salmael attacked, it was never able to completely wither out your will. Thus, hitting the limits of its patience, Salmael opted for a last resort. That is when it must have dragged the real Toshiro Kasukabe into this metaverse. Fiance, my father, and my imposter. Each one of my traumas trying to corner me. It wasn't able to break Toshiro's heart with Arena defending it, so it went for the throat instead. Ugh, seriously? Using a person's memories to try and break them down emotionally is some real sick stuff. You got that right. For the people? Who's it kidding? But that didn't go according to plan either, did it? No, it did not. Therefore, it would stand to reason that Salmael is also in a difficult position. The fact that it showed itself would seem to indicate the intention to settle things with its own hands. Which means we're in for a head-to-head -head fight, right? Yes, you have the general idea. I know we went through all this relatively quickly, but we will be arriving shortly. I will be happy to answer any more questions to the best of my ability after we arrive. Thank you, Miss Lavenza. To put it plainly, the enemy is yet another nosy god wannabe. It's not going to be an easy fight, but when has that ever stopped the Phantom Thieves? Pardon me. We will be arriving momentarily, everyone. Are all your preparations in order? Hell yeah! Bring it on! I would have liked to enjoy this pleasant train ride a bit longer, but I suppose that will have to wait until we clean up this mess. Our morale couldn't be higher. Onwards! No cause for concern, I see. Very well. I will take us right in. Huh? Safely. Please, watch your step getting off. Excuse me, but is that what you call safe? The world did three whole rotations. I'm dizzy. S sorry, could I get a bag or something? Ugh. Anyhow, it looks like we made it to the enemy's stronghold. 
Do you think Samael's waiting up ahead? Yes, but I wouldn't expect a warm reception. I would suggest going further only when amply prepared. This is the final battle. Let's get the win and stop this nutcase for good. Yeah, and I'll settle the score with my past once and... You don't make it easy to have a cool exit, do you? By the look on your face, I take it there is still something on your mind. I am more than happy to shed some light on your understanding of the situation, if you would like. Of course. So what would you like to discuss first? As I told you before, this is the Velvet Room, but with an altered appearance. The appearance of the Velvet Room will change depending on the visitor's state of mind. But typically, once an appearance has been determined, a second transformation should not be possible. Therefore, I believe this world and Salmael are responsible for the current aberration from the norm. Is this related to what you said before? About the room being unstable? from within a state of limbo. I presume its current appearance is only temporary. It seems safe to assume so. Between the interference of Salmael, the growth of your own heart, and the will of Toshiro Kasukabe, the present appearance is likely the result of these irregularities happening all at once. That makes sense. Well, at any rate, having this train has been a major convenience. For now, let's just be grateful for it. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? Salmael was the entity responsible for creating this world in Toshiro Kasukabe's heart. This much I told you already, correct? going on with Marie and all the Legionnaires? How'd they actually come to be? Because they didn't seem like shadows to me. Those who reigned as rulers were created from memories and images. They were idols Salmael conjured for the purpose of emotionally cornering Toshiro Kasukabe. I believe you have all witnessed an entity being born from an unintentional breakdown of cognition before? You mean from Futaba's palace, right? The cognitive form of her mother. In actuality, they were fragments of Salmael's own existence, with the visual appearances of their real-world selves. So all that time, they were treating Toshiro like their plaything, when they were the actual puppets all along, huh? Wait, does that mean the Legionnaires were this way too? Yes. But unlike their rulers, it seems like Salmael used shadows that were drifting in the subconscious sea. And in order to force those shadows to submit to its will, it absorbed them. The power crystals that appeared when the Legionnaires were defeated were likely remnants of this process. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? case is another extremely rare one. A cognitive presence, a persona, a shadow. It may be best to think of her as a being that shares attributes with all of these. Meaning... Toshiro Kasukabe created Irina when his will and the power within his heart were struggling to be heard. She was the embodiment of Toshiro's feelings of hope revolution, and resistance. When you describe it like that, she sure does sound a lot like a cognitive being. Subconsciously, 
Toshiro entrusted her with his power. The seed of a persona, figuratively speaking. One could say that while in this state, she was a cognitive being with an inner persona. Typically, personas and shadows are two sides of the same coin. And the entity known as Irina carried the light and darkness of Toshiro's heart. So she was born from cognition, but she's also Toshiro's persona. Which would explain why Irina is still herself even after she awakened to her power. Furthermore, even though this area may have been conquered, a portion of it remains connected to people's hearts. A possibility remains that the events that took place here had a subconscious effect on the real Eri Natsuhara's heart. No. <sighs> but, again, this is all speculation on an exceptional circumstance and exclusive to this specific situation. It would be disingenuous of me to go on about theories I cannot substantiate. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? Thank you very much, Miss Lavenza. I feel like it's all making a lot more sense to me now. Well, if I was able to be of assistance, then I could not ask for anything more. Now then, this is as far as the train can take you. Please proceed on your own from here. Good luck facing Salmael. Fortunately, despite the change in appearance, the Velvet Room has retained its usual functions. I shall be able to assist you with Persona Fusions and the like whenever necessary. That's a huge help, Miss Lavenza. What would we do without you? Okay, I say we'd better prep for battle before moving out. here just screams ambush. What do we have here? Did you all really just come waltzing in like schmucks again? That voice. I won't let you get away from me this time. Toshiro! Oh crap, Marie? What are you doing back from the dead? This isn't her. She's presumably an illusion Salmael conjured up to rattle Toshiro's Toshiro! Toshiro! You're a piece of trash. You can't do anything on your own. You think rebelling now will do you any good? You're nothing but a wind-up doll. Give it up already! There's no point! Say what you want, but you're wasting your time. I can walk on my own two legs now. So I'm taking this will of mine, and I'm ending my relationship with you. Shut up, shut up! You think you can defy me and get away with it? You piece of crap! Trash! Dumb! You're my marionette! Right? Yes, you are! You have to be! Is it just me, or has her vitriol gone up a notch? I'm rich and famous! I'm a master, not a slave! Lonely peasants! Grovel before me! Just because you have money, just because you have power, you have no right to keep people down! Let's go, everybody! This is a fight we can't lose! Oh! So we meet again, disgraceful miscreant of a son. I knew it. Next up is... Oh. Do you still intend to defy me, Toshiro? Struggle all you like. A louse like you is incapable of changing a thing. Ah! There he is again! Yeah, but totally not surprising. Just how desperate is Salmael anyways? You squandered your father's love and murdered your mother. Grace of a son, the embodiment of shamelessness. And you're not seeing anyone. You're not accomplishing anything. Accept this and bow before me. 
you, I am tolerant. Repent now, and I will still forgive you. I said start rubbing that forehead against the floor, you bastard! Now! Immediately! Hurry up, dammit! Father, you're right about one thing. I used to follow your orders without question. I hid my weakness and followed the path others laid for me. That's all I knew how to do. But I made the decision to change. And now, I'm going to prove it to you. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! An idiot! Ruin proof, eh? Very well. I gave you a chance to surrender, but so be it! Now, the second time, I'll you in my warm love and beat you to a bloody pulp! I'll crush you and grind you to bits! Looks like someone's finally had one glitch too many. Toshiro won't lose to a jerk of a dad like you. We're gonna teach you a lesson you should have learned a long time ago. In this mad comedy wrought by fate's fancy, the curtain shall fall with this final confrontation. My love grows wings! It's showtime, Joker. Let's do this! Here, aren't you? Show yourself. <laughs> so, you still intend to continue that callow charade you call a revolution? Wine all you like. It's not going to get you anywhere. Your words won't reach Toshiro anymore. Mouth! Parasitic vermin of Toshiro's heart! Oh, but that's an apt description of you, isn't it? Some of you talking like a big shot. More than a miserable puppet, dancing to the tune of Eri Natsuhara's absurd idealism. This time around, I'll free you from that miserable woman's chains. I think it's high time we let go of the past. Here and now, I'm going to prove our vow. I will fulfill the promise I made with Eri. Then it seems I have my own case to make. I'll prove to you how meaningless your filthy ideals truly are. This is one fight we won't lose. Let's go! <laughs> Do you guys feel that? Isn't this... It would appear we've reached the end. The abyss where this so-called god resides. Samael is here, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> did you tell I'm a little nervous? After all this time, I think I finally get what it means to be scared. But I also have this feeling that I need to overcome this in order for me to continue being me. Win! Huh? What'd you say? Let's win and put an end to this. That's what I came here for, is what he says. Yeah, I don't think so. Pardon me. Anxiety had my mouth trembling a bit there. No matter the outcome, this is the last fight. I'm truly grateful to all of you for fighting by my side all the way here. Hey, it's a little early to be thanking us. Let's put an end to all this and have a laugh about it after, all right? Yeah, we gotta slap that phony busybody of a god with our formal rejection! We'll stay vigilant until the very end. Looks like it's making its entrance. Here it comes!
Give it up already, Samael. You can try all the petty tricks you like, but our hearts will never surrender. We've made our decision. We have no interest in your so-called protection. How oh, utterly woeful folly to think you could reject the pact to solace and prosperity of your own volition. Man, after all the shit you put people through, you still got the nerve to talk about peace? My pitiful children, do you not understand that I offer mankind salvation? You might see it as salvation. We call it sticking your big fat nose into other people's business. Couldn't have said it better myself. I'll choose my own path, thank you very much. You understand nothing. The very mode of thought exemplifies vanity, irreverence, and foolishness. I will acknowledge that you are considered the strong among mankind. But you are the exceptions, not the norm. Most humans are frail in mind and weak of will. You propagate your ideologies among the weak, fanning the flames of conflict while hiding behind shields of righteousness. Look at the result. Conflicts which embroil a myriad of people, bleeding casualties until eventually all meet their demise. And all the while these sacrifices are glorified in the name of distorted words, conviction, honor, ideals. <laughs> a pathogenic bacterium spreading the contagion of war. Left alone, you will bring about the end of human civilization. This world was created to eradicate such a serious disease. Furthermore, my will is the consensus of humanity. I urge you to submit to their wishes. Did you all hear that? Apparently, we're a disease. I do understand the point you're trying to make. It is true that reckless instigation of conflict can produce countless tragedies. But if one does nothing but run away from pain and suffering, we really call it living. Even in the most adverse circumstances, there will always be those who desire change. They are those who are willing to fight, even if it means to suffer. And perhaps their actions are motivated by their own ego, leading them to stray from the consensus of humanity. I want to extend my hand to them all the same. I want to be the kind of person who will fight alongside them. That is what I learned from the Phantom Thieves and Arena. This is my will. <clears throat> well, there you have it, old Salmi. We're gonna do things our own way from now on. Yeah, I may be an honor student, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you boss me around. If you're not gonna let us through, we'll just have to force our way in. It's not the first time we've gone against the so-called will of the masses. Call us infidels if you like. But be assured that no one will hinder our artistic vision. Considering you've just dismissed the majority of us as weak, I'd say you're the one who's looking down on humanity. Besides, you're wrong about us being the strong ones. All we did was take one step at a time. We did it together. You know, people aren't quite as strong or as weak as you make them out to be. You don't have to rule over them like this. They'll find a way to keep moving forward all on their own. I know better than anyone you can't be a shut-in just because you're scared of getting hurt. Whether you're supposed to be a god, an instinct, or whatever, I'm not cool with you forcing your beliefs down my throat. No matter how many times we came close to giving up, in the end, we've always stuck to our convictions. So if you think we're gonna fold to your consensus or whatever you wanna call it, you've got another thing coming. How lamentable. Oh, how I hear your screams. How I see your suffering. Well, it seems like a peaceful resolution is off the table. Twist your words however you want. We won't succumb to your absurdity. As the protector of his soul and as a warrior that fought alongside you all, I will defeat you and reform this world. 
such dreadful, truly a cry of lunacy. It pains me to use forcible means, but you leave me no choice. This is for the salvation all of humanity yearns for. For the prosperity of mankind, I will now eradicate you into non-existence. Whoa, nice going! Victory's ours! Jeez, Mona, don't jinx yourself! How could this body of mine be marred at the hands of those it was intended to protect? To think you dare go so far. No, 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 no. Serenity. In all the world, let there be serenity. Hey, uh, doesn't something seem kind of off? Looks like it's not over quite yet. Stay on your toes, everyone. of all humanity. Your extermination is my duty. In the name of eternal peace, be gone! Be gone with your despicable flames of conflict! <laughs> Eternal tranquility is the secret desire of all mankind! Purge. I will purge you! Look at them all! <laughs> Not a problem. Let's go! Yeah! It's now or never! You're getting on my Get the hell out of here! If you pardon me! Everyone! We need to aim for the body! you so much pain. I'm sorry, but even someone like me has their principles. I want to protect everyone that has taught me to fight. I want to protect their spirit. I want to support those who need it and be willing to fight their battles with them. So please, lend me your strength. Stand with us one more time! Arena! We won't let. We 
won't let him. The fire in our hearts be extinguished! Destroy! 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 He won't let you! <laughs> This is goodbye. We choose to fight, and stand up for a better tomorrow. It's not showing up on my radar, which means... It means... We win! We win! <laughs> cheering for you. Always. Hey! Oh, shit! This place is coming apart! Could it be because the creator of this world is gone? Evasive maneuvers! Go, go! Everyone run! Quickly! Also, if someone could lend me a shoulder, I can't move. Yes, yes. Let's run on our own legs now. We should be able to escape if we get back to the train. Final stretch. Hang in there, everyone. Guys, run like your life depends on it. We're getting back to Miss Lavenza. <laughs> Toshiro, hurry! Wait, I'm dying. Welcome back, everyone. Miss Lavenza, there's no time. Please get us out of here. Understood. In that case, this train will be departing momentarily. Please be sure to keep your hands, feet, and tails inside of the windows at... Let's skip that part for now, okay? Just get us out of here, please! What a shame. I wanted to do that at least once. All right, I'll fly us out at Super Express speed. Please hold on tight. of not yielding in your convictions. Hey! Thank you! Many thanks! Thank you! Yeah, thank you! 
Eventually, this place should go back to its proper state. Once that happens, you should all be able to return to your reality as well. Until then, please spend your time wisely so as not to leave any regrets. Regrets? Oh, I see. Well, then, we should probably get our goodbyes out of the way, shouldn't we? Goodbyes? Well, hold up. You're not coming with us, Serena? You don't mean you're going to disappear, too! No, I'm not disappearing. I'm just going back to where I came from. I was only born to protect Toshiro's heart from Salmael's rule, remember? Now that his influence is gone, it's time for me to go back into Toshiro's heart. So, you can't cry, all right, Toshiro? A needless concern, I should say. You were once a part of me. Just be going back to where you belong. What kind of person cries over saying goodbye to himself? <laughs> you really aren't honest with yourself, are you? Hey, the fight only just ended. It's too early to be saying goodbye. There was still so much I wanted to talk about with you. Yeah, this should be the beginning. Not the end. Thank you, Futaba. On. Brief as it was, I'll never forget the time we spent together. Not ever. I won't tell you goodbye. I'll just say, I was proud to bear witness to your noble way of life. I'll always be connected through Toshiro, okay? Bye, Irina. Yusuke, Makoto. I was saved by your wisdom on many an occasion. I won't say goodbye either. We'll meet again, okay? She's not disappearing. I know it in my head, but it still makes me sad. In these moments, it definitely looks coolest if you can make it short and sweet. But it looks like that ain't for me. <laughs> I feel the same way. Haru, Ryuji, I learned a great deal from your candor. If Toshiro ever loses his nerve again, I'd like you two to snap him back to his senses. Are you going already? It's time. I see. And here I was planning to take you in as my apprentice. <laughs> it's a shame, you know? <laughs> I guess I missed out big time, didn't I? Will you teach me if we meet again? What it takes to be a phantom thief, that is. You can count on it. Your words always have a warmth about them, don't they? You've saved me and Toshiro with them countless times. Morgana, Joker, I'm truly glad I met you both. In this very spot, in fact. Harina! Sorry, guys. I think my time's up.
Marina, I won't doubt myself anymore. No matter how many times I get knocked down, no matter how many times I falter, I'll follow the path I believe in. Will you? Watch over me. circumstances, he did come back. I'll have him make a formal apology later, and all will be well. Father, I'm... You fool! Disappearing at a time like this! Do you realize how much this will affect your credibility? We'll be holding an explanatory press conference immediately. I have the script for you here. You say you were covertly admitted to the hospital. Your condition was critical, but you made a miraculous recovery. Health issues will lose you approval points, so be sure to make a point of impressing that you're back to full health. Uh, Come, no need to look so serious. Everyone still has high hopes for you. I've already laid out all the groundwork, so as long as you follow my instructions, there won't be any problems. That's how it's been, <laughs> and that's how it'll stay. Yes. Hmm. Now then, Marie-san, shall we be going? We have our own preparations to make for the press conference. I would like you to play the part of the devoted fiancé who supported Toshiro through his many obligations. Ugh, I realize I have to do this if I want to become First Lady. But it's such a hassle. Do you think I should change? Perhaps I could wear something that panders a bit more to all those commoners. where the next chapter begins. Right, Irina? I'm home! Woo! Boy, is it toasty out today! With weather this nice, it feels like spring's already in full swing, doesn't it? Since everyone's here again today, maybe we should ask for some coffee? This is very disappointing. I had such high hopes for Mr. Kasukabe. Indeed. As extreme turmoil continues to cast a pall over the political world, its future falls increasingly in question. Meanwhile, investigations of Mr. Kasukabe's father, Mr. Yoshiki, and his ex fiance will continue as... Politics seem to be the talk of the town as usual, huh? It's not surprising. Another major scandal on the coattails of the one last year. 
Gotta give Toshiro credit, though. He got right to the chase at that press conference. It was supposed to be an explanation for his disappearance, instead turned into a confessional. I am not qualified to be Prime Minister. I indict my father for his crimes. Yeah, we're talking criminal indictments against an elder statesman by his own flesh and blood. And then he announces he's breaking off his engagement, too! Talk about a lot to process, Toshiro! Ultimately, his resignation means any hope of him becoming Prime Minister went down with him. Everyone was totally shocked. A press conference like that brings back memories of last year, doesn't it? The way things are going, I don't see the dust settling for a while. But at least Toshiro kept his promise. That means his resolve was real. Yeah, especially with all the public attention he's drawing right now. That was quite the spectacle. He's definitely got guts. His actual gut, though? <laughs> Not sure it's up for what could come next. Man, what was he thinking saying all that? Way to make us worry. Isn't there any way we can contact him? Like, asking Makoto Sis or something? No. Public security has their eye on us. Trying to make contact with him would very likely have the opposite effect. I know it's frustrating, but waiting is our only option right now. The phone? Well, why don't you answer it for him? Hello? Is this Cafe LeBlanc? Uh, my name is Representative... Uh, I mean, uh, my name is Kasukabe. Huh? Oh, uh, one coffee. Heavy on the sugar. Did he really just order? Hey, it's Toshiro, isn't it? Could that be Morgana? Wouldn't you be in cab form right now? Should I speak in feline? Meow! Are you making fun of me? This is just a temporary guise I used to keep out of the public eye. So, what's up? You had everyone here worried. Forgive me. I refrain from contacting you to avoid any potential trouble it might have put you in. I'm sure you know from the news by now, but things have been pretty hectic on my end. As for my father and Marie, they'll likely be arrested with their co-conspirators very soon. Wanted to make sure you all were aware of that. I see. Did well, Toshiro. Anyways, I've been tied up in hearings every day, and it looks like I'll only be getting even busier moving forward. So I still have to figure out what I'm going to do now that I'm not a representative anymore. Hey now, you're not the only one that makes those decisions, you know. <laughs> I, I appreciate the offer, but I wouldn't want to impose. To tell you the truth, I'm thinking of starting over. I want to become a politician I can be proud to be. Of course, I still don't know what kind of sentence I'll get. So, maybe expecting a fresh start isn't very realistic. But even so, I think I still want to take on the challenge. I want to be the kind of politician people can trust to take a stand and fight by their side. Thanks. And one day, I'll turn our society into a place that no longer needs the Phantom Thieves. That's a bold claim, Mr. Big Shot. Let's see what you got then. Well, it's been great hearing your voices again. I must say goodbye for now. I probably won't be able to come by the cafe anytime soon. But I'll be sure to visit one day. All right, then. Tell everyone I say hi, will you? Thank you, Phantom Thieves. Stay well. Oh, wow! So Toshiro-san's going to try and become a politician again. No doubt it'll be a bumpy road. It's been under a lot of fire online from what I've seen. Yeah, the internet's already bent on canceling Toshiro and his dad. No surprise there, though. Honestly, it'd be strange if they didn't go after them. No matter how admirable your ideals may be, at the end of the day, it's the constituents that get to decide. He'll have to restart his whole race from scratch. Actually, more than that, he'll be behind the starting line to know what he was getting himself into, right? He did. Toshiro said he was going to fight, and this only shows just how serious he was. We 
doing what you think is right doesn't always produce positive results. He made the decision to stay the course, and showed no regrets about what that meant. Regardless of how things began, we still learned a great deal from how he carried himself. Yes, we certainly did. Someday, I hope everyone will understand what they stood for. Alright then, we did a lot of talking the talk too, so now we've got to back it up with action. <laughs> That's true. Wouldn't want Toshiro and Arena to laugh at us. So each of us will keep fighting for our respective goals. Does that sound about right? And fight we must. First, we'll battle this empty stomach. The result of an equally empty wallet. Oh, crap. I'm looking at extra classes if I don't put up a good fight against that quiz tomorrow. Big ambitions, I see. As for you, on, don't forget to fight that appetite of yours, or you'll be kicking yourself for it again. Shut it! <laughs> hey, stop! You'll spill them! My goodness. Settle down, you two. A curry for me, please. <laughs> me too! You two really trying to score free grub in the middle of all this? Oh boy. Doesn't matter how many times we have to fight for our lives. Some things never change, huh? Well... We may be our same old selves, but we did manage to save someone's life. There's no doubt the will we showed in battle got through to Toshiro and the others. Every person who takes a stand gives someone else a push of encouragement. Maybe that's how this flame of revolution gets passed on. I agree. Getting whisked here and there at this rate is gonna run us ragged. At least a uh, half year or so to kick back would be nice. Now then, we don't have much time left to spend like this. Why don't you make some coffee for everyone? Something that'll really knock their socks off.
Thank you. I look forward to your support. Looks like I finally caught up. I've been waiting. Something isn't my business, but I can't help worrying either. If you're heading out, I won't stop you. Just come let me know if it's trouble, alright? Make sure you don't stay out too late either. In our next story tonight, the mysterious graffiti master known only as Guernica has made yet another huge splash in public. Many experts have heralded the pseudonymous street artist as one of the top talents in the field today. However, Guernica's radical subject matter and selected sites for murals continue to upset their critics. Each massive work is completed overnight, including the latest piece spread across the security department headquarters. Despite their first mural appearing in Tokyo over a month ago, the artist's true identity remains unknown. Local police have been grappling with growing criticism at their inability to track down the artist. While at the same time, public support for preserving these murals only continues to rise. Oh, shut up. Why do you leave the TV on? you to come here right away. Oh no! I didn't ask you here for anything shady. Did you think I was going to mug you? I just saw something earlier that I think you need to see too. So, I came across some pretty strange art, and there's something especially surprising about it. Actually, I think it'll be quicker just to show you. This way, senpai. like him too, don't you? It's just way too similar to be a coincidence. That's why I reached out to you right away. That mural. Don't you feel like there's more to it? Like 
it has a really important message behind it or something. All I know is, when I first saw it, and even when I look at it now, I get this strange feeling. Of course, I could just be imagining it. Well now, color me surprised to think you two were the ones to beat me here. Akechi-san? What are you doing here? Hello, Yoshizawa-san. You as well. I admit, you never fail to impress. I hadn't expected you to look into this case as well. Oh, then perhaps you haven't heard. Graffiti like this has been all over the news lately. Really? I mean, this is certainly unique, but... The subject matter speaks for itself. But the artist's M.O. is causing even more of a fuss. Recently, they've been splashing large murals like this one all over municipal buildings. At this point, I have to ask, do you two have anything to do with these? Wh what? We'd never do something like this! <laughs> I'm only pulling your leg. The questions almost ask themselves. Call it a detective's habit. Whoever the culprit is, they've turned the entire city into a canvas to share their disturbing message. And, considering the number of unauthorized sites they've chosen, their legal troubles are piling up quick. What do you think is making the artists go to such extremes? Do you know their secret identity? Unfortunately, no one's got that far just yet. The artist could simply be doing this for kicks. Or it could all be part of a grand criminal conspiracy. Perhaps there are declarations of crimes that will be committed. Or maybe their attempts at exposing some social injustice. Sounds like there are all sorts of possibilities. Nothing but speculation so far. But as long as they keep trying to communicate, I feel compelled to investigate. I'd rather err on the side of caution than have it come back to bite us later. Now there's a detective for you. So, what have you sniffed out so far? <laughs> well, I've only just arrived on scene. Let's see here. To start, it'd be nice if we could glean any clues from the mural itself. Senpai, did you notice anything yet? The mouth. You know, this actually is the first mural so far that's included one. Perhaps this is a new clue after all. Would you mind taking a closer look? Phantom thieves. Phantom thieves of hearts. glowing. Perhaps 
you'd prefer I hadn't cut in. Senpai, you're not hurt, are you? <laughs> so, what's next? I suspect they're not interested in the conversation. <laughs> right. We'll take them down together. Yoshizawa-san also had this power. And I never thought you did. But does that mean... Akechi-san, you're also... One of the phantom here? Well, we can discuss that once we've handled our current issue. Sound fair? Oh, right. <sighs> I think we're free to talk now. Let's see. So about Akechi-san... Oh, and also, where we ended up. Uh, what else? Let's take this all one step at a time. First up, as to your question whether I'm in the Phantom Thieves, hmm, I suppose you could say that's a tentative yes. Hmm? What's he mean? Okay, sounds like it might be a complicated situation. But I get the picture. I won't pry any further. I appreciate your understanding. That reminds me. Like I said before, I'm surprised by your ability. But you didn't react as if that was the first time you've seen Yoshizawa-san like this. Oh, I can explain that, if you don't mind. So, a while back... And that led to you awakening to your power. Quite interesting. Yes. Although, I ultimately declined a spot in the Phantom Thieves, for personal reasons. <laughs> Even if you're not a Phantom Thief, it's reassuring to know you can fight. Especially considering how the territory we've found ourselves in appears to have hostile forces. So you don't know where we are either. Is this not a palace of some kind? It's certainly a possibility, but I can't say for certain. Considering our appearances here, it's safe to assume we're in a cognitive world of some kind. <laughs> Something's approaching. Be upset. Chances are she's not. What was that? Right. It sounded like someone being attacked. I agree that we should investigate, but we're in unfamiliar territory. We should be especially cautious. Sure. We'll hurry cautiously. I think that's an oxymoron. Oh, we'd better stick together as closely as possible. Catch up with her, shall we? Oh. <laughs> 
Walk up to me and tell me what to do. I'm not trying to boss you around, but I can't just stand here and watch you kill people. Jerry, who even is this brat? That yammering of hers is extra annoying. How peculiar. The streets shouldn't be accessible to outsiders. The three of you, what are you doing here? We're merely a few passers-by. We haven't been able to make heads or tails of this world. Would you be so kind as to point us to the exit? Wait, no, Akechi-san! We can't leave until we get them to stop hurting these people! Ooh, she's right. How's about I stop hurting them right now? Ha <laughs> ha! Again, Eka. Struck yet again by inspiration? To be honest, I was getting bored with cooking the small fries. You here, I can perform a little experiment. Let's see if you bleed the same way the rest do. Oh dear. Sounds like peace isn't an option. I was hoping we could get through this more amicably. Do we really? We don't seem to have any other option. Unless you were planning to share how you bleed with her willingly. Get ready, people. This is some kind of weird-ass world. We could splatter our guts all over this place. Just snap your fingers and everything's back the way it was. Huh? Is that really true? Sounds like rubbish to me. Perhaps you'd like to prove it on yourself first. <laughs> huh? Seriously? You jerk! You were trying to trick us! Ugh, you know, fun. Jerry, take out this trash for me. Always foisting the tough work onto me. What am I to do with you? Now, my dearies, finish them off. Senpai, Akechi-san, there are too many of them. Come on, put up a good fight for me. Oh, this is a solid show before you go out with a bang. Well, we're not going down so easily. They clearly have the advantage. What do we do? That'd be the wisest move. We have no reason to take them on. It looks like their numbers are weaker over there. Maybe we can break through. You idiots. There's no escaping our forces. What? Where did this hole come from? Come on, not again! Huh? Where am 
am I? Oh, right! Senpai! Akechi-san! We're both over here. Looks like we were taken for another ride. On the bright side, we're not about to be killed anymore. <sighs> Where do you think we are? It's so dark in here. Looks like none of you were hurt. Some real lucky kids. A mouse girl? No, a girl dressed like a mascot? Aww, so cute. And you are? We'll get to that. How about a thank you first, considering I just saved your tails. Does that mean the hole we fell in, that was you? Sorry you got dumped here. I didn't have time to be choosy. Uh, oh no, not at all. We're extremely grateful. Well, as long as you're fine. I ought to ask, just who are you guys? How do you not know this place yet? The streets are Guernica's territory. Nobody winds up here on accident. Not only that, you were able to square up with Guernica. I've never seen anyone else pull that off. It sounds as if you've been watching us for some time now. I sure have. Until today, I was Guernica's only real opponent. No one else has tried stopping her. So you've got to be pretty sneaky to survive in the streets. So you, you're all alone here? Yeah. Not for lack of trying to save them. But things are different now. You three can actually fight. Except, I don't know whose side you're on. So don't make me regret saving you. Understood. Well, at the very least, we're not your enemy. That's right. Although, I guess we have no way to prove that. Nah, I was just messing with you. I saw you standing up to Guernica. That was proof enough. We may not have all the details, but I think I get the gist. If you wouldn't mind, I have some questions of my own now. First off, I'd like you to tell us all you know about this world. Am I right that Guernica is somehow involved in its existence? Yes, you are. The streets belong to Guernica. They were born from her heart. Seriously now, who are you guys? You're not just on the ball. You know too much. You talk like you're already used to places like this. Um, well, we... Yeah, we're used to this sort of thing. Used to this? By any chance, are you the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? How the heck did she know? Oh, good. My voice really did reach outside. I was worried this place was doomed. Your voice? Please come with me. There's something you need to see. Hold on. I still have quite a few questions. That's why I want you to see this. I think it would help explain things better. Got it. I'll take your word for it. Let me open another manhole. It'll be just on the other side. wanted to show you. Another mural. It's similar to the one we saw in Young and Jaya, too. Hmm. Oh, she's Awasan. Is something wrong? So, I got this feeling back in Young and Jaya. Both that mural and this one make me feel sort of ill. No, that's not right. It's more like it's stirring up something bad inside me. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I find it hard to think this is just some normal artwork. It almost feels like it would consume me if I let it. Sounds like you're picking up on it. Guernica's true power. You know the awful, ugly feelings that can bubble up in the deepest parts of your soul? Guernica's art has the power to force those feelings to the surface and make them take over the entire mind. The overwhelming reaction doesn't only affect the viewers, either. They go on to spread their own seeds of destruction. By the time it's over, they're all dead. Hold on. Your description sounds awfully different from the Guernica I've heard of so far. 
What do you know about her, Akechi-san? Well, I know she's a street artist who's become world famous by this point. A street artist? Oh, I think I've seen her murals on the news. Doesn't she work anonymously? Yes. The greater mystery is how she manifests her artwork in what seems to be a mere moment. If I remember correctly, she's also broken quite a number of laws to put up her murals. Certainly. Regardless of her artistic merit, Guernica has a great number of detractors. Especially since her artistic philosophy is what's guiding her to her mural sites. How so? I've heard that rage is Guernica's primary driving force. The underprivileged members of society toil under poverty and discrimination. Supposedly, Guernica's works are an expression of her rage. Which is why she's willing to do whatever it takes to vent her anger with the privileged. That's why she's continued to gain support for her principles. Some people even refer to her by a nickname. The People's Punk, they call her. I didn't realize she was such a big deal. But... Yes. The Guernica we met here is wholly different. Just a trigger-happy psychopath. And if you're telling us that this is her cognitive world, that would mean the real Guernica is... No, that's all wrong! Her personality changed when she lost the most important thing to her. That's why... What was most important to her? The first statement she ever painted. Somehow, somebody stole it from her. So that's why Guernica is like how you saw her. Please, help me. You have to steal Guernica's first statement back. Hold on there. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's true, this isn't the first time we've been to a world like this. But I've never heard of a ruler going completely mad because they lost their treasure. Besides, we're only here because some inexplicable force pulled us into this world. While I believe I understand your situation, I'm afraid we don't have enough information to make any decisions. <laughs> Consider what you said earlier. You told us you didn't know whose side we're on. Well, we're in the same boat. I'll cut to the chase. Are you the one who brought us here? All right. I'll explain everything. The one who brought you to the streets was Guernica herself. More precisely, it was one of the last things she did before she finally snapped. Guernica has always been a fan of the Phantom Thieves. In fact, it's actually more of a kinship that she felt. Oh, okay. You know, I can see why that's the case. She's been fighting against herself this entire time, on the inside. It took everything she had to paint that mural in your world. Her last cry of desperation was to you, Phantom Thieves. So she wants the Phantom Thieves to help her get back to normal? Yeah. But she's not only trying to save herself. If Guernica fully gives in to the madness, she'll most likely begin producing her deadly art in your own world. Uh, oh no! Art with the power to kill? Even in our reality? Is something like that even possible? Everyone's hearts are connected. Guernica has the power to take the very image of death and... Well, this isn't something I can explain logically, but I'm telling you, she can do it. Sorry I can't put it in words. Hmm. If only we were able to confirm or deny that this is just some ploy. When it comes to trust, that's more your area of specialty. Care to weigh in for us? That's certain, eh? Well, I suppose I have no cause for objection. I'll go along with your decision. And I agree too, so that makes it unanimous. You're really... going to help me? Huh. Thank you! I'm so glad. Phantom Thieves really are as good as Guernica believes. Okay, let's go and get Guernica's first statement piece. Yeah! Oh, uh, but first, could you tell us your name? While we're at it, I'd definitely appreciate it if you could tell us more about yourself as well. Oh, I didn't introduce myself? My bad. I'm Luca. As for my identity, all you really need to know is this. I'm somebody trying to help Guernica. Oh, all right then. That works for me. <laughs> well, shall we get going? Oh, I forgot to mention. Guernica's statement piece was broken up into three slabs. 
So we're going to have to track down all three. Three of them? Sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Come on, this will be a cinch for the Phantom Thieves. We shouldn't waste any more time. I'm opening the manhole. The graffiti's just past here. The security's gotten a lot tighter. Understandable, considering how we've crashed their scene. Such measures are only prudent. But still, what do we do? You want to sneak past them? So do I. Fortunately, there's plenty of cover here. I'd say avoiding unnecessary combat is wise. I should believe not, Luca. Why, you smug little bird-brained bitch! I'm sick of you ruining everything! Foul-mouthed as ever, aren't you? Clearly, you weren't raised right. Pardon me, but would you mind letting us by? We're just here to pick up some of the trash behind you. Well, if it isn't the boy from outside, quite an interesting turn of events you're aiding, Luca. But why exactly when the matter doesn't concern you? If you're looking for a way home, I could help you with that right now. Wait! Don't believe anything she says. You can trust the devil before you trust her. Come now, don't speak such slander. This is just another one of your little schemes. Like how you tricked Guernica. How many times must I tell you? All I've ever done is respect Guernica's wishes. The current state of the streets is entirely of her own doing. It's a lie! Guernica would never want things to be like this! Oh, you're quite the handful. Ah, I know. Excuse me, mop-headed boy. Would you be a dear and hand Luca over to me? If you do, I'll send you all back to your own world. A rather sweet deal, don't you agree? Any of you learn any manners? You seem to have misunderstood our goal here. We're putting a stop to Guernica. And so you know, attempts at manipulation put me in a bad mood. So you prefer to be dealt with by cruder means? Very well. Perhaps you'd enjoy this while you last. See how? He's well above the chaff we've been clearing out here. No avoiding this one. We'd better get ready. Really now? I may have underestimated you. Perhaps this is more to your liking. We don't have a chance against these numbers. Guys! Over here! Luthason! I got everything ready while you were busy. Let's grab that slab and bounce. She's using a manhole to steal it? No! Stop them at once! Here it comes! Now! Let's go! How many times will we be doing this? Come on! Quickly! Everyone all right? I believe so. Quite the close shave, though. We were able to get part of Guernica's first piece. Thank you. Only two more to go. If we keep this up, we'll be done in no time. Yeah. But I'm even more grateful for something else. What's that? For having my back, and not just handing me over to Jerry. The smug parrot's proposition simply carried far too many risks. Not only that, crossing you on our deal wouldn't have sat well with me or the others. You're a stand-up guy, aren't you? Here I thought you were some heartless, hyper-rational bastard. Well, let's pretend I didn't hear that. By the way, 
Just who is that Jerry, anyhow? Honestly, I have no idea. Everyone here is supposed to be born from some part of Guernica's heart. But I can't imagine any part of her being so cruel. I know Guernica wasn't bonkers until that bird showed up. That's the one thing I'm sure of. Jerry mentioned something about fulfilling Guernica's wishes. Obviously she was lying! Guernica's a good person! She'd never do that to people on her own! Okay, we'll trust you when it comes to the real Guernica. We should focus on getting the other two slabs for Luca, right? Huh, thank you. You're a good person, too. I could already tell you're kind of caring. Now I like you even more. <laughs> thank you. Let's do our best out there! <laughs> Yoshizawa-san. Ever the popular one. You, uh... Certainly have a way with words. All right, time to go track down the second piece. I know where it is. Let's get going. Where'd you flap off to, Jerry? Just a small errand. <laughs> so, come any further in staging your next masterpiece? Yeah, I've been real busy out there. <gasps> Crushing them to bits, slaying them to ribbons, tearing them to shreds. <gasps> With every person I kill, I feel the void in my mind grow that much bigger. <gasps> then I fill that void with more of my rage. Burns in the most incredible way. Is this how birthing a masterpiece feels, Jerry? Yes, dear. Just keep honing that rage of yours. It's the only way you'll be able to recapture your first statement. A Guernica who fails to channel her fury with society into her art is no true Guernica at all. I'll be the true Guernica soon enough. And it's all thanks to you, Jerry. I'm awful glad you came my way. How kind of you, dearie. Oh, yes. I spotted the outsiders again while I was away. Those brats who ran off terrified? They're still around, huh? I imagine they could be a great source of inspiration. Perhaps you could track them down. Hmm, that does sound fun. Maybe I shouldn't have let them get away before. <sighs> Here we go. Now I'm all worked up. I'm gonna find them right now. <laughs> Such an eager girl. How adorable. And once she takes care of the outsiders, nothing will be left in our way. Whoever those strange children may be, they won't interfere with the plan. This area is a real disaster. It's almost hard to breathe. Stay sharp. The enemies around here are especially brutal. Speak of the devil. It's quite a few of them. Get ready. Ah, that should be the last of them. You really gave it our all back there. Hopefully we can avoid any more combat in this area. That ruckus might have brought the wrong kind of attention. We'd better hurry. Ah, <laughs> there you are. I've been looking for you. You're not getting away this time. One person we didn't want to find. Guernica! Well, look who's teamed up. Aren't I lucky? <laughs> I've been sick of you getting in my way. Now I can crush you all into paste and paint with what's left. <laughs> Don't do it, Guernica! Just listen to me. Hold on. He's in no state for conversation like this. We have to stop her ourselves, don't we? Then let's do it! <laughs> oh, not bad, you guys. I have no clue who you are, but you're real fun. Gerica! They're the Phantom Thieves! They came here for you! Phantom Thieves?
rescue me? What's this about? I don't give a single shit about any phantom thieves, so I don't know what you're trying to pull. Does she not... Recognize the phantom thieves? Apparently not, which contradicts what we heard. That's not it! Kernicus just lost her memories! That's enough of your babbling! It's time to get back to the pain. We're not done here. I have to witness each one of your deaths! It would be best if we retreated for now. Right. Let's go! Uh, oh. The hell? Where are you going? I'm not done experimenting here! Hey! She's really something, isn't she? At least we got away, though. The second slab is really close by. Let's grab it and go. Try to stay unnoticed. Guernica's most likely still hunting us down here. There it is! Let's go get it before we're spotted. Wait, Kasumi! This place should be guarded. Look, there he is! He looks quite a bit tougher than the last one. We have to make this quick. We can't have Guernica catch up to us. That took more effort than expected. Now we should be able to get... Ah! Finally found you! Awfully rude to leave without a goodbye. If you're gonna trespass in my streets, entertain me at the very least. You have to be kidding me. Kernika, step out of it already! How long are you going to? That won't work. We'll hold her back for you. Go get the slab! <sighs> Got it. Oh, more of this whispering. What's that you're hiding there? What? Some sorry excuse for art. I see you. You're dead. Wait! Yarnica! Don't go, please! Just let her go. Sorry, she's lost it again. <sighs> she get that slab before she comes back to finish the job. Yeah, you're right. Downright trembling. Terry, I'm. I'm. What am I doing here? Why am I doing these things? Really now? Have you forgotten? All of this is simply what you wished for. You were slowly losing your artistic vision. No, your ability entirely. You attempted to get back to your roots. To rediscover your rage, remember? Yeah, that's one thing I do remember. A disgusting hellhole where the strong make excuses so they can shamelessly use and abuse the weak. That's 
stupid goddamn world did the most important thing in my life! And that's why you created the streets, to find and stoke that fury. Eventually, your rage will burn so hot that it won't be contained within you. It will spread from person to person like wildfire until the entire world is nothing but cinders. Your wish is almost within your grasp. Understand? Yeah, I can tell that's what I want. And no mistakes there. But that's not all. What was it that I lost? No matter how hard I try, I can't remember. Ah, oh, Guernica. What does it matter what you've forgotten? Huh. The flames have already been stoked. All that's left is to set them loose and watch the world burn. And it'll all be thanks to your precious artwork. Jerry, what's happening to me? <laughs> Worry. I'm simply taking care of you. There's no need to worry about anything anymore. We've almost finished the statement piece. Just one slab left to find. Once we've got that, Yernika's memory will return. If all goes according to plan, it wouldn't be wise for us to assume that'll happen. Right! All we can do is press onward and have faith. Let's see this through to the end. Sorry. Gonna have to depend on you guys for a bit longer. Don't worry about it. When we're in trouble, we help each other. That being said, there's something we should discuss. It's well past time for you to tell us about your relationship with Guernica. You're right. Sorry I kept you in the dark. Tell you everything. Yes. Please do. You see, I'm... I'm... Guernica's big sister. What?! Sorry? Would you mind elaborating on that? More accurately, I'm not exactly Guernica's sister. I'm more like a memory of her. What do you mean, a memory? The real Luca died a long time ago. I don't really remember how things ended, but I do remember being hungry and tired. How awful! Guernica and I were abandoned as kids. Since no one wanted us to live off whatever scraps we could scrounge up. We were just two more sewer rats living in the streets. People never even spared us a look, let alone any help. That's why Guernica and I started painting. Well, once we started painting, that became our whole world. We came across this one mural in a random back alley, and it inspired us to try making one ourselves. We worked on it all night long. We were so absorbed that we even forgot how hungry we were. It was a way for us to leave our mark, so we decided to make it as big as we could. So you're saying, these slabs... They're the memory of the mural we had made together. That was her first statement piece. No matter how tough things got for Guernica, she always had that memory to keep her going. I think I understand. That statement piece was the foundation for her heart and soul. Yes. And once it was broken up and discarded, Yarnica totally lost it. She was never like this before. If we can get all three of them, I know she'll be okay. Thank you. I certainly understand the mural's importance now. I only have one more question. Why did you hide your relationship with Yarnica from us? Uh, well, that's... because... I was afraid you wouldn't believe me. You might just think I was secretly on Guernica's side. <laughs> that makes sense. Keep in mind, though, this isn't our first time in a bizarre world like this one. Not only that, we're all on the same side. You had no cause for worrying with us. Jeez, I get it already. Do you just enjoy raking people over the coals like this? Oh, please excuse me. I may have let my work habits take over for a second there. 
Also, I believe I understand your situation quite well, considering this conflict between sisters. <sighs> I, um... I also understand. All too well. You see, I used to have a sister. Used to? A little while back, she... She lost her life in an accident. <sighs> The two of us were inseparable. No matter what one of us did, we both had to do it. But as we got older, we started to argue more. We didn't see everything eye to eye like we used to. Even though I still loved her like a sister. Whatever the reason, I had trouble getting her to understand me. <sighs> and while I was pining for the day when we could talk again like old times, in a sudden accident, when she died, in that accident. That was the end. I had no idea. So that's why I want to help not only you, Luka-san, but Guernica as well. I know you're only a reflection of her memory, and that we can't actually bring you back for her. Still, the longer that Guernica's lost you from her heart, the more likely things will end badly for her. That's why I'm going to do everything I can to see you reunited with Guernica in her right mind. Maybe I'm just being selfish, but I can't stand to see you two sisters like this. That's not selfish at all. I was right before. You're a real nice gal. Yeah! Hip, hip, hooray! Uh, hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> That's the spirit. All right, time to steal that last slap. Last slab we need should be close by. I don't know much about this area. I always got a bad feeling about it, so I steered clear. A bad feeling? It's hard to explain. But I just start feeling really agitated the longer I'm here. I see. It is strangely quiet here, huh? Hang on. I'm picking up a strange present. Wait, no. It's more like a really bad smell. Now that you mention it, it's faint, but I don't recognize it. That smell is death. What? It isn't just the smell. I can hear voices, the sounds of people suffering. Come on, we have to find them before it's too late. Hold on. How can we be certain the fragments in that direction? <sighs> I'm willing to bet going that way would lead us to a fight. Fatigued we grow, the harder it will be to reclaim the last slab. With that in mind, don't you think it'll actually be harder to save Guernica? I admit, that is true. Still, everyone getting killed here is a part of Guernica's heart. I can never leave them like that. At this rate, Guernica's... Please, please, I'm begging you. Help me save Guernica before it's too late. Luca-san. Akechi-san? I believe we should help her. It may not be the practical decision, but even so... Yoshizawa-san, this is a problem. Say, what's your call here? I admit, I hadn't considered the consequences on Guernica's own heart here. Fair point? I suppose it could be an issue. Fine, we'll start off in that direction. Tread carefully, though, and be prepared for anything. You mean you're going to help? Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> I bet you didn't expect that from a hyper-rational bastard, did you? Yeah, I sure didn't! Come on, guys! <laughs> Akechi-san, don't sweat it! Like you know me, little shit. Garnica! 
If it isn't all the children hassling us, how convenient. Here's an idea. Why don't you top off the corpse pile with their bodies? Jerry, what the hell have you done? I've told you time and time again, everything here is thanks to Guernica's wish. She wished for this? Yes. This is the exact sight Guernica has always longed to see. Guernica's artistic vision is born from fury, and her rage will drive the masses to a frenzy. Soon they'll shake off their yoke of oppression, then obliterate their own diseased society. The end result? A tower of corpses piled so high, it reaches the very heavens! Understand now? Guernica built the streets to create what you see here, in the real world. No, no, no! Guernica would never wish for something like that! What makes you think you know anything about me? I'm finally about to make my wish a reality. Guernica, don't be stupid! You've only been killing your own heart! Why can't you see how much this is making you suffer? This is exactly what I need. Channeling my hatred to blot out the past. All the pain that I've been put through. It's time society got its own taste. Exactly. And there's only one thing left to do first. Those kids, especially that brat. We have to kill them all. Wait just a second, Guernica. It's Luca. She's... Can't you remember that she's your sister? Somewhere deep inside? I don't have any damn sisters! And even if I did, I don't care. All that matters now is my dream. Relatives mean nothing to me. Get in my way and I'll kill you! <sighs> no, you won't. Huh? How could you even think of killing your sister? To just take her life and never see her again. No matter what you do, I'm going to make you regret thinking that way. What the hell's with her? She's not making sense. The kid's not... Ganica, <laughs> ignore their blathering. Anyone standing in your way is an enemy. Someone who must be cut down. Yes, I have to. I have to kill them. Kill them! Yernika san, we're going to save you. Count on it. Damn it! Why won't they just die already? How am I not the strongest person in the streets? Oh, shit! What's wrong with me? There's something wrong with Yernika now. Have you noticed as well? I did. It's like she started holding back when attacking. What is it, Guernica? Why are you pulling your punches? Like... like I would do that? Then pull yourself together. You're making a right mess of things here. Jeez, I know! My head... It's splitting! Guernica... She's not gonna make it! Good grief. Can't even make the finishing touches. Get up right now! Go over there and kill them! Guernica! I'm coming to save you! You there! Don't let them even get near her! Now, let's go home. You're overdue for your final lesson. <sighs> Yannicka, don't go! Get back here, Cherry! Lucasan, come back! Don't charge right into them! There's too many of them. Retreat's off the table. Well, we're not going down here. Let's push through them. And Jerry slipped away. I'm sorry. I was really hoping we could save Guernica. Don't apologize. You've been a huge help here. Besides, Guernica's not done for just yet. 
That bird may be putting her through the ringer, but you can tell she's still fighting it. Jerry is indeed manipulating Guernica in some way. We've seen it with our own eyes now. But the question remains, why exactly is Jerry doing this? At this point, I'm more curious of Jerry's identity than ever. find any answers here. We can always figure Jerry out later anyway. Once we've helped Guernica, it should be easy. We need the third slab to do that. Do you know where it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I sense it. Over there. There it is, the last slab. You can just grab it and head out, right? Hey, can you hear that? <gasps> Beneath us! Something's coming our way! Ah. I knew it wouldn't be so easy. We're so close to finishing this. No one's going to stop us! We did it. With them out of the way, let's finish this. Right. Let's get that final slab. Yes. Got it. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. If it wasn't for you three, I don't know. Don't thank us just yet. We should get out of here first. Ah, good point! We finally have all three pieces! This has been a long time coming. Finally, the first mural Tao ever made. Tao? That's Guernica's real name. I swore I'd always be there to protect her. But then, I left her behind. I can't even describe how impressive Tao is. She had to have suffered so much when I was gone. She had every right to be furious. But Tao always stayed strong. She never broke her promise to me. Luka-san, you really believe in your sister, don't you? Of course I do. She's way stronger than I am. And now that we've reassembled our mural... I'm gonna go find Tao. It's time for her big sis to teach her a lesson. <laughs> we should go too. Guernica asked for our help. About to open a manhole directly in their base. Get good and ready. Another reason why artists disgust me. Do you all really need so much coddling? What are you saying? Jerry. I've gone through so much trouble to break you, yet you still retain some vestige of your true art. Anyone else would be completely under my control by now. You have no idea how annoying this is. No. No, Jerry. How could you? Really? No matter how many times I try breaking you, you just won't let her go. Well, that's neither here nor there. I'll just scrub as much of your mind as I can. And I'll wipe your precious sister out soon enough as well. I'll make it quite the spectacle for you. No. 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 <laughs> now let's get you ready, Garnica. We have important guests to receive. It's 
almost time for the grand finale. All right, this is it. Strange, this place is in great condition. Nothing like the rest of the streets. It certainly is unsettling to see such a drastic difference. Greetings, we've been expecting you. Derry, let Guernica go. Give me back my sister. You speak as if I'm holding her against her will. Look, she's come to greet you as well. <sighs> Guernica? What's wrong? Die. True colors are showing. We scurried all over the streets to get this for you, Tao. Remember our first mural? like that. <laughs> Always. If we didn't have enough food, Luca would just tell me she was full. <laughs> Even when I knew it wasn't true. I knew she was suffering. <laughs> That's why 
Why I lost her. Oh, Luca. And do you remember, Tao? <laughs> that promise we made? Yes, I do. We said we would create art that spoke for the people like us. The people on the bottom. And that our art would be so massive and our message so loud that no one could turn away from it. That was the promise we made together. That's good. Now I'm ready. No, sis! I can't lose you again! Please! I can't! I can't! Don't be so clingy, Tao. Remember, I'll live on through our promise for as long as you keep it. <laughs> and that's why I know we'll be fine. Yeah, we will. Well, see ya. Later. What in the... Gernica shouldn't be able to recover like that. This can't happen. Well, it has. And you'll never understand how. So what's next? Personally, I'd recommend surrendering. Jerry. Gernica, these wretches stand in the way of your dream. They are enemies of art. You must kill them or... What the hell did you do to me? What did you do to my sister? There's only one thing you got right about me. My art is fueled by my rage. But my rage is at my own mistreatment. At what all the outcasts of society has suffered. How would killing everyone in the world solve that? Jerry, you manipulated me, didn't you? What a joke. A poor one at that. What was that? You heard me. Who even gives a shit about art? Absolute dolts who like feeling smart. People with pointless lives. You do it for representation? To speak for the unheard? There's a reason nobody listens to street trash. All you've done is hide your self-gratification with a punk-flavored sugar coating of empathy. You're full of shit! Tell me, what the hell do you even want with me anyway? I need your ability to influence others. It's the linchpin to my plan. I'm going to amass every single pathetic human on Earth and burn them alive through their precious art. Soon, there'll be nothing but a serene world of ash and silence. It sounds as if you've concocted a plan to eliminate those you can't understand. If I may be frank, you're highly delusional. Stupid little human. You put on your intellectual airs, but you can't even grasp the things I see. So you're that superior, eh? Let me guess. You're a god. Don't speak of things you can't comprehend. This chit-chat has grown pointless. I'm merely here to carry out my duty. And I kill anything that gets in my way. I'm going to spare. When this is done, we'll have ourselves a nice, fresh start. We'll start off by scrubbing your mind until there isn't a single trace of your sister left in your memory. Jerry, you're dead! You guys... We made a promise to your sister. We've got your back. <sighs> Thank you. I tire of this farce. It's time to reveal my true glory. <sighs> she's strong. I hate to admit it, but she's in a different league entirely. Such lonely pea brains. 
I am the architect of the streets. Everything you see here only exists because I willed it so. To think that such lowly beings as yourselves stand any chance against me is absolutely laughable. You think you're the boss here? Don't make me laugh. What's so amusing? Nice try, bluffing, Jim. You really control me. Why didn't you just wipe Luca out yourself? Shut your mouth. This is a spiritual world built from the mind. The imagination sets the rules here. The memory of my big sis was the one thing you couldn't ever control. That's why you were afraid of Luca. Charge of the streets, then you just watch me prove you wrong. Cease this tantrum. A lonely human like you has no place to find me. Try to stop me all you like. I'm still in control of this world. This world. How dare you cover up my fine work? Worse than insulting me. It's a downright desecration. Desecration? <laughs> Don't get so worked up. This is just the law of the land for street art, you know. Anything that looks like shit is fair game to cover up. Wow. You disgusting lowly humans. by humans before we wrap this up would you mind telling us whose orders you've been following I am no I've not been granted permission to reveal the truth what a pity to think I'd fall short of my duty over something so pointless as art you talk an awful lot of shit about art you still recognized my ability, didn't you? Oh. You may be a rotten, miserable thing, but even still, you got my art. On that point alone, I think we were able to see eye to eye. Artists are such unbelievable nitwits. Can't even bring yourself to hate me properly. Gernica. You silly child. So we'll never find out who she really was? Eh, <sighs> doesn't do us any good thinking about it now. Well, I'm glad you're okay now, Gernika-san. Sorry, tell san Gernika's just fine. You're the only ones who know my old name. I'm both Tao and Gernika. Plus, I've got Luca with me. Big Sis is right here in my heart. I know that for a fact. She's... in your heart. What's wrong? Are you crying? Hmm? What? Why am I... I'm sorry. Please, don't mind me. More importantly, what are you going to do now, Gernika-san? The same thing I always do. Keep making art for all the poor saps out there. People just like me. And for all the bastards who trample us and make sure we're never heard, I'll get right up in their faces. But I imagine that won't sit well with certain folks. Considering your artistic reputation, it wouldn't be impossible for you to shift into mainstream success. But I wager that would go against your principles. Yep, you called it. I have to keep my promise to Luca. And there are others. 
people who showed me kindness out on the street. I'm walking this path for them until there's not another step left in front of me. <laughs> well, I'm already a big fan of the Phantom Thieves. So now we're just even. All right then, it's about time we say goodbye. I'll send you all back home. We'll miss you, Kirnika-san. Luka-san, too. Same here. Catch you later, Phantom Thieves. And thanks again. I'm sure our paths will cross again at some point. Even if we forget this moment. Forgive me. I lacked the strength to fulfill my duty. Yes, I understand. Destruction and chaos are certainly contrary to your will. I will wholly accept my return to the Void, along with all my things. As I return to the Void, I shall pray that your desire for a harmonious world will be brought to fruition. A tranquility going out to all the earth. <sighs> huh? What... What am I doing here? Yoshizawa-san. I came here to investigate the graffiti, then... Wait, what the...? Where'd it go? There's no graffiti here. You know, I've actually got the same feeling that there used to be something here. Awfully optimistic. Collective amnesia's a pretty big deal, if you ask my opinion. Although, I think I kind of agree. It's like there's a gap in my memory. But for some reason, it's not concerning. At any rate, it appears I'm back to square one in my investigation. I'll be heading off now. All right. Take care. We should get going too, huh? I'll see you at school. of a government building. Despite the high security, this work was completed in a single night. Experts have already weighed in. This is unmistakably the work of Guernica. A public work of this scale has not been seen before. Many are already claiming that this will propel Guernica to international fame. Get a load of that, Phantom Thieves. They're finally taking notice. When our paths cross again, it'll be with a smile. Some are calling for the graffiti's immediate removal, while others, both locally and abroad, are demanding its preservation. While removing and replacing the entire facade would be impossible, alternative solutions are currently flying about. Man, this has the whole city freaking out. It's on all the channels. I never expected someone else out there to pull our kind of stunts. An expert now, huh? But I do agree with you. There's something about it that just grabs you. By the way, you seem awfully cheerful. Whew, we need to get going. We don't want to make the chief flip his lid.
benefits and drawbacks of the mural's removal will be discussed in a public press conference this afternoon. Goodness gracious, this must be a right nuisance for the governor. Statesmen like yourself should avoid getting involved in trivial matters such as these. A leader of the masses must always hold sight of the big picture. Understand, Toshiro? Yes, of course, Father. Hmm. Do you, though? You seem rather fascinated by the whole affair. I'm merely considering the precarious position that the governor finds himself in. Here the political world is on the cusp of change, and now he's being tripped up by some petty vandalism. So long as you understand the situation, 